sorry. I'm sorry, nobody needs to be yelled at like that in the morning, do they? Um, yeah, yelled, yeah. Sorry about that. Good morning. How are we all? Wake up with jewellery maker. Well, I can tell you what. I can tell you what. <laughs> I tell you what. That's better. Much, uh, a, a, a far better constructed sentence. We've got a fabulous, fabulous Tuesday morning plan for you. Now, if you're expecting Carol, we've done a little swap -a because she's at sports day this morning. So, um, so I'm covering Carol and she's doing it on a Thursday, basically. Um, they don't do parents races anymore. Yes, they do because there's a picture all over all over Facebook at the moment. Uh, at the moment of that 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 woman woman who um, mooned the whole school, didn't she? Because she fell over and everything kind of went, and, and yeah and then, yeah it was yeah. Have you not seen that on Facebook? You'd be mortified, wouldn't you? Um, okay, maybe maybe they don't in Stratford upon Avon. I'm kind of hoping they don't do that in my. Uh, <laughs> um, I hope they don't do that at, at Willow Sports Day because um, let's just say I'm built for comfort, not speed. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I, be, I reckon I'd be good at the egg and spoon race. Yeah, probably good at that one. Um, yeah. Anyway, so it's me today and you've got Carol then on Thursday. But what a show we have planned for you. Uh, so good that there was absolutely no way I was turning that down. Um, now, not only because we have the absolute goddess and also my dear, dear, dear friend, uh, Claire, joining us in the studio, who's just setting up her beautiful jewellery as we speak, um, but also because you have an absolute feast of treasures today. Dave is going to be joining us from 10 a.m. for some of... No, Dave is joining us from 10 a.m. Not for some of, for the finest pearls. I've been with you now for almost 10 years. And I bought... I'm going to show you one, one opportunity in particular. I bought these. They're, you know like when you've heard me saying they were a considered purchase i actually had to approach my husband about it because it's quite a lot of money um but what i actually said to him was i've never seen pearls in my entire 23 years of working with fine quality gemstones i have never seen pearls of this grade they are the best i've ever seen and bear in mind that i've sold pearls for five figures to a certain footballer who can bend it yeah um, so <laughs> there's a saying, isn't it? You can bend it like, yeah. Um, so I've sold pearls to him and they were absolutely beautiful, but I can tell you they were nothing like these. Nothing like these. Now these are coming up as part of your deal of the day hour. They are absolutely unreal. Uh, unreal how perfect these are. Have you ever seen, hang on. Have you ever seen pearls of that grade? They're incredible, aren't they? Absolutely incredible. Totally natural. I bought these, and it, listen, it was a considered, it certainly was for me anyway, a considered purchase. Like I said, I never asked my husband for approval. I never do. I never, ever do. These I had to because I was just setting the scene. They are more considered. But if you're thinking, right, okay, well, that's me out, L. Um, I haven't got the budget for that right now. Don't you worry because we have that same level of quality in different opportunities as well. Single pendants. We've got beautiful earrings. We've also got, check these out, the most beautiful and the largest fireball pearls that you could possibly imagine. Again, completely and utterly natural it i mean that's 10 o'clock is just the stuff of l's dreams um then oh, your master class i mean i've se i've seen this gorgeous lady's photographs on facebook of course hands down the biggest tanzanites i've ever seen bar none hands down the biggest tanzanites coming up with claire mcdonald in your master class the kits today are beautiful oh they're incredible oh thank you yeah Giving our Claire a nice round of applause. Thank you very um, much. I mean, awesome, Claire. I know, I know. And it, it, it's, it's the tour, everything about it. Gemstones today are incredible. They really Absolutely. are. Yeah, beautiful. Really and they're last in stock, aren't they? Yes, in the gallery I think they wire. are. Yes. So, yeah. so you're going to get some mega, mega deals. Yeah. 
Yeah. But um, don't don't dilly dally on checking out those baskets for those because they are yeah, limited no, definitely. edition. Um, and also we're going to do some high end ultra clearances as well. So if you've been looking for a particular gemstone, maybe um, that again has been beyond budget, then we're going to hopefully make that accessible to you this morning. Uh, but we do love a very interactive show. So come and say hello. You can text us live in the studio. You can either do that via the website or you can do it via the old Telephone. Um, the telephone number is 78070. Make sure you start your text with JM Studio so it comes straight to us. Now, we're going to get cracking today with some of your incredible creations. It's our favourite part of the show. It's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Starting us off this morning is Jackie. Good morning to you, Jackie. You're number 407 and you've made some fabulous earrings. Absolutely loving these, full of play of colour. Hi all at JM. Here is my entry for this week's WAF. It's a pair of sterling silver earrings with Ethiopian opal and white topaz. All products are from JM. The photos really don't do the opal justice. So much colour from them. Yeah, we hear you, Jackie. It's a tricky one on TV as well. Uh, number 408 is from Trisha Bell. Good morning to you, Trisha. Oh, absolutely beautiful chainmail work. Dear JM, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A full Persian chainmail bracelet with amethyst heart charms. I hope you like it. We absolutely love it and good luck to you. Number 409 is from uh, Katura. I hope I pronounced that right. Hello to you. Uh, hello all at JM. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. Oh, that's fabulous. Um, I've not entered for a while and this is a pair of pearl earrings and bracelets with a silver clasp. Uh, Kiss Cross inspired by Mark with my own twist. I hope you like it. Made for my sister. Hoping for a win and thanks for all the inspiration. Good luck everybody. Well, that is absolutely beautiful. I think your sister's going to love them. Number 410 is from Gillian McKay. Good morning to you, Gillian. Oh, they're very elegant. Um, hi, all. Uh, sorry. Hi, all at Team JM. Hope you're all well. Here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a pair of silver, uh, sterling silver, long drop earrings using green aventurine, aquamarine, and rose quartz. Good luck to everybody in the draw. Have a great weekend. Uh, number 411 is from Norma. Beautiful, Norma loving the colours there. That's absolutely amazing. I do spot a lovely candle in the background too. Hi all at JM. Can I please enter my long line shell and neon appetite necklace to the Wall of Fame? Um, it's a, a bit of an upcycle using a shell disc from an old earring. Brought up to date with these fabulous neon appetite rounds and silver plated chain and toggle from JM. As always, good luck to my fellow waffers and a big thank you to all at JM. Well, thank you, Norma. That's absolutely beautiful. Number 412 is from Kath. Kath, that's absolutely amazing. Beautiful work. Uh, morning all. Very excited as I got tickets for Wimbledon last Sunday. Hectic booking flights, hotels, etc. Will be on centre court on Wednesday. I made a tennis racket, far from perfect, but with, a tur uh, with purple twisted wire I have... Had since my very first order many moons ago. Gizmo over the 1.2 millimetre wire with green quartzite. I've attached a brooch finding on the back so it can be worn either way. The wire uh, for strings could be neater, she says. Good luck to all. Well, Kath, I love it and congratulations and enjoy. When's us tomorrow? I, I'm trying to think desperately of the Wimbledon theme tune now. <laughs> du, 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 du. No, that's not Wimbledon, is it? <laughs> That's the right stand. <laughs> That's not Wimbledon. <laughs> Thanks for that, Mary. <laughs> Look at me just going with it. Yeah, yeah. Let's sing grandstand instead. I mean, it could have been worse. We could have literally... It's very good, though. <laughs> we, could, we could have started singing... Uh, and what's the football one that always happens on a Saturday or a Sunday morning? Match of the day. Du, 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 du. No, it's not that either. Um, anyway, have a lovely time, won't you? Uh, number 413 is from Vivian. Beautiful Vivian. Oh, I love the photography as well. Uh, hello all. Seeing Hannah Osborne on JM the other day reminded me of this necklace I made um, from copying one of her demos many years ago. Uh, it's made with fossil jasper, red agate and bronze clasp and a 
chain, all in the kit. I hope you can see the fantastic fossils I got in this strand, um, as the picture's not great. Yes, we definitely can. Um, it was good to see Hannah again. Love her designs. Best wishes to all. Vivian, that's absolutely beautiful. Uh, last but by no means least is number 414, and that's from Lynn. Look at that photography as well. Oh, my goodness. Not only is it beautiful jewellery, but amazing photography. Um, hello, everybody. Please find attached to my entry to the Hall of Fame. It's a black tourmaline, strawberry quartz, and sea bead bracelet inspired by the fabulous demo from Mark. Many thanks to Mark and all the JM team for your continued hard work. Best wishes from Lynn. Lynn, that's absolutely stunning. We love all of your makes, everybody. Good luck, and it happens tomorrow with me. So I'll try and be lucky. I'll try and be lucky for you. Now, just gonna pop that to one side for a second because we wanna bring you amazing, amazing high-end opportunities at low, low prices. Um, you know what, so much so actually. We're gonna start with what? In what shape? This one. They're massive for hypersthene. Hypersthene is a, a, a rare gemstone. It's a very, you know, we had black tourmaline earlier on. It's a very dynamic, natural black gemstone. And I just want to, because I very rarely get the opportunity to talk about this. I have to reference my own book. So here we go. Um, so whilst you're admiring, it's totally and utterly natural. And you've got the graduation there. A gemstone consisting of magnesium and iron silicate. The word hypersthene comes from the Greek word for overstrength, alluding to the hardness in uh, comparison comparison to uh sorry in comparison sorry to other minerals uh, from the same family as bronzite so you can again see that strength and it has a really beautiful uh sort of shimmery pearl luster across the surface yeah hypersthene almost looks metallic in natural light because you have that pearlescence across the surface of it um yeah i mean it, it's considered by many crystal healers as a as a protective gemstone it also is believed to uh, create calmness and enable you to hear your inner voice loving that Oh, yes, Michael. Yeah. Mr. Wolf is in the <laughs> That's not Wimbledon. <laughs> we need to figure out which one Wimbledon is. <laughs> what? Wait a second now. Neary knew. We don't... Uh, you can tell I've been, this, I've been watching Carol because that's what she calls you, isn't it? Neary knew. <laughs> Thomas. <laughs> Thomas. Hypersthene does not go for five ninety nine. <laughs> Did you almost call me Carol then? Oh, if this doesn't sell out, then I'm all over this. Hypersthene is a. I can't sing that. Claire, can you sing that? <laughs> no. I was just. I've just heard the Wimbledon tune in my ear. I go. La, 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 la. <laughs> can't sing it. I can't sing it. Um. How many do we have of these available? Three ninety nine. It's for high. I mean, but whatever, whatever it is, it, that's incredible, isn't it? For that size and shape gemstone. Yes. It's crazy. It's normally. I'm going to say if someone said price point hypersthene, I'd go twenty pounds. I would be saying twenty pounds, and that's a jewellery maker price point. Um, you need uh, a lot. Oh, I love it. Tom says there's a lot of basket action, but not enough checky outy action right now. Three ninety nine. This is a gems. They're huge as well. Completely and utterly natural. Can one of you just check out just so we know that there's not an issue on the web? Because there's tons of you with us. We can see you on the phone lines as well. London, Hilda, Mary Claire, uh, Mary and Jerry, Joanna, Hannah, Anne Marie. Hello to you, Marie in Yorkshire. Hello to you, Kim. Hello to you, new customer, Karen in West Midlands. Joanna, new customer. Uh, how many did you say? Sorry, Tom. You can't find the web page. Oh. Oh. Oh, in oh no. Oh. You could do it on the telephone like Hannah. Oh no. Oh, come on, Neary, you've got to put your telephone voice on now. Speak to our IT department just in case. If you are having any issues on the website, give our free phone telephone number a call. Our call centre are wonderful, by the way. Oh, the app's checked out. Apps checked out. I can see Marie on the app. 
but maybe we're having issues on the website, which is an issue for us because jewellery maker, but apparently 80% of our audience actually purchases through the web. So um, don't let this slip through your fingers. Absolutely give our free phone telephone number a call um, and we can get your uh, your hypersthene on its way. In the meantime, yeah, som sometimes referred to as velvet labradorite. Ooh, I like it. Um, however, do not let this title mislead you. Its reference applies to the quality um, of, sorry, the colour of the stone. Um, hello to you. On app, but can't get on the web, says Susan. We're on it, Susan. We are on it. We're going to try and... It might just be because we've got so many of you there. Pick up the phone or use the app like... Uh, um, like Marie has done. Um, okay, we'll keep you updated on that one. Oh, no, no, no. What should we do next? What should we do next? What do you reckon? I did like the look of that turquoise that Mark... Uh, Mark. <laughs> We're all getting each other's names <laughs> wrong today, aren't we? You right there, Mark? Oh, sorry. Are you right, Mark? Yes. <laughs> I think that's just a, a, a cross between um, Matt and Mark. I think it was actually... Was it Mark? By the way, for the record... <laughs> Um, Claire is calling Michael Mark. It's all right. I've been called Carol. Um, I'll probably call. Uh, call I keep doing Mary that all Ross. the time. I called lovely Adam, Alex, oh, for a right, whole right. workshop. It was really embarrassing, and, and I didn't find out till about two hours <laughs> in. It's bad, isn't it? I'm going to put it down to my age. These kind of yeah, like I think yeah. I call Willow Willow Tiggy and Tiggy Willow. All yes, the yeah. Um, okay, come on then. Yeah, let's get cracking. I tell you what we'll do, we'll upload a load of deals on the website and then uh, as soon as it's rectified, you can check them out there. Or alternatively, tap the app. It's super, super, super simple. Um, super simple to tap the app or pick up the phone, the old telephone. Um, some of you have said that you, can, you are on the website. Some of you are saying that you haven't. So um, just keep trying. Beautiful spearmint green fluorite, totally and utterly natural. Um, loving the shape. Oh, we very word. rarely get They're that lovely. green colour. Aren't they beautiful? <gasps> I know. I know, I know, you, you really ever get the opportunity to have solid green uh, and in conversation Aww. many moons ago with our, with our uh, former founder, Steve Bennett, I remember him actually launching um, green fluoride across uh, our, our sister channel and he was saying he, he waited, <coughs> excuse me, 10 years to actually get hold of a solid green fluorite parcel. And that's effectively what you're buying. 19 pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of this beautiful strand. And um, we're on the website. Personally, Yay. It, pays off. it does. Um, it pays off. Right then, should we give you a little bit of apology deal? Yeah. Yeah, it might not even be us. Last time it was the old utility companies that, that, that the issue was. Um, I mean, under £10, goodness me, for fluorite. But, uh, Neary, you're very much like Ross. He doesn't listen to a word I say either. I've just said that, you know, Steve Bennett found it re 10 years it took him to get a solid green parcel of this gemstone. Completely natural, and that's... I love the shape of these, Claire. Yeah, that's a and, and the way they're drilled as well, isn't it? I would definitely put that with um, the turquoise. Yeah, definitely. oh, do you want me to do it with Yes, the please. Yeah. Yeah. I think the colour and the shape work really Colour well pop. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. I um, oh, love it, love it, love it. Well done. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, that would be lovely with the hypersthene as well. Moving on to Peter Sight. Love this gemstone. It's um, often referred to... Crystal Healers believe, and I remember watching a short YouTube clip of, uh, of some gentleman talking about this gemstone, how exciting it is. Totally and utterly natural. If you see, visualize, say you were like in space and you're looking down the eye of a, a hurricane or some kind of storm, um, a monsoon, say, and you, you know the satellite images where you get that wonderful patterning, those swirling. Mm. Now visualize it in a gemstone. Peter Sight looks distinctly similar. You have a wonderful, wonderful uh, display of chatoyancy. It is a gemstone which which is believed to hold your hand through turbulent times, eye of the storm and all yeah. that. Um, so many people believe that this will help you through your troubles. It's very rare. And the blue coloured petersite usually fetches a much higher price point. Um, well, the most, uh, the, the highest price point of your colours. Because you can get it in different shades. You can get it in greens. You can get it in browns. Blue is the most sought after. $29.99 is already an absolutely incredible deal. Already. We, I could count on one hand the amount of times I've brought Peter Sight to air this mm. year. It is rare. 
rare to get hold of. 1999. Um, I can see you there on the web, on the app rather. I can see you there on the phone lines. I know we are having issues on the website right now. Please, if you can, if you see something that your heart desires, then don't hesitate to call our free phone telephone number. Our call center, our apps, they're lovely. They are absolutely lovely. Literally, mm. nothing is too much trouble for them. Um, we couldn't find the page you were looking for. This might be because the page has moved. No, we haven't. It's temporarily unavailable. Well, obviously. Um, the page address was mistyped. No. Okay. Sorry about that. Well, well the, our, our, our wonderful technical IT team are actually uh, are, are on it. They're already on it. Okay. Right then. Um, should we do some lovely peridot, Claire? Let's, this is beautiful. Love the shape of these. A little bit of you, I feel. Mm, I can see the bright green from here. That chartreuse. Yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, uh, lovely. They're gorgeous, aren't mm. they? I mean, I'm thinking back to the lovely kiss cross that we had in the Wall of Fame. Who was it? Um, Lynn. You know, if you wanted to do a green version of your Strawberry Quartz uh, Kiss Cross bracelet, no. um, this would be a fabulous yeah. alternative. It would go it? beautifully with Strawberry Quartz. That's true. Well, oh, yeah. yes, it'd be like Japanese Blossom. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. The graphics are already live. Tot yeah, something like that. Be amazing, right. like Lynn's design. You know, just using the peridot um, in between. Now, <clears throat> we cannot even buy this beautiful strand of peridot every single one of these little two mil rounds has traveled 55 miles from the earth's core effectively almost to the crust and yet here we are casually saying okay we can't even buy it for this we can't source it shall we bring it to air at a very naughty two pound 99 I'll tell you what we are making, though, friend, uh, today, Claire. Friends. Yes. That is going to go beautifully with the, the, the kits that are uh, in the oh, nine yes. o'clock, aren't they? Size and Particularly, color. again, thinking of the Wall of Fame, particularly the Amethyst. Yes, yeah, for the Wimbledon. Because there's that Wimbledon vibe. Yeah. Love that. Yeah. Absolutely love that. Um, t uh, t I, I, I'm sharing information that you probably aren't even remotely interested in here, but Tiggy's talking really well now. Aww. And I said to her, oh, you know, uh, what do you do with your friend today at school? She went, friend, you sign friend. <laughs> She said, someone's been watching Mr. Tumble. Friend. Oh. Everything sign language now. Which is so sweet. Anyway, back to, back to. It is good. It's really good. Oh, that's why I love Mr. Tumble. Two ninety nine dollars only. Um, it is a giveaway deal. It is an absolute giveaway deal. Right then, let's do... Oh, the phases of the moon. These are um, glass cabochons. So they are uh, creating the absolute, oh my goodness. So you literally have, I don't know if you can see on this photograph, I'll try and hold them. So you've got a total eclipse. They literally are the phases. I know that, no, I'm not joking. It's really cool. So see if I can do this. Oh, I think Sewing Street are having issues on their website as well. Oh, Hang these on. are great. Aren't they fabulous? Can you see? You get the idea. Wow. Phases of the moon and then wait. <laughs> They're wicked, aren't they? You've actually got... And then... How good is that? Was that the, th was that the thing? That was, <laughs> no, that was just me trying to <laughs> illustrate which direction I, I love these. I about here. Total eclipse. <laughs> is anybody else just thinking of the Jaffa Sorry. cake outfit right now? Total eclipse. How cool are they? They're brilliant. Five ninety nine for the phases of the moon glass cabochons. They do look like them. Of course they look like the moon. Of course they do. That's what they're meant to look like. They're wicked. I mean, you could just glue those, couldn't you, in a box frame? That would be a really nice... Um... On a picture? Yeah. How cool is that? Your tree of life. How cool is that? <gasps> oh, why won't this one... That's madness. Absolute madness. 
I'm loving these. They're so cool. Yeah, they're man-made, but they're absolutely like the lunar cabochons and things like that. But they're uber cool. So do you see how you've got literally the eclipse and then you've got a little moon peeking out there. Then you've got your crescents. And then, oh, I prob I'm, not, I'm not necessarily in the order that I've actually laid them out, but how cool is that? Can you imagine these framed with some of your sea beads? Yeah, or, yeah. Or, your, or, or maybe, I don't know, you could put something like obsidian. Nice. Or I'm just trying to think something sort of, which looks a little bit space-like. Yes. Yeah, Pyrite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. We do know. We do know there's issues on the website. Stay with us. I promise we'll try and sort it out. Um, okay, let's bring you some lovely, some absolutely beautiful iridescent shell. Technology, eh? It's meant to make life simple, isn't it? Do you remember the days when you used to try and move the, the aerial around? Get, your, dad, your dad used to get up the ladder and try and tweak the aerial and you'd be shouting out the window, No! Left a bit, right a bit. Yeah, do you remember those days? Show me age now, I know. <laughs> but at least we've got something. Come on, come on, wibbly wobbly world web. Um, white heart shaped shell pearls. These are beautiful. So you get these lovely slices in a heart. They'd be fabulous as little charms. Do you know what else would be fabulous if you'd be able to get hold of them on the web, wouldn't it? That would be lovely. <laughs> <clears throat> At 12 .99, let me just count them. So you're getting two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. I would literally just put these on head pins, Claire. Yeah, they're very nice, aren't they? Bubble stars, be nice in your bubble mm. stars, wouldn't they? We're not stopping there because we want to bring you some early bird deals. We are aware of the technical issues. We are trying our hardest to sort it out, but you can go the good old fashioned route and pick up the phone. Um, four ninety nine only to get hold of these. You know your lovely bubble styles. Imagine just these. Yeah, you these. could just put a few as well, couldn't you? Say if you've got rounds, maybe just a few of those to just scatter. And because through. they're slices, they're not going to take mm. over, are they? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah, and because they're like double sided, so you could have and on on chain as well for earrings. That would be. Good. Oh yeah, beautiful. Nice movement. And you don't have to use the drill hole if you don't want to. No, because um, yeah, you could maybe you could um, use your gallery wire as well. Yeah. Now, um, your best bet is to use the phone. And saying that, have we got a bit of a queue on the phone lines for that reason? Sylvia, you're there. Karen, you're there as well on those phone lines. T I tell you what, we, let's use this time. We will continue to bring the deals. Text in, come and say hello to us. Do you want a demo, says Tom, throwing a... Uh, what? Uh, completely, completely. Show, show a demo. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I see a demonstration of how to call. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> poor Claire. I was like... <laughs> it's like a deer in the headlights then. <laughs> headlights. <laughs> what? Uh. <laughs> oh, no, we wouldn't do that to you, Claire. Don't you worry. <laughs> um, OK, let's do some really beautiful sugar light. Again, I, I could... I, I could count on one hand the amount of times I've actually brought this gemstone to air so much so I'm going to just re res resort to my trusty little book, my, my book, my book of notes. Here we are. Um, really, really, really unusual gemstone in terms of its coloration, but also um, in terms of its actual formation. If you've never heard of sugar light, listen, um, I've done my accreditation. I've done, I've, I've got qualifications. I've worked in gemstones for many years. And again, I, I know, I'll be honest, I know very, very little about this gemstone. Um, it's a rare purple um, a mineral that was named after the Japanese uh, petrologist uh, Ken Ishi Shugi, there we go, who first identified it in Japan in 1944. However, this discovery uh, was a brownish yellow colour. It wasn't until 1979 um, uh, at the manganese mine in South Africa, the gem quality was discovered. So there we go. It's actually a very, it's about, it's, it's about as old as me, sugar light. About as old as me. Um, I was in the, the purple version, not, 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 not the yellow version. Um, totally and utterly natural at £11.99 pence only. Yeah, you get this really lovely. Oh, brilliant. You're really beautiful. Brilliant. Having a few, uh, yeah. Having a few issues uh, with our, across, across the app now as well. We love that, don't we? 
Love it. Should we just have a chat? <laughs> <laughs> just go and say hello. Tell us what you're, what you're yeah. making today. That'd be what nice. Uh, 5 99 only for this one. Can I tell our customers about my little win today? Oh, yes. My little yes. win this morning. Yeah, Can I tell that's our very customers? satisfying. Tom, yes. am I allowed? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you because I'm a big believer in karma. Anyway, and um, because we can't, I can't, I, you know, I'm, we're basically we're not, we, we can't buy anything on the web. So let's just, I just want to tell you about my little win. Uh, win. Um, so, yeah, I, I had a little win this morning at about, at about quarter to six in the morning. So a few months back, um, next door neighbours, they've got a lodger that stays and it seems lovely, pleasant enough. Anyway, it kept parking over my drive. So in the morning, I couldn't get out. Just a, not massively, but just a little bit. So I'm really struggling to get out of my drive. Anyway, I very politely said to, said to him, I said, would you mind awfully just moving forward a foot? If you can move forward a foot, because I struggle to get out and I get up very early in the morning. And he was like, well, no, basically. Look at me dead man in the eye. And I was going, uh, <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, he was so blunt and deadpan about it. I was like, can you just, just a foot move forward so I'm, I can actually get round? I said, the problem is not necessarily that you're there, but if a car parks opposite, I literally cannot get out. And he was like, no, tell, tell the car opposite. And I was like, well, I don't know whose car that is, and I'm not looking out my window all the time. So I, if they park there then, and I miss them, then that's me stuck. Anyway, I didn't think it was an unreasonable request, but he said no. Right. I had a message at about midnight last night, which consequently I didn't read because I was asleep, from our next door neighbours who are on holiday at the moment. And they said, uh, um, ah, Stephen, our lodger's locked himself out. Is there any <laughs> chance you can let him out? I didn't, I didn't see the message until this morning. Looked out my window and he's literally asleep in his car. Like <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when you just think, you know when you just think, oh... Oh, a little win for me. Yeah, what goes around comes around. A little win for me. I yeah. did go and hand him the spare key to let him in. So I was the bigger person in it all. But, you know, and just think, karma. If you'd just said, yeah, no problem, move forward. There we go. Um, anyway, just... Yeah. <laughs> I was asleep anyway, so genuinely, if I didn't see the message, I, genu I probably... Well, he might think. He might think next time, mightn't he? Hopefully he yeah. will. Hopefully he will. Um, what do you want me to bring you now? Neary. Black obsidian nuggets. Oh, so this would be perfect with your with your with your moon cabochon. Yes, yeah. They'd be like, oh, there we go, because you actually have that level of chatoyancy. Can you see that beautiful silvery oh sheen? Oh my gosh, yes, that'd be perfect, wouldn't it? Yeah. Just surround uh surround your uh your your phases of the moon cabochons. You're looking at at 341 carats of this natural gemstone, the popularity of obsidian went through the roof ever since Game of Thrones. Oh, I was waiting for some... Oh, thank you. I was waiting for someone to sing the theme tune, as they always do. So oh, you used to get so excited hearing that. I love so that series. <laughs> I'm going to go back and watch them all over I again. Start, yeah, I did start again. So yeah. good. Who's your favourite character? Oh. There's oh. a spin-off. Yeah, that's, I've heard there's a spin-off of it. It's not going to be as good, though, is it? Unlikely. Who's the big, who's the big man? The big man. Um, Hodor. The mountain. And the mountain. Hound. Is it the hound? Hound. Hound. The mountain's yeah, not baddie. the mountain. Mountain's baddie, isn't he? Um, the hound, yeah. I also like Brion. Oh, no. Um, Brion. What's his name? Sorry, um, have I given some spoilers out? Sorry what's his name that. with the beard? Black one... Blackbeard. No. Odor? No. No, the one with the... He's got a ginger beard. Brian, oh, um... oh, him, yes. Uh, he's a wild... I love boy, him. Yeah. I oh, can't what's think... his name? Sorry. Oh, what's his name? I like Brion. I like Brion. I think she's amazing. Yes, she is. She's cool, isn't she? Oh, what's <laughs> her name? Oh, my goodness, Neary, you so do. If you haven't watched it... Uh, uh, do you know what? I binge-watched it when I was heavily pregnant with Willow and it was the most ridiculously hot summer and I would literally just lay on the sofa, <laughs> heavily pregnant, with a fan on me. 
in a vest and pants watching Game of Thrones. I remember, I remember my Perfect. husband coming over going, and he just literally went, really? Really, Al? I'm like, yes, really. Yes. Sorry, Neary. Do you know what? <laughs> Let's bring you some. Yes, Tanzanite. Tanzanite in your sources. You can still shop with us on the telephone lines. We are very aware. It's across all the channels, I think. Is it for gems as well? Definitely for Sewing Street. Yeah. Um, and, well, do you know what? It definitely is for us. Uh, 10 carats of beautiful tanzanite. Look at that. A wonderful, wonderful consistency of colour, your um, amazing cornflower blues. Um, in your saucer cuts, which which we launched the saucer cut, we do you did. remember? We did, yes, we did. I love, I, I love the shape. Yeah, really, and really we went nuts for it because it was black spinel. Yes. And I remember you making I made a stretchy, stretchy bracelet yeah. Yeah. on a live show yeah. and you didn't take it off. I didn't. I still got that. Have you? Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. It's just a great shape, isn't it? And how nice to have it in uh, Tanzanite as well. Yes, but this yeah. is the thing, you know. It would look, I can't see what they are, but you know in the in the, um, the the gemstone strands on the front, you've got sort of pinks and blue, or any of those would look lovely with that. Some of these? Yes. Oh, well, that would be Claire Morganite. <gasps> oh. Totally natural Morganite. Oh, my gosh, hand. yes. That will be aquamarine. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And some beautiful wow. clear quartz. Would that be the kit of dreams? Oh, that's beautiful, mm. isn't it? That would be lovely. I love the cuts oh of those. Gosh. They're all coming up within the show. All coming up, so you haven't got too long to wait for those. And hopefully, hopefully you'll be able to purchase on the website. Elle, hello, Patsy. There's nothing better than instant karma. Um, is the JM... Yes, it is, darling. We're trying to sort it out. We we're trying to sort it out. Do you know, Patsy, I was really trying to be the bigger person. And I was, because I gave him the keys. I could have been... Yeah, you could have just driven off. I could have just driven off, couldn't I? <laughs> Said next morning. time, just be, morning. Ooh, we dangled the keys in <laughs> yeah. his face. Yeah, no, no, I wouldn't do that. Um, <laughs> no, uh, but you know what? Just be nice. Just be nice, because I do think, I do believe in karma. <sighs> Not that I would have woken up. I genuinely was asleep. I genuinely was asleep. And I did actually feel a little bit sorry for him asleep in his car. Well, that's because you're a nice person. Um, $9.99 only. $9.99 for Tanzanite. We're bringing you apology deals here. Um, those of you that shop with us, you, which, by the way, is 80% of our audience who do their purchase. They might watch on the TV, but then you purchase on the, uh, on the website. Yes. We are very aware that there are issues at the moment. Um, so as an we're giving you apology deals, left, right and centre. Um, and we're trying to rectify it as best we can. I tell you what, yeah, let's just, just boom, 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 loads of... Yeah, let's do it. Oh, what would you like me to do? Boobies? Oh. Anybody watching Glastonbury? Paul McCartney, yeah, he, and uh, was Diana Ross there as well? Look. Natural Ruby. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. Look at the size and look at the carrot weight that you're actually getting. A genuine Ruby. How many people in, the, you know, in your circle can say that they own 150 carats of Ruby? Mm -hmm. You know, um, Anne is, yes, you're right there, Neary, no. Um, it is part of that 5% um, variety, meaning 95% of the world's ruby is either heat treated, uh, fissure filled, diffused, and there's nothing wrong with that, but very rare opportunities where you can get uh, natural quality just like this. 49.99 only. Next month's birthstone as well. So um, if, uh, if you know somebody that is, uh, that, oh, look at this one in the center. Oh, um, if you know somebody that is a July baby, then this would be the most perfect, perfect, perfect um, purchase for you. Could you make simple stretchy bracelets? And it being nine on the most scale, you could wear it on a daily basis mm, and never take it off. You don't have to worry about it, would you? I think it'd be lovely, though. Um, maybe knot them. I'd, I'd take the time to knot them. And you've got some lovely pearls, haven't you? Maybe one, just one pearl in the centre. That's a lot of ruby there, isn't it? So, you know, that is a statement. 
necklace. It, uh, yeah. There. You don't have, what you mean is you don't have to put it all in one piece. Yes. Which is totally yeah. what I was thinking. Well, no, because you could if you knot it, but then you'd have extra, wouldn't you? Yeah, you amazing, well. amazing, amazing. Um, right. Moving on, we've got a really beautiful clasp. Is it the bees? Uh, oh, it, yeah, dragonfly. Sorry, beg your pardon. Let me just look for my little, uh, little, little tweezeroonies. Here we go. Here we go. Here they are. Your early bird. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna push it back purely because it's too special not to have the website access. So um, I've got some of the finest quality Larimar, and we are promising some of the best possible deals. So we're gonna push it, delay it as long as we possibly can, purely because we don't want you to miss out on this opportunity. It is incredible, natural Larimar. Um, right then, love the class that we have at the moment. We just seem to be taking the, the idea, the concept of, well, it's not a concept, um, the fact that a clasp, yes, is functional, but it doesn't mean that it can't be um, decorative as well. So these actually have the additional embellishment of a dragonfly. Look at that detail. And the dragonfly is on the toggle as well. It's on that beautiful toggle. 925 sterling silver, precious Precious class. I mean, that becomes the feature then, doesn't it, Claire? Yeah, and there's a lot of those necklaces, aren't there, at the moment? I'm, I'm seeing them all the time, knotted, and a lot of rondelles as well, and then having and layering them, quite quite big gemstones mm. as well, and then having that feature toggle at the front. At the front? Yeah. I mean, we, we also do those lengths of chain, don't we? So if you just popped yeah. one of those, almost turned it into a like a lariat style. Nice, yeah. It would be yeah. the main feature, wouldn't yeah. it? Six pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of genuine 925 sterling silver. Boo, we're just talking about the website, sorry. We're just basically saying, it's still saying, me no worky. <laughs> Saying no. No. Not today. I'm not working today. So in street. We couldn't find the page. Someone go and find the pages, please. Yeah. Um, uh, it's not under the same, is it, Gem Gems? Gems is operational, yeah. We're not, but... Um, okay, but don't worry, we are working on it. I, and you can still watch us on the old telly box, the good old fashioned way. 6 99 only. And you can still text in, because we can still hear from you. We've got a mega show as well. A mega, mega show. We Sorry, have. what was that? Oh my goodness, this strand is unreal. What will go down in my jewellery maker memory will be that, that, I call it that zircon strand. Yeah, there's 12 of these left. So this quality, this quality, when you're thinking about topaz, I reference it against that zircon strand because it's the best I've ever seen. So prepare yourself for the best topaz that you've ever seen in a strand. Prepare yourself. Oh. I know, it's unbelievable. Now we had 500 of these strands. And, yeah, you get, fire. topaz is actually one of the most brilliant, uh, what I mean by that, most fiery. Um, it's very durable. It's right up there on the most scale as well. And yeah, you don't, whilst you don't get double, uh, double refraction like you would find within the zircon, you get beautiful dispersion. Uh, you know, uh, you know uh, um, more often than not actually, well, very much used alongside diamonds as well. You can see why. This is the best topaz strand I've ever seen. Oh, it's lovely. Ever seen. And Claire, look how much you're getting. It's 35s. What's that? We didn't bring it to oh, that price, did we? Tom. Ooh. Yay. Can we all just do our own little celebratory dance? Right, Michael, take it away. You're first. Celebratory dance. Oh, yeah, Claire, yeah. celebratory dance. Our celebratory dance. In the gallery, celebratory dance, Yay! come on! We're back, Michael! Yes! Thank yes! goodness! Woo! Thank goodness. Are you doing the robot there, Nerino? 
Love it. We are back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, don't get carried away now, huh? <laughs> and perfect timing as well, because this strand is insane. It's absolutely insane. Yes, we're back with you, jewellery makers. Thank goodness. Look at the quantity, though. It is absolutely skyrocketing out. This with a hyperscene. Uh, hello, Mandy. I've been watching on the web since you went live this morning. No dramas. Oh, good. Oh, that's good. I'm, oh, that's good. That's good. We were having a whole heap of dramas, Mandy. We couldn't find... Nobody... Our, 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 our web page was saying, no, no, don't fancy it this morning. Um, final four of these, County Atrium, Karina, hello to Catherine, new customer, new customer, hello to Tracy and Brenda. We've literally got two of those left. Well done. Um, oh, what do we come back with now? A grand digerite clasp. Oh. Can we just 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 absorb what I said? A grand digerite, one of the world's rarest gemstones, in a clasp. It must never be blasé. It's easy to do, I know. We 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 make these tweezers. Hang on, we make uh, life almost difficult for ourselves sometimes when we bring you this gemstone, and we bring it to air at such affordable prices. Grand digerite is rare. Very rare. So rare that many people won't even have heard of it before. Oh. And I don't know if you all know this, but it was discovered in the early 1900s by uh, a French mineralo or, mir mir mineralogist, Alfred Grandidier. And um, it was rediscovered again in 2014, a parcel in Madagascar. There is nowhere in the world mining this gemstone. So effectively... It's only discoveries, which happened twice, are all mined out. So what do you think is going to happen to the price of Grand Digerite? It is going to go through the roof. And it, we are already talking about a gemstone with this quality, you know, with this level of opacity that can and does fetch tens of thousands of pounds per carat. $29.99 for a traditional box class, which we were absolutely shouting about on Sunday. The clock's ticking away. You can hear it in the background. Don't worry. We're going on sound effects this morning. I love it. Where, where are you going to take this to then, Neary? Right, okay, seriously, for the engineering and the craftsmanship, coming from a silversmith, Claire, mm. to actually even make a box clasp. Yeah, which... it is, it's one of those, um, an, an exercise, isn't it, that, that, that you do, because it is complicated, because you need it to obviously look really good, mm -hmm. look lovely, but it has to work, has to fit and, and be secure, because otherwise there's no, you know, there's no point to it, is there? No, exactly. There's a reason why, and we were saying this on Sunday, there's a reason why if you watch things like Antiques Roadshow or if you look at your sort of, your vintage or uh, um, pieces or, of jewellery, your heritage jewellery, there's a reason why most of the necklaces actually have a box clasp. It's because they've, they've lasted because of the box clasp. They are incredibly, incredibly strong, incredibly secure. I mean, look at this detail here. To actually create one, you have almost like a door stop, which has got a spring within it in, in solid sterling silver. And then you almost post it through the envelope just there and you'll have a solid clip. It's, it'll be much easier for you because you'll have more to hold on to. Um, there we go. And that is a genuine natural grandage, right? A gemstone that is not coming out of the ground anymore. Hello to you, Chantal. Morning, Claire. There is uh oh the Tormund gate Tormund, Tormund, yes yes it, yes is it oh yes yes Tormund. it is it, it is him yeah I think he's lovely thanks Chantal I know who you mean yeah he's quite big isn't he big bloke capable capable <laughs> yes I know who you mean uh <laughs> yeah. hi Joe just got back from Glastow fab <gasps> time Diana Ross Diana Ross was amazing oh Joe I'm jealous it's oh, something I must Joe. do I've never been to Glastonbury have you I've never been to a festival nor me should we go next year? Shall we? I think you'd have to buy the tickets. Like now. Yeah. Should we try and go next Shall we? year? Shall we? Yeah. Girls' oh, Day. We'll have a weekend, you and I, Claire. That'd be quite <laughs> nice, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> right then. Shall we do some beautiful tiger's eye? But not just a small amount of tiger's eye. You've got a mass of it. Um, this is a long, long strand. Joe, I hope you had a lovely time. 
that's two meters that you're looking at here in a wonderful deep mahogany red color of tiger's eye you still get that wonderful chatoyancy you still get that absolutely beautiful play of light as it almost seems to travel around the circumference of the gemstone um these are four mil rounds which i i just think a four mil is is incredibly versatile if you just want to do stretchies absolutely amazing but if you want to incorporate them in things like your wraparound styles that we've been doing lately lately your bubble styles yeah and beady bead i think as well it's not nice. too sometimes if you go too big a beady bead's too bulky isn't it but i think that'd be a good size to yeah to work with and then you could add those to maybe uh lengths of chain in between have station uh necklaces you know like your spectacle chains things like that what about oh that's nice what about alongside your hypersthene and yeah. just for a little pop yeah, a nice bit of colour there. What do you yeah, think? I like that. And then I might put that with um, some bare copper or something. Oh, like yeah, that. nice. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Nineteen ninety nine for a two metre long length of genuine tiger's eye. Um, tiger's eye is everywhere at the moment. You know, you, could, you, you, you see it in the biggest and most luxurious pricey jewellers. Um, and, yeah, I mean, Van Cleef, Piaget, Chopard. Liberties of London, all the big names, Gucci, are working with Tiger's Eye at the moment. Um, only the other day I was watching, I was chatting to Lynn Jinx from our sister channel, who was prepping a, a Tiger's Eye necklace, one that I know that you could make, um, for, for her, one of her shows. So it's absolutely huge. 19 99 for the full two metre length. Hello, Diane. Uh, morning, ladies and gents. Yeehaw, you're back, thank goodness. Any gold slider bracelets soon, please? Oh, uh, do you mean gold plated or do you mean actual gold? I would love gold to be in our, in our I've been pushing for gold. We were talking about it this morning, yeah. And we need more gold, I think, as oh, part of lovely, our... Oh, would wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you mean gold plated, drop us a message. Drop us a message. We might be able to squeeze some in the show for you. Make sure you check out those baskets, everybody. And moving on to... Oh, I've got to mention the Larimar. It's now we're back up operational. This is your early bird. We're probably what we're going to do is we're going to put these at the very beginning of the next hour. Is that right? Or at the end? It's in the next hour. Um, this is it's too special oh, to chance it. Basically, these are one locational from the Dominican Republic. A very, very, very rare form of pectolite, and we can guarantee that you're going to get the best possible deal on this gemstone. So, um, yeah, you can get hold of this we'll do it in the next hour so we're going to drag your early bird back just a little bit um in the meantime let's do foo light oh this is beautiful oh my foo light normally small sizes right gold plated on silver diane okay leave that with us leave it with us lovely I adore Thoo Light. It's such a yeah. pretty colour. It's a beautiful colour, isn't it? And there's not, there's not many um, pinks like that. It's, it's lovely. Oh. Really pretty. That with the peridot that you had. Oh, you? that would be absolutely gorgeous. I could, again, it's one of those gemstones like your, um, uh, like your hypersthene, like the sugar light that we had earlier on that I could, I'd never see. I yeah, rarely see ever see. Yes, yeah. It was discovered in, uh, in Norway and they named it after um, a mythical village that they believed uh, once existed. Totally and utterly natural. It's the colour though, isn't it? Mm. That's so distinctive. And it almost resembles a little bit like your rhodochrosite, I think, with um, a little less colour zoning. Yeah. Love the idea of with, um, alongside with your And the tiger's peridot. eyes uh, as well, I think it would look, it would look good. Yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. What about this? Yeah, nice. Yeah, fluorite, yeah, lovely. They're big. It's not a gemstone that forms in, in large sizes ordinarily. And in fact, I can say this with absolute conviction. I've never brought through light in 10 mil rounds before. Mm. It's been maybe four mils, maybe six mils, but I've yeah. never done them at this size. 24 pounds and 99 pence. I would keep this really simple, Claire. Just literally alternating either with the with the peridot, as you Definitely said. Think, or jadeite, maybe. I'm oh, thinking with the green. Yes. And maybe they're, they're quite similar, aren't they? I think that might... That, that might. would be gorgeous. How about this? How about alongside Amazonite? Yes, nice. Yeah. Um, keep on dialing through, everybody. Now, 
Um, I'm just going to do a quick recap, if I can, on the Hypers theme, because this was flying when we first brought this to air, and then, unfortunately, the website crashed. So um, it's worthwhile me actually recapping this, um, because I don't want you to miss out on that opportunity. So Hypers theme, again, I don't see very often, and I definitely don't see it in sizes like this. It's a really dynamic-looking gemstone um, that has almost like a, a pearlescent luster. Um, it's very popular amongst crystal healers, if that's something that you, uh, that you are interested in. It's believed to have a, a, a protective uh, quality to it. Um, and yeah, shields in uh, a protective velvety cocoon. I love that. Um, sometimes referred to as velvet labradorite. However, um, do not let this mislead you. Its reference applies to the quality and the energy of the stone. Crystal healers believe hypersthene soothes and particularly shields in a protective velvet velvety cocoon. It's absolutely beautiful, this gemstone. It is totally and utterly natural. In natural light, you get this pearlescent sheen. I mean, the, the reaction I can see on the web and on the phone lines tell me that um, you love hypersthene as well. But I couldn't do an hour of this gemstone. There's just no chance. We wouldn't have the quantity available uh, within our vault. And that, frankly, is ridiculous at 3 99 And it's knotted as well, isn't it? Is it so yeah. Sweet. So you could just carefully undo the the last knot. Take maybe take take the um, the end ones off. You have those as your earrings, mm. and then maybe put ribbon cord ends or something mm -hmm. like that on. And then you've got a, an incredible gemstone necklace that's knotted. Three ninety nine. That's madness, isn't it? Three pounds ninety nine. You know that's a mad deal, don't you? Right. I'm going to squeeze those Amazonites in <clears throat> within this hour. You've got some beautiful kits coming up in the next hour, so make sure you stay tuned. And your Laramar, we're going to do. Um, Early bird, we're going to give it a lie-in. It deserves it. It's travelled a long way. Long, long way. All the way from the Domin Dominicans. Probably jet-lagged, frankly. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Two metres. Look at that colour. That's nice, isn't it? Two metres of Amazonite. Oh. It's making me think of holidays. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. It's your sand between the toes. Yeah. I said that on Sunday with Mark and he went, doesn't he, like little... he doesn't like feet, does he? Um, yeah, well, I'm with him on that one. But, it's... but sand between your toes, that's when different. When you first start to step out, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can imagine, like, the sort of, the, you know, the white sands, the beautiful, gentle, yeah. lapping waves. Amazonite is, yeah, very much deemed as a tropical gemstone. And um, it's, it's really gaining the limelight at the moment with big designers like Monica Veneda massively, massively incorporating this into their jewellery collection. You're not just getting a 38 centimetre strand here. You are getting two meters. It's a member of the Feldspar family. Many uh, people say that Amazonite will uh, looks even better by sunset and sunrise because it literally glows um, in, <coughs> in those lighting conditions. For, uh, hang on a second. That's fourteen ninety nine per meter of natural amazonite. But we're not done there. So wait a second. When have, I, have you ever heard this? These words. Seven pound fifty a meter for genuine amazonite. Seven pound fifty per meter. Fourteen ninety nine. In your four mils, and it goes back to what we were saying. Yeah, so you could do beady beads, and I'd scatter. You remember the um, the hearts that you had through oh, again yeah. for that holiday? Just yeah, scatter holiday those vibe. through. Lovely, yeah. lovely, Claire. <sighs> Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, love this. That is a crazy deal. Absolutely bonkers. You know, if that was a 38 centimetre strand, I'd still say that was a good price. Yeah. Um, and I can't mention who, but you do know that the Gemporia Partnership, which, we, of course, we are under, supplies Amazonite to one of those big leading labels. We supply them. So you know that Ooh. you are getting fine quality. Oh, yeah, I'm not allowed that. to say it on air. Um, but yes, we do. You know that you are actually getting really, really, really incredible quality and an amazing deal today. Good morning, Paula, Richard Maureen, uh, Lynn Cardiff, Angus, hello to new customers, Angela, Nottinghamshire, Tricia, Sue, Jean, you're there, new customers. Uh, there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it is minimal. I promise you our call centre will be with you as soon as they possibly can. Margot, well done to you. Stay where you are um, and don't go anywhere. 
anyway, we've got loads to bring you. Your early bird, we've pushed back just a little bit because of all the technical issues. Um, so Larimar is launching in the next hour alongside our gorgeous Claire and her stunning kits. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Lovely jewellery makers, thank you so much for sticking with us. We know we had a few issues on the website. Hopefully, it's all sorted. Hopefully. Now, give me them back. Wait, which ones? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I have. I, I, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. Did you read my mind? I totally read your mind. I thought she'd swiped them already, but she hasn't. <gasps> Wait till you see them. Oh, my goodness. They've literally just landed. 
just touched down alongside by the way our, our gemstone buyer extraordinaire and Aww. sales manager our lovely wayne yeah he's got i mean I'm, are you sure he's been on the barge because he's very tanned he looks very well doesn't he yeah very tanned but he can take credit for this purchase the gemstone of 2022 and you'll hear some more about that by the way tomorrow is ethiopian opal Eddie Levion announced it to the world and what Eddie Levion says every other jewellery house will listen to. Guess what that gemstone was? This one. Ethiopian opal and, of oh. course, the more play of colour that you can get. And this TV screen is not doing them justice. They are amazing. There is so much play of colour within these. Oh... Uh, in fact, let's show you the recording. Blue, look at the blue oh. colour. Oh, look at the reds, look at the greens. Lovely. All coming up within today's show. Also, in a few moments' time, you have your early bird, your Larimar. It was, it's worth the wait, I can promise you. Your Larimar parcels, and it comes in two separate opportunities. We've got the perfect pair, and then we've got a parcel of six. It's happening in a few moments' time. Very rare, very beautiful. But before I dive into that, I also want to mention, at 10 o'clock, we have the most incredible pearl showcase for you. Uh, those of you that tune in on a regular basis might have heard me saying that I've uh, purchased some of our pearls recently this one in it was this one I you know I, I literally purchased I knew the code and I said it to Tom this morning um and listen I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush it was an investment I spoke to my husband I was like please can I buy these pills they are the best that I've ever seen in my entire career and they I had to ask because they were expensive they were expensive but for the money that I paid not comp not you know not there's no comparison these could fetch and will be valued at, and that's what i'll do i will do that for you i will get them oh, knotted i'm actually in the process of buying an 18 karat gold class to go on these i'll have it valued and i'll share that with you i don't mind doing that but if you want my recommendation of the best quality pills that you've ever seen it's it's on your screens right now oh, have you ever seen them. anything so no, perfect no. they are incredible aren't they i know um unreal they're coming up in the 10 o'clock hour as well now Honestly, they are off the chart, off the chart. They are better than some of the five-figure pearls I once sold. Honestly, they're unbelievable quality. Um, right then, early bird. We've waited for this beautiful opportunities, and thank you so much for bearing with us through the technical issues, but it was worth the wait. We are going to take you to the beautiful shores of the Dominican Republic for this one locational stone. <laughs> Now, to understand this gemstone, um, for, well, firstly, I must assume not everybody has heard of Larimar. It is very, very rare. You may well have seen it possibly on a cruise liner or if you've been over to the Caribbean because it is often referred to as the Caribbean stone. But I should never assume, when, especially when they're one locational, that everybody knows what Larimar is. Um, well, here we go. Let's, I found this is actually, we've, ha we've had the authors of this, uh, uh, of this PowerPoint um, or this write-up rather, actually in the Gemporia building. So I know that uh, they won't mind us sharing it. What is Larimar? Well, it, it, we don't use that terminology anymore. We don't use semi-precious anymore because the GIA um, got rid of it after, well, basically you think about it. We used to say garnet was a semi-precious stone. You can't describe Zavarite, Demantoid and color change garnet as semi-precious. So it's a precious stone. So let's, let's just correct that. If precious stones have their own cachet of best kept secrets, then one of them is definitely Larimar, an extremely rare precious stone that has only been found in one very small location on the planet, a remote, remote mountain range of the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. We'll read on. Here we go. Where is it found? Larimar deposits have been found in only one place in the world, a remote mountain range on the island of Hispaniola. The total surface area of Larimar deposits is thought to cover less than a single square mile. Now, to put that into perspective, the tanzanite 
um, the tanzanite deposit is significantly larger, significantly, one square mile only. And that's in the entire world, in the entire world. It is unknown why Larimar only formed in this one location, but the mountain range was formed by tectonic plates pushing against one another. So the region was very volcanically active. And it was most likely a unique volcanic event that led to the formation of this gemstone Larimar. So a little bit like Tanzanite in actual fact, movements of tectonic plates created Mount Kilimanjaro and ultimately uh, Tanzanite as a gemstone. It's thought that that same occurrence would have uh, you know, produce this gemstone. There are element, uh, various elements which influence the properties of Larimar, such as copper, vanadium, hematite, phosphorus, and silica. The exact process that form Larimar is unknown, but it is obviously due to the unique composition of these minerals in that area. If you look at pectolite, which forms in lots of places around the world, it's like a whitish gray color. This is a form of pectolite, but only here does it transform to the blue. Uh, how is Larimar mined? Well, Larimar mining is considered artisan mining, meaning it is uh, small scale and informal, carried out by individuals or small groups using mining machine, sorry, minimal machinery and equipment. It is a major driver of community development by providing jobs and ensuring profits for local villages in the surrounding regions. Alternative employment in the areas is limited to low plain sectors such as agriculture and fishing. In contrast, to, uh, industrial scale mining. Uh, the miners' earnings are spent locally supporting sustainable economic growth within their community. So I love that, that, that slide because, you know, whilst we all love our gemstones, we should uh, know that they are ethically sourced. And frankly, Larimar is up there with some of the most ethically sourced because, you know, what's wonderful? Say you and I were Larimar artisan miners and we both went down this shaft, which you're about to see in a second, um, and say, you were really productive and you managed to get lots of Larimar and say I wasn't. We all share. Every, they all yeah. share nice. yeah. um, the fruits of their labor, which is wonderful. So 40 years ago, the deposit of Larimar um, was on the surface. But over time, the, ma the material has been mined out, reaching the, sh uh, sorry, requiring the shafts to go deeper and deeper. The best quality Larimar is often found in layers between two different types of rocks. So the miners dig vertical shafts down until they hit the this boundary layer and then start tunnel tunneling around to look for the veins of Larimar. There is no way of estimating either, and it's going to be answered in a second, how much, mine, uh, how much Larimar there is left, because that's usually a question that follows suit. Um, so will, ta will Larimar run out? Due to very small deposits of Larimar and the limited financial uh, value of the Larimar deposit, extensive geological uh, surveys of the land have never been done. The available quantity of Larimar is unknown, but what is known is that the surface area has been mined out. So now the shafts are chasing, I think that's a key word, uh, the Larimar deposits deep into the mountain. So simply, we know that we've got 15 to 20 years left of mining tanzanite but it could be tomorrow that Larimar literally uh, is, is completely deplete. You think about tectonic plates, movements, volcanic activities, it was very sporadic and quite unpredictable so we don't know exactly what happened but yeah no way of actually saying there's this long, there's that long. Mm. So I think the key message from that is get it whilst you get the opportunity to. But when visually, in terms of Larimar's beauty, um, whenever we say a gemstone displays the beauty of its location, it couldn't be per more perfect than Larimar. Because when we, if I said, if you, if you imagine visions like this, you know, look at that. Or maybe visions like this. Or maybe visions like this. Oh, is our PowerPoint gone down? It's all right. There you go. Visions like this. It's, it should conjure up images of this gemstone, oh, which is totally and utterly natural. Mm. As sunlight catches the laps of waves in that crystal clear water, 
Imagine that patterning created within this gemstone. Now, the, uh, the more exotic blue, the more valuable your Laramar is. You are getting a set of six. You are guaranteed to have, is that right? These exact shapes. 12 carats. So, I mean, you can work out the average carat weight just there, but obviously that is an average. With Larimar, it is a fusion of a beautiful, soft, tropical blue. Not, not, not sapphire blue or tanzanite blue. It's a tropical blue mm. with, with, with literally the sunlight capped waves really patterns yes. within. Yeah. It yeah. couldn't be more perfect yeah. as a one locational gemstone. Now, we seldom ever, ever, ever see Larimar. Very few and far between. Certainly, I know our sister channel um, rarely ever get collections of Larimar. How perfect would this be with your pearls that's coming up in the next hour? Mm. Oh, my goodness me. Larimar and pearls, that combination. And what do you think is going to happen? You know, when we when we uh, sort of fast forward time, if you like, I'm just going to grab my tweezers. For, uh, don't leave them over there. I think I did. Um, when we fast forward time and we know uh, and we hear that Larimar is is all but mined out, what do you think is going to happen to the price um, or per carat of your beautiful gemstone? Is it going to be? Thank you, Michael. Is it going to go down, or is it going to skyrocket? It's going to be the latter, isn't it? Because everybody wants what we can't have. It's naturally human nature. Um, that's, that's what we want. Look at how beautiful these are. Oh, my goodness, Claire. I'm so glad I opened that case then. Look at them. And I notice how I go straight for the big one. I love that they're matching as well. Oh, my gosh. Look wow. at the quality of that Larimar. Look at that quality. It's like looking, literally, bird's eye view into the Dominican. Yeah, I think that's a lovely idea. Yeah, Neary's just said that would be a beautiful engagement stone. Imagine if you proposed in the Caribbean with a Larimar. How amazing would that be? I mean, six amazing stones. This is not a gemstone. If you've been, ever been on a cruise, particularly around the Caribbean, you would never in a million years see it at double figure prices. I highly, highly, highly doubt that. And that's just one of the stones. Just it's one lovely, of them. It's lovely, isn't it? Perfect for your kits today. Yeah, 12 o'clock kits, definitely, with the, um, with the gallery with wire. With the gallery yeah. wire. Yeah, completely. Remind me, Neary, what you're taking these to. It's going to scare me. Do it. Should we do it? Wait, 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 wait. 60 seconds. Shall we put, shall we? Oh, you, oh, the clock's broken. Okay, no problem. I'll tell you what. We don't need a clock, do we? But I want to see you on the phone lines because you've just heard what Neary is I suggesting. Have. You are about to potentially, if there's enough of you there, get the best deal on the ultimate Caribbean stone. Often re referred to as the Atlantis stone because they believe that the Dominican Republic was part of the lost city of Atlantis. It's totally and utterly natural. You can get diamonds from multiple different continents around the world. You can get <coughs> rubies, sapphires, emeralds from different locations around the world. You can get Larimar from one square mile on our vast planet. No, not enough people on the phone lines though, is there? Are you happy though, Neary? No. There's a hundred of these available. Do you know what, Claire, I'm thinking, get these home, even if you've got no idea what you're going to make with them, literally put them in your collection. Yeah, because I yeah. know that when, when Willow and Tiggy are sort of grown-ups, well, I don't know, I'm predicting, really, I'm preempting the inevitable. I don't think they're going to be able to get hold of Larimar. And if they do, it's mm. going to be ludicrously expensive. Yeah. Yep. Because my girls are young now. You think when they're adults and they, maybe they first experience this gemstone, they're not going to be able to get hold of it for 29 99 But we are going lower if there's enough of you there. If there's 100 of these available. <clears throat> there are two price points in producer Tom's mind right now. And I'm going to tell you what they are. We will either go £19.99 or if we can guarantee 
that over 80% of the quantity will sell today, preempt it, then we will go under 15. This is, this, is the, this, is, this is how unique shopping TV is. You've got an RRP. You know, we have like a guide price set to us by the powers that be. We pay absolutely no attention to that more often than not. Um, <clears throat> but if we can, we can sort of gauge the phone lines and the web, if it looks like the bulk of the quantity is going to sell on this launch opportunity, then we will push those boundaries even further. So there's two price points in my producer's mind right now. 19.99, which is utter madness, or 15 pounds if there's enough of you there. He says it's a little bit more like it. I can see that I can see the excitement building um, in producer Tom's voice. Heather, you've done it. Well done. Alan, Patricia, Claire, Kim, Lynn, you've done it. Well done. Sit back and enjoy. Either way, it shouldn't be $29.99 each mm. per stone. Yeah. yeah. Because when I was over in, in, in Tucson at the beginning of this year, the Larimar, I'm kicking myself for not actually filming. Um, any footage. The Larimar was so expensive. It, you know, you weren't talking anywhere near these prices at trade. How, yeah, are you happy? It was meant to be in the eight o'clock hour, yeah, granted. Please know how good a deal this is. Please know the quality that you're getting. Yes, it's genuine. Yes, it's natural. Oh, he's gone even lower than he said. Fourteen ninety nine was an absolutely incredible deal already, but he's pushed those boundaries. This gemstone is, by definition, surely one of the most beautiful that exists. You know, when we think about paradise, most of us will have images like what, uh, like mm, what we've just that's seen. That's what comes to mind, isn't it? It is. Yeah. It's paradise captured within a gemstone and we're bringing it to air at $12.99. Obviously, you, need, you know that that's no reflection of the true value or worth. This is a gemstone which can and does fetch astronomically high prices. Not, not, not $12.99. Goodness me, no. Goodness me. This could literally go on our sister channel um, and be literally set within your precious metal and they would go for high double figures. Mm. High double figures. Gary, Nicole, Diane, Francesca, Veronica. Uh, well done to you, uh, Nicole Powis. I can see you there. Veronica, Doreen, Leslie, Susie, Elaine, Valerie, Richard, Heather. Hello to you, Christina, Alan. You're there. Mandy, Julie, Carolyn, South Yorkshire, Elizabeth. You won't get a better deal for a parcel of high quality Larimar. Um, the more, the more uh, tropical the blue, the higher the quality of Larimar. And you're not looking for one solid colour. You want the colour zoning. You want it to literally look i've got a photograph somewhere um tom within that within that powerpoint i think it was or maybe there's one previously um where it's literally one is of the sea as in looking through and one is a larimar and it's really difficult to tell the difference between those two gemstones because you can see the lovely patterns almost where the sunlight is capturing uh catching the light of the ways absolutely beautiful 12 99 where dave troth is about to step into the studio um for uh, for your deal of the day if he was to see these kind of prices in fact he probably has already in the background in the production office he'd be astonished he'd be absolutely astonished stay where you are on those phone lines yeah big percentage of I'll the quantity that, i'll gone. give you that one back i think <gasps> depending on what what sort of sizing you get though but watch the demo oh, coming up because that. I think if you've got the mixed shape, so this would go and you get any of the kits. I think that it looks like they're going to sit in the um, in the bezel setting. So, and I'll, I'm going to show you how to um, uh, to make a ring with that. So you could just have it like you could just glue it and have it like that, couldn't you? That's or gorgeous. if you want to, um, and so that'd be a Larimar ring. Oh my goodness me! Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. Make sure make sure you check out your baskets on that lovely parcel right now. If you, Wait until you see this. Oh, these, oh. Please know that these are worth considerably more than we're taking them to. Considerably more. Oh, I'll be honest, I feel, I feel quite uncomfortable about that price point, near me now. I mean, I'm excited, yeah, but I do feel quite uncomfortable. That's they are over three carats in each stone. 
And there you've got, again, matching pair. Yeah, perfect matching pairs. The quality of this Larimar is unbelievable. And the price that I have just heard is, frankly, ridiculous. With stunning colours owed to traces of copper, sometimes stones uh, ex exhibit sorry, spots of green, red or brown as a result of oxidisation and the presence of iron. Do you see any of those things? I definitely don't. Larimar, right, this, is, this we, need to, we need to absorb for a second. Larimar with less white and more exotic blues are the most desirable. And then we promise that this is going under £10. That's madness, isn't it? It is madness. I'm actually anxious. I feel a little bit nervous. You know when you have butterflies in your tummy? It's happening. You've heard it, literally, from the horse's mouth. They're 12 by 8 millimetre stones. Mm. How many do we have of these? They're going to sell out. There's 125, but they will sell out because that's madness. For small... Gosh, yeah. Do you, do you remember, to make a comparison with ourselves, not that long ago, we had a little, little pear-cut Larimar. It was about four millimetres by about three. It was small. It was, a, it was beautiful, but it was small. And that was about that price. Mm. One teeny-weeny one. You're getting two massive three-carat natural Larimars here for £8.99. Wendy, Carolyn, Beverly, hello to Rachel, Nancy, Claire, Margaret, hello to Cheryl, Gloria, Francesca, Paula, Marie, Anita, uh, Bristol, Susan, hello to Jane and Steve, Gosh. Lynn, Anna, Karen, Teresa. You watch how quickly these sell out. Yeah. That's the lady, by the way, who wrote that article that I was reading to you. Um, so there we go. She was the, one of the founders of the Larimar mine um, herself and her her now ex-husband actually were the ones that uh, um, wrote that article. So passionate about this gemstone. When they when they did when they did separate, sadly, obviously she was that uh, not just upset about the separation, but she said, "I can't I can't be around Larimar anymore because she was that passionate about the gemstone. It just didn't sit right having Aww. having." the Larimar and not husband and vice versa. Yeah. So it's quite a sad story, but um, it was her words um, that talk about, uh, talk about the gemstone that I've written to, uh, I've just read to you there. Look at the quality that you are getting for 8 99 today. Well done. There's about 12 of these left, so it is going to be an on-screen sellout. Please do not abandon your cause. Well done to every single one of you that has been successful. And again, something yeah. that will work with your kits today. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, well, really, really well. Well, your 12 o'clock kits with the gallery 12 it will with all of those, yeah. And the fact that, you know, I think you've got some similar shapes, hadn't you, to the, yeah. um, to the settings, definitely. Speaking of kits, well done. Shall we start with? I love this one. Yeah, me. Oh, these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to start with the strand. Look, so think Dominican, you think sunshine. Wouldn't the Dominican be really nice alongside this kit as well? The Dominican, the Larimar, rather. Ah, oh, that's lemon quartz. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Then you have these amazing settings. And you've got the two smaller sizes. These are 925 sterling silver. Now, if you want the perfect stones to go within, see if I can balance it all there. There is your calibrated citrine. Beautiful, beautiful citrine. Um, and the size of that, let me just see, three and a half carats, 12 by 10 millimetres. And then you have the pair of ovals. I love this kit. It's wonderful, isn't it? It's, it's glorious. It's mm. summertime, isn't it, in yeah. a kit? Yeah. And Claire, you have the finished article. I do. It's, um, so I did something uh, different with, with this one. Um, so I, I, because that stone is, is, I mean, there's lots you can do with these, oh. but I, I just thought that stone was it. Yeah, absolutely incredible. Um, so you, again, so when you when you've got a really um, a nice component, uh, you know, and it's finished like this with that that beading around it. So all I've done is just snipped it off. So I'll show you. Um, I mean, you could just absolutely uh, put a, a jump ring on yeah. it, a fabulous pendant, glue it into the um, into the setting, or because it's the sterling silver, you can um, you know uh, solder with it as well. Like you have yeah. done just there. Yeah. 
Yeah, beautiful. we're going to go straight down to this because the price point, frankly, um, on it, it is unbelievable for the silver, for the quality of the citrines. Twenty four ninety nine. Never in a million years would you expect to pay twenty four no, ninety nine. Not for, that for, one for, for for that. Yeah, for that size stone. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And. Uh, you could possibly use that mount for the Larimar that you yes, just had. Yeah, yeah. It looked like um, that. That would that would fit. It looked like that would fit yeah, within yeah, there as well. Yeah. Twenty four ninety nine. But you're not just going to get that one ring. You're going to actually be able to uh, create multiples. Yeah. Now we've got two additional kits. I love the fact that these kits. You've had your ovals. Now we're going to do the rounds, and then we're going to do the pairs. But different gemstones. I also have um, a wonderful grandidurite slider bracelet to squeeze in this hour as well. Starting with one of the most beautiful quality amethyst round strands. Look at that. Um, I'm going to put, put, place an unofficial bet on this. Is it Zambian? Because I'm looking at that recording. Because I am. Oh, my goodness me, that recording's off the chart. Hello, Adam. Look at that quality of colour. Oh, there it is. Oh, my goodness me. Let's put the stones on the back of my hand. It is all about that chocolate box purple, isn't it, Stunning, when it comes it? to amethyst? Mm. One of the world's most recognised gemstones. We, again, much like pearls, we have that expectation. I, uh, yeah, there we go. I, I, I'm, I'm all right with being proven wrong. This was Brazilian. It's incredible quality. One price crash. Going to go straight down to it. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence only to get hold of the quality of amethyst and all of that sterling mm. silver, Claire. Yeah, is this incredible? Is this is this a perfect introduction into gemstone setting? I think so because I think that um, because that they fit so well. So um, I mean, I've 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 glued mine in. You can if you have a look at the you can see the uh, the wall of the of the bezel. So depending on how what, what you want to show that, you pass it over. if you wanted to. Um, uh, if you wanted to glue, absolutely fine. If you wanted to maybe thin the, the wall down with your, if you're, you know, if you're happy working with your, um, uh, say maybe your Dremel, um, you could take a little bit of the of the wall and, and create it so it's a little bit thinner, and then push it over. Um, you know, if, if you're a real sort of purist and you don't want to work with glue, mm -hmm. so it gives you the option, really, doesn't it, of both. But the, it's, it's very, the stones fit beautifully in. Well, they so, do. Yeah. They, yeah. they really do. Nineteen yeah. ninety nine. you know, that was a price point that we would have, most of us would think would be base metal. They're not mm. base metal, yeah. they're precious metal. I think this is going to be the most popular kit. The colour of this Amazonite is unreal. Because Amazonite comes in a, in a multitude of colours. Well, we had a strand earlier on, didn't we? Same multicoloured Amazonite. But um, wait until you see the cabochons. Now, this is all about the, uh, the, the, the pairs. So you've got a really beautiful, large 925 sterling silver um, pair mount. Then you have the smaller, whether that's a pair of earrings or whether you choose. You didn't get this kit, did you? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I'm gutted, I'm gutted for you, Claire. I know. Because... Look at yeah, this. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Look at that. Color. Oh, that is what Amazonite is all about. Look at that. It's 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 if it, if there was such a grading system, I would say this was A grade, top notch quality, natural Amazonite. Because you notice how it's got that wonderful glow. Do you notice how it's got that level of translucency? It almost takes me back again to the Dominican Republic location because I'm seeing that that beautiful Caribbean sea. The colours within. It's not from that location, of course. Beautiful, beautiful quality. And again, there's the mounts that are are perfectly made uh, to accommodate those wonderful gemstones. Oh, look at that, Claire. Have you ever mm. seen Amazonite? That's so, wonderful, isn't it? <gasps> that, yeah. I'd go as far as saying that's probably the best Larimar I've seen. Oh, one of those cabochons has flipped the wrong way. Works though, actually, doesn't it? But it look at the quality. Really nice, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Now, how many do we have of these then? 52. If these don't sell out, I'm all over it. 
I'll, I'll be buying some of these because they're the most beautiful gifts. Really simple, fine quality mm. jewellery. You would pay significant... Pop along to, uh, to, to, to Monica Veneda and have a little look at the prices of her Amazonite on her website. Um, okay, yes, yeah, she's, uh, you know, that's finished jewellery. It's in silver. Um, and again, the quality of the Amazonite is no greater than what I'm seeing on your screens. Um, there are 52 of these available. Well done, Essex, Richard, Cheryl, Carol, Doreen, Heather, Pauline, uh, Lynn, Vivian, Cardiff. Hello to you, uh, Gloucestershire, Elaine, you've got yours. Hello, Essex. Hello to you, Diane, Carol, Birmingham, Hazel, Kim, South Yorkshire, Beverly, Robbie. Nice to see you, Nottinghamshire. Kathleen in Monmouthshire, nice to see you. Any questions that you have for lovely Claire, then do feel free to message us. We are live in the studio. Apologies for all of the technical glitches we've actually had on our... Uh, uh, on our world wide web yes we did a bit didn't yes we? but i think we've Pretty actually right, yeah, yeah i think we're back in the room now aren't we nina you've done it if you check out your basket claire well done stay where you are they are getting very 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 limited i've got one more opportunity to squeeze in before your demonstration and that is genuine grand did you right the quality Ooh. of this. Did you? Is, is that what you wanted to do? Sorry, I miss. Did I misheard you? What was the other kit? Have we? Should we do it now anyway? I beg your pardon. That's my mis my mistake. Tom was like, "Hey, <laughs> I thought that's what you were referring to." The grand did you right? I've shown you PowerPoint so many times before, and we haven't got the time to squeeze it in in this hour. But it's not a gemstone that really any of us should expect to own with eye clean clarity. So expect the almost translucency that you might see within an emerald. The color is the most, primarily the most important factor. Grand Digerite, and these aren't my words, is documented, hailed as one of the world's most expensive gemstones that exists. And that is only going up, by the way and also one of the world's rarest. It is a really beautiful teal color. Um, very few uh, gemstones will actually possess the same color saturations as what you're looking at right now. But let's show you the prices that Grand Digerite can and does fetch. And let's show you those articles that rave about the quality of this gemstone, or, or sorry, rather the rarity of this gemstone. So you don't have to take my word for it. Uh, over a century has passed since Grand Digerite was first discovered at the cliffs of the uh, Anhandra, Andra, Anhandra Homana in Madagascar. Excuse my pronunciation. Uh, yet little facet grade material has been unearthed. Several sources have been reported across the world, including Algeria, Antarctica, Canada, India, Italy, Malawi, New Zealand, Norway, uh, so Suriname and the United States, but deposits are often uh, meagre and deplete quickly. Most rough is small and gem quality crystals larger than one millimeter have only been found in Madagascar and Sri Lanka. In 2014, a new deposit was located in southern Madagascar, about 35 miles northwest of the original discovery site near uh, the village of Tranomaro. Uh, this new source produces one gem quality crystal for every 10,000 pieces of rough. Now that deposit, the 2014 deposit, is now mined out. And that deposit was the only deposit remaining of Grandidurite. Given its rarity, fine Grand Digerite gems can demand significant prices. For example, gem dealers, uh, a gem dealer and art manager, uh, Bryce Gobin, is quoted in the Gems and Jewelry article as saying that buyers, uh, that a buyer said $50,000 in 2003 for the first known transparent faceted Grand Digerite, which weighed only 0.29 carats minuscule there is a big carrot weight on this slider bracelet if, if, if you yes it's a finished piece of jewelry if you want to deconstruct it you absolutely can know that the deposit is gone 
Know that now is the time to be purchasing, if you get the chance, this beautiful gemstone. It simply has to be a star buy. Don't hesitate. We say it about Tanzanite, we say it, we've said it about Larimar. I buy stones like this, not only because I love them and I'm passionate about gemstones as a collector, but because I know that this, this opportunity probably won't come around again. Most people would never, collectors would never have imagined owning this treasure because of its rarity, let alone the price tag. You know, it doesn't matter if you've got millions of pounds within the bank. If it's simply not available, mm. then you still can't get it. Yeah. That mine, that deposit is gone. It's completely gone. It was mined out quite recently, which means not a single millimetre of grandidurite is coming from the ground. You are looking at 14 carats. Get the certificate. Get the certificate of authenticity. No. Producer Ross apparently set a price on this. And he said it's wild. What did he take it to? No, he didn't do that with me, did he? Was I, produ was I presenting? I didn't think so. I would have remembered. I didn't think it was with me because I would have probably dug my heels in somewhat. You are looking about uh, one of the world's, well, it, it was in the top 10, but Grand Digerite is working its way back up. Some articles say three, some articles say two, because that main deposit is gone, is completely and utterly gone. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? In 20 what? 2020? What, 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 what? 103,000 pounds per gram of grand digerite. Look at that. Let's show that. Because I'm going to ask you to make a comparison of, qual uh, of quality. Look at the colour. Beautiful colour. This was in Forbes. It's that teal, bluey green. Is it perfectly eye clean? No. You've got a translucency to it. Does it have a big black inclusion within? Yes. And that's still what we should expect. Look at the price per carat. That's number three on the Forbes list. $20,000 per carat. And this is outdated, by the way. It's gone up since then. We're about to take natural Madagascan grandidurite to the most unfathomable price tag that you could possibly wish. Everything that I've, uh, that I've just said, uh, yeah, Neary's just said in my ear, it still stands, Elle. And that would be an incredible star by deal. But in 60 seconds, how many is available, though? How many? There are 98 of these available. It's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. You need to start dialing through. If you, not only if you, just because you love this, you love a slider bracelet, you love Grand Digerite. If you regard yourself as a collector of connoisseur, rare, natural treasures, then there is virtually nothing, no, very few gemstones that exist of the 4,000 different minerals that are on our planet. Imagine being number three of the 4,000 mm. minerals that exist on our planet. And it may well go up from three. If you want to separate it, do it. Because you're also getting a slider bracelet. Our deal of the day on Sunday was a slider bracelet. And frankly, well, that was an amazing deal. It didn't have 14 carats of Grand Digerite on them, though. Look at that. It should never happen. This should never happen. We are missing digits, frankly, off that price point. I'm right, aren't I, Claire? We we're, missing, mm. we're missing digits. Definitely. Definitely. And I mean, you can and, and add to things as well. You said about, you know, maybe deconstruct it. But I mean, you know, if you've got your Larimar, oh. maybe, maybe put your Larimar on there. How about using, uh, and this is, 
How about separating, mm -hmm. deconstruct it so you've yeah. got your grandidurite. How about using grandidurite in the insane pills that With you've the got pearls. for the next hour? Yeah. yeah. How about that? Oh my goodness me. 20 pounds. 20 pounds. So yeah, there are 4,000 minerals approximately on our planet. Forbes placed this number three and it might have even gone higher than that. Imagine that. Half the stock has gone already. Collectors getting multiples of these. I do not blame you. Um, I've not seen this, ar uh, this article. 10 gemstones much rarer than diamonds. Of course, Grand Didurite is in there. Of course. And look, and look at the quality of the stone. It's actually far f worse than yours, actually. <laughs> that one is borderline opaque. Would we all agree? A bluish green mineral um, is found almost exclusively in Madagascar, not anymore. Uh, the, the first and presumably only clean faceted specimen um, was recovered from Sri Lanka. Like Alexandra in Tanzanite, Grand Didurite is pleochroic and can transmit blues and greens and white light. There we go. But look at the quality of the stone. It's lovely. It is lovely, but it's not, it's, it's not mm. anywhere near the grade um, that you're about to get on, the, uh, on your strand. Now, there's about, what, 30 chances left. There's a battle on the phone line, says, uh, says my producer, Neary. I tell you what, keep on dialing through. Make sure you check out your baskets. You will never get a better opportunity no, to wonderful. purchase Grand yeah. right than 19 That's madness. It is. The silver, that's silver. Yeah. Well, you should be paying at break, least yeah. ten pounds for yeah. that. At yes, least. at least, at least. Oh my goodness me, Claire! Um, I'm going to leave this with everybody. Um, uh, everybody there. Make sure you check out. So uh, it is flying out the deal. Check out the website as well because we've uploaded a few um, uh, gemstone and calibrated mounts as well. Uh, so have a little reference on those and any questions that you have for Claire, do feel free to message in. So what okay. are you going to demo? So I'm going to show you how to um, how to make the uh, make the ring. Um, so the, uh, uh, all of those, um, you could do this with all of the um, all of the different bezel uh, settings. So all you're gonna have to do is um, a couple of um, adjustments to it. So if we have a look at the, the setting itself, you can see here. So all you'd need to do is we're gonna take off that little, um, the little jump ring there. So if you wanted to have really, really quick, easy makes, you can absolutely do this and, and use these. Like I say, you can see that lovely little shelf there where the stone is gonna sit in, little bit of glue and then let that dry. And then you could add that to, you know, earring findings, uh, bail, and then it goes on a, on a chain, anything like that. But if you want to sort of um, take it a little bit further, you can uh, work with your, if you've got sterling silver wire and you're happy to solder. So if you are happy to do that, so what I've done is I've, um, I've got a uh, made a ring shank with some of my um, uh, sterling silver wire. So I think this is um, uh, maybe a 1.4, something like that, um, gauge wire. You could do it with a, a one mil as well. It's entirely up to you. So I've, I've made that and you can see, so I've got the, uh, the soldered section is just there. So I've, I've, I've uh, done that with my hard solder and you can clean that up a little bit, but so we've got our full ring shank there. So I'm gonna take the, um, take the setting. So I'm now gonna go in, and you know, El, when you'd said about, was this gonna be easy for, um, uh, you know, if maybe you hadn't done any uh, yeah. setting before. I think this is nice and easy as well, because with the beaded wire, so I'm just gonna keep that back as well. Um, what it means is that you can actually, um, you can count the beads as well, and that will help you for positioning uh, when you're working with your ring shanks. I'm just going to take a little bit more off there. So now, so we've got, because it's not, you know, sterling silver, so it's not that we need to worry anything that is plated, but I am going to then just take off, and you could work with um, your needle files as well, but just for speed, you don't want to take off and flatten too much of that, that beaded effect. So I'm just going to take a little bit with the emery board take a little bit off there and then what you would do so when you it's not sharp anymore you can go in then with your needle file just a tiny little bit so that in between the um in between the balls that go along that that beaded detail so now what we're going to do if i swap this over and keep that little bit because we can uh, that would make a really nice little bit for our, um if you're going to do any sort of gran granulation 
So you can see there, so that's actually, that's actually really good. So you can see, um, you can see the side there. So you'd need to just clean that up, mm -hmm. work through your, um, uh, your different emery grades and get that so that that's, that's looking neat and tidy as well. So I'm gonna move this over now. So if I bring that over. So if I bring this here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this up. Thank you. Want me you. to scoot? Thank you very much. No props. And you tell me where you can, um, where you can see this. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna work with, um, if I bring this over so that you can see. So I'm going to work with some, hope, I'm going to try it with some uh, easy solder and hopefully this will go, it'll go quite quickly. So you can see I've cut all these. I'm just going to try and open this up without them going everywhere. You need only a tiny, tiny amount of solder. And I'm, I'm tiny weenie. The more you have, so it's, it's getting a balance um, here because you want, you want to be able to see it. Um, you want to be able to get into the box as well. There we are. Right. You want to be able to see it, but also um, the more you have, um, the more you've then got to potentially clean up. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set. So like I say, you can you can work out and count, count the balls if you wanted to, and you could work with your... Um, so if I just get a, a permanent marker, and I'm going to just... I'm not going to, I'm not going to count now. I'm just going to give you um, a guide. So we could say we're going to go aim for about here and on this side as well, okay? Okay, so that's yeah. where you're gonna place the shank? Yeah, and we're gonna go across there and there. So, just have a look, and there and there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you would spend longer than I'm doing now just to set this up, but you can you get the idea of where this is, of how you would then work. So that's gonna sit on here. So if I just get some of my flux, so let's set this up. So yeah, the, the, the soldering is, um, I would always be a little bit more generous uh, uh, here so that hopefully you can see it, uh, you can see it um, go as well. But just remember that it, 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 the more you have on, the, the potential is, you know, that you will have to, um, the more you'll have to clean up. I'm just gonna try and get this. So let's have a let's have a look. I'll bring this in. Sorry, now I'm going to have to move this over. And obviously, you need to position this because you're not yeah. going to be able to hold it. No, are you? you're not. And I've um, very stupidly forgotten my uh, third hand, so I'm just going to use my uh, reverse action tweezers. We get the idea. So I might just set it up, and then and then you can see it. So you'd spend the time set that up. Then I'm going to position. So I'm going to pop. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Do you see the little yeah. one gone on there? Yeah, we've got. We've probably got a better view than you have. I think there. you might have. That, that's that's. Thank you, because that'll be my excuse for when they um. Was it with you? I was with you, wasn't I? When the uh, remember the the flower ring. That, oh, that, that sort of it, the, the mistake that was meant to happen. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to try and do this, so if I have it like that. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do, let's have a look. I might just try and hold this. So I'm going to get a bit of heat into it. And it's going to bubble up a bit. And what we'd want to try and do is get a little bit of gentle heat in there so that it oh, will yeah. bubble up and then sit back down rather than uh, blow off. Okay, so I'm going to then try and position that. Okay. There we are. So I'm just going to start, get some heat. More heat into the, because um, we've got more silver in the actual setting itself. And hopefully, if you keep an eye on that solder, let's get a bit of heat in the, the ring shank as well. Oh, oh it moved. There we are. I think that's gone. If you've got your third hand, you won't be moving it around like I was then. Let's see. I think that one needs a bit more, doesn't it? Just, just on one side. Yeah. Let's have a... You could post it, couldn't you? I could what? Post it? You could post a little bit of solder underneath it. 
Yeah, I can't actually see that side. Is it? Is it there? It's that one, isn't it? There we are. You give me a shout when you can see it go. When, which, which side are we looking at? There we are. Is it gone? There, gone. Yes. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh. Right. Ooh, let's gone. see if this. It's a good test. So if it's um, if that. If that, no, if it had, um, and it's a bit skew if, so if I sort of show you that there, it's a good test. So if that, um, if that hadn't sold it properly or the fact that it's a little bit skew if, we can just introduce the heat back, take it back off, clean it up in the, in the pickle and then um, and just have, have another go. You've got enough to do that. Depending on the stone that you're going to work with, so on, with mine, what I decided to do, can you see the section on mine here? There we go that bit of the ring shank I actually took I actually cut that off at the back so if I turn it like that so I cut that section off do you want to hold the ring is that thank easier so I just put the two together yeah thank you so you oh I see so you do you, so the, the I show you the, the yeah I don't want to go too close so that can you see there so all you do is you you just snip that bit off and file it depending on what um what stone you're working with but because that citrine was so you know it's beautiful isn't it so mm. you can see through it and then you just go in and glue your tidy up obviously you know the same things that you would do with all of your sterling silver uh polish it up and then and then just glue your stone in but that, that's something i can imagine i could i used to be so frightened of uh, of soldering and things like that but actually no you really really really, sh really shouldn't i mean and that's a particularly not a great job oh, uh, yeah. but you can see there's not too much to to clean up in there lots of that if it came in you know if you pop that in the pickle yeah. all of that discoloration would go and then, and then obviously so it's so yeah and that's it unbelievable i love it i absolutely love it i mean that's the story it. that you've uh, that, that you've created that really lovely kit beautiful lovely lovely kit um yeah amazing 19.99 by the way still if you want to get hold of the grand did you right slider bracelet they are getting very limited and there's a lot um to use neary's words there's a lot of basket action <laughs> um, there's also a lot of checky outy action though as well isn't there so there's only a handful of them left now um, you'll never get a, a grand did you right deal quite like that again I shouldn't ever imagine now um, do you do you, are, are you yeah over and out let's I'm do done, I'm done yeah I've got time to squeeze this in then because we're gonna go from grand did you right to hands down the rarest color of sapphire Paparacha Sapphire. It's apps the popularity. Sorry, Jimmy. The popularity of this gemstone has gone through oh. the roof, which is, I mean, wonderful that it's getting the limelight that it so rightly deserves, but also it's an issue because Paparacha Sapphire is the rarest colour. Um, it's uh, likened to that of a lotus flower where you have the most beautiful fusion of orange and um, like, a, like almost like a fuchsia pink. Um, the popularity why has it gone up well princess eugene she was actually uh um she was actually proposed to with a paparazzi sapphire um and it has that lovely sort of orangey pinky color that you're actually going to see um see within your bracelet now this is a gemstone that anybody who doesn't expect to have to dig very deep into their pockets to purchase especially 10 carats of paparazzi mm. sapphire um well I'm going to say you probably you probably haven't been around this gemstone very much. Showcases, single pieces of Paparaccia Sapphire don't come out every single day. In fact, our sister channel probably has a handful, a handful of pieces. There it is. When you see Princess Eugenie and her Paparaccia Sapphire, Take in that colour, almost take a memory photograph of her engagement ring. And the one on the right is her mum's. Oh, I didn't know she had one. Didn't know she had one. Um, now have a little look at your Pratt Production Sapphire. Mm. Oh, it's wonderful, isn't it? The colour is so distinctive, yeah. isn't it? Let's put a 30 second clock onto your screen. If you want to separate it, separate it. Can you imagine, you know, when you lay your head down this evening, uh, can you imagine looking back thinking, oh, bought 10 carats of paparazzi sapphire today, bought 
Was it 10 carats as well of the Grand Digerite? I can't remember. Bought Grand Digerite today. They look lovely together. They would. They? I was thinking yeah. 14 carats. Can you imagine being able to say that? Just casually, yeah. Bought the rarest colour of sapphire that exists, Paparaccia. Um, and also bought one of the world's rarest gemstones. Forbes are actually listing it as um, number three. And that's only going to go up, by the way, because the main deposit's gone. Can you imagine being able to say that you purchased those two gemstones on this Tuesday morning? How incredible is that? Wow. £29.99 only. It's wonderful, isn't it? What a gift. Yeah, it is wonderful. Mm. It I'm is. seeing like a, a bridesmaid's jewellery as well, that, that colour, because it's so unusual, isn't it? I think it'd be a nice summer wedding. As if, how decadent, how, how mm. decadent are we to say, yeah, just casually giving away Paparaccia Sapphire. Please know the rarity of Paparaccia. Mm. You can get Sapphire in, 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 in a rainbow of colours. You can get it in beautiful blues, as we most of us know. You can get it in pinks. You can get it in colourless. You can get greens. You can get um, purple. You can get colour change Sapphire. Paparaccia is hands down one of the rarest and commands astronomical prices. To be able to say that you can purchase for £30, is incredible. I know we won't have many of these left. Um, it was actually first launched, what, only recently? Only recently, wasn't it? Uh, sixth of this month. So we're in last chance territory, says uh, uh, producer Neary. Uh, Linda, well done to you. Hello to you, Heather, Maker, Antoinette, Lynn, Jill, Vivian, you're there as well. Congratulations. Make sure you check out those baskets now. Um, extreme rarity in today's show. Well done, everyone. And I'm super, super, super excited about the opportunity that you're about to see. Um, now, I'm excited as well to have the conversation with Dave because I don't know if he knows but this is the pearls. This is, these are the pearls that I am very proud to say I, I am a custo uh, custodian of. They are literally off the chart incredible. Um, the most flawless pearl I've ever seen. And you get it in a strand. And we've got more. We've got beautiful fireball pearls. We've got natural colours. We've got individual pendants. So every single budget that you could possibly wish for. Claire, you're coming back, aren't you? I am coming back in a bit, yeah. amazing masterclass. Yeah, we have, yeah. Whopping Tanzanites to bring you. But do not go anywhere, because I said earlier on, and I'll say it again, a feast for your eyes in the, be the most beautiful pearls you could ever imagine after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. 
Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Honestly, you are about to be utterly spoilt with the best pearls that I've ever seen from any establishment. And the man to bring them to you is the wonderful Dave Tross. How are you doing, Al? Are you good? I'm good. I'm uh, so excited. Uh, and I'm, I'm extremely excited. I mean, just then, just what you guys saw then, you know, seeing Al, you're surrounded by the most impressive pearls we've ever bought as a group, as a company. You know, I've done many of our pearl showcases next door. You guys will have joined me for those. And when we've done, uh, you know, the naturally lavender uh, pearls next door, one, they've never been this large. I mean, this is almost impossible. Remember, for, for these pearls, there's only ever been a single harvest, which was in 2018. They hit the gem shows, notably Hong Kong in 2019, and now they've disappeared. Because of the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, these, these pearl farms, and there's only a handful that have ever been able to produce this color from that single harvest, uh, they were decimated, completely ravaged by the coronavirus outbreak. And they're saying that it might be 2026 20, at the earliest when we start to see pearls like this back on the open market. Uh, by which point the price will already be set. And what I mean by that is a strand of pearls like that right now is, is five figures. Yeah. Just so you know, and I know that you've acquired the first strand that we're talking about, Al, which I think is an extremely smart move. You mm. know, as, as a friend, you know, we spoke about it. And I'm speaking to you guys as friends right now. These opportunities won't be here again. They will not be here again. Um, it's easier for me to get, uh, for, take price out of it. It's far easier for me to bring you a selection of conch, genuine conch pearls now, natural conch pearls. Wow than it is to do this. In fact, I've received two WhatsApps this week from a friend of mine in Turks and Caicos who is, you know, two conch pearls have turned up. He's told me the price, you know, am I interested? And, and the reality is they're still coming out, conch pearls. This material simply isn't. And I want you to understand why this is so important because 
the, the pearls that we bought you, the, the reason that they are so important in the market is because it's the first time these natural colours have ever been cultured, ever been cultured. This is the single most important moment in, in the landscape of the pearl industry than since uh, Mickey Moto realised that, that, that you could culture pearls. Wow. That, that's literally the, the, the moment that we are in, that we find ourselves yeah. in. And I'll show you why. You know, even during the COVID pandemic, after they'd figured out how to culture these pearls, you know, back, back in um, the days before Mickey Moto, you think about the value of pearls, uh, the Cartier Mansion, the Cartier flagship store on Fifth Avenue, was traded for a, a double strand of pearls from Pierre Cartier in his workshop on Fifth Avenue. That's how valuable pearls were. In fact, when a perfect round pearl was discovered in the Gulf of Persia, it sent financial markets around the world into a frenzy every time a single one was discovered. And then Mickey Moto realized you could culture pearls and the price kind of plummeted for a while. In the same vein, when naturally colored pur purple pearls are found, it sends head headlines around the world today. This is one such headline. Everyday clam opens to reveal a single rare purple pearl. And you can see the gentleman's index finger there. And you can see the size yep. of that single pearl, right? It's small. Yeah, and, and uh, this is a gentleman called Alex Miller. It was April 3rd, 2020. And they wrote, in the midst of the coronavirus outbreak, Alex Miller gave his friends something else to talk about, at least for the moment. And it talks about him finding this incredible purple pearl inside a clam that he'd just opened. And it goes on to say it's not his first such find. And they say that the shape before was nearly identical, though, and the GIA, which he had paid to appraise the first pearl, described this one as button shape. Its value is between three and $5,000 if you were at torch now. Wow. So you saw the size of it. Five grand, three grand. And he, Alex Miller says, look, the money doesn't really interest me, but more so it's just how rare, the curiosity of how rare it is. He says, um, they asked him, the, the reporter asked him, you know, what are you going to do with the pearls? And he says, now that I have a second one, finally, all my friends are urging me and I see a glint in the wife's eye. Now that you have two, it might make a nice setting. So he's looking at maybe, possibly, creating a pair of earrings. You know, incredible, Amazing. naturally coloured purple pearl earrings. And even after they figured that they could culture these, one arrived at Bonhams. You know, again, this is last year, 2021. Uh, a rare pearl found on a dinner plate will be sold at Bonhams. 15 to 20 grand. 15 a to 20. Single pearl. Yeah, single, incredible pearl that was found in a clam that was uh, auctioned on the 16th of June, 2021. And then there's a gentleman, Jack Lynch, who's the, the owner and operator of Sea Hunt Pearls. Now, I see them, I've never spoke to Jack Lynch, but I've seen him from time to time at the gem shows. He's got a big pearl, uh, pearl presence. He usually has a booth at Tucson um, and at JCK, as many of these vendors do. He's based in California on the West Coast, and he's a, he's a huge pearl dealer, right? And he's worked his whole life in pearls, and he was offered the necklace that I just showed you, this incredible purple pearl necklace, right? And they told him when he bought it, these are naturally colored. Now, he'd never, ever, ever seen natural purple pearls. He's seen dyed pearls, as we have to. Mm -hmm. And so he, he, straight away, he was like, right, I've got to send these to the GAA, just like Alex Miller did. Yeah. He was like, you know, there's 33 perfectly round purple pearls, Everything, everything in me tells me they shouldn't exist. Yes. He's, this yeah. guy's dealt with Tahitian, South Sea, Indonesian golden pearls, most likely conch pearls, you know, mellow, mellow pearls. Yet he's never been offered ever these purple pearls. So he bought them. He sent them to the GIA. The GIA is New York laboratory. They said the pearls, um, the, the pearls were farmed in both Hunan and Hubei provinces over a period of three and a half to four years. And they're naturally strong pinkish purple color, which is just incredible. And then I want you to understand in that same article, they go on to say that they debuted, which means they'd never before been seen. They, the first time they were, the world ever caught a glimpse of the pearls that you own now, mm. right? They debuted at the Hong Kong jewelry shows in 2019. And they say the initial harvests, because they've only just been harvested, were priced at sky high premiums, especially the perfect round pearls, well into the high thousands. I mean, supremely high, because the world had never, ever had the opportunity to own these. And from that initial harvest, which, like I said, there's only been one. The, the other harvests have been compromised. We have to wait till 2026 to see if they even re-emerge. We have genuinely, I, I've seen many, many now naturally purple pearls, both mm. on WhatsApp, uh, both mm. through the vendors that I work with, been offered lots, lots that we haven't bought. I'm gonna say to you right now, these are the largest I've ever seen. Ugh, yep. So there's only been one harvest, and we're about to bring you, to my knowledge, the largest pearls from that single harvest. And when you take into account that they were going for sky-high premiums, 
even when they first debuted in 2019, you're about to get the deal of a lifetime. And then there's a, there's a company called Yoko in London. You might have heard of them, Elle, I'm not, yep. I don't know, but they are essentially a pearl uh, atelier jewelry house based in London, and they have a high jewelry section. They have a high jewelry section where they bring the same pearls. Now, we, don't, we know there's only a handful of farms that have produced them. There's only been one harvest to date, and they are from both Hunan and Hubei provinces. So they're all from the same waters. They're all from the same family pearl farms. There isn't like someone that's making them in Mexico as well. No one actually knows how it's done. Now, in their Novus collection, they've got this freshwater pearl necklace, because, of course, they are freshwater. It's in 18 karat rose gold, and the color is identical to what Elle has in her collection, what we're about to bring to you. And it's price on application. Can you see that? Yep. Price on application. I requested the price. And do you know how much it was? It was 22 and a half thousand pounds today. And you know what you paid for yours? Yes. Okay? And I know what you guys are going to pay for this. 22 and a half thousand pounds. Even a large single pearl in the Yoko of London today, right here, is 2,300 pounds. So I just want you to yeah. So I want you to understand, and, and if you get like a pair of earrings, it's five thousand seven hundred or eight grand. But like I said, that necklace is twenty two and a half thousand pounds today. That's a down payment on a house. Yeah. For a pearl necklace, and yeah. it's only going one way. It's only going one way. They're only getting more. They're harder to find. More expensive. And this is the problem. And I'll talk to you about it. Sally Hewry provided us with this opportunity calls them the impossible pearls. Okay? She, she playfully refers to them as the impossible pearls. And what she means is, you will never see another strand of these pearls. Because if a strand is 22 and a half thousand pounds, but a single pearl is 2,300, it makes more sense to sell them singularly. Yes, of right? course. If a pair of earrings is eight grand, yeah. which, we, we, let's go back, same company, okay? There's a pair of earrings, it's 8,000 pounds, or you can sell uh, that, for 22 and a half thousand pounds, you are going to sell earrings and pendants and rings because it makes no sense. How many? 36. 36 you've got there. 36 of the largest yeah, naturally coloured, fresh water, n naturally coloured purple pearls. You've got a 20 grand necklace pairs. next to out there. 20 grand necklace essentially in today's market. And the price is only going up. No one is now committing to strands. No one wants to do strands. In fact, we know it makes no sense for us to do this strand. And it'd be really easy because of the way we operate here at Jewelry Maker. There's no clasp on that. I can just take those pearls off and sell them individually. Mm -hmm. Sell them individually because they're huge. Next door, there is never, I'm pointing next door like you guys can see, but through this wall is the Gems TV studio where we sell finished jewelry, as you guys know. Um, we've never bought a single pearl that large from these waters, never. And you've got a strand, a strand. Now, they've disappeared from the market, but the demand is still really high because the world only caught a glimpse of them in 2019. And what that means is, as you know, with supply and demand, the price is going up. This means that when they do come back to the market in, say, 2026, the price will already be set. It will already be the most expensive pearl in the world, other than a conch pearl, other than a mellow mellow pearl. In terms of the world of cultured pearls, you know, when you think of your Okoya pearls, you think of your, your maybe your Keshi pearls, you think of your, your um, Tahitian and your South Sea, this is already the most expensive pearl mm. in the world today. Mm -hmm. In like two years, it's done that. And I'm just going to say to you right now, we've bought some incredible showcases, me and Al, we've brought you some of uh, the most impressive jadeite in the world. Yeah. The most impressive uh, uh, gemstones, aquapres, uh, emeralds. In, ter in terms of just solely a buying opportunity, and I hate to be crass about it, but I'm just going to be honest. As terms of, of a buying opportunity, this is the greatest gift we've ever bought to you. Oh my gosh! Yeah. So much so that L, you know, who you know is a friend of mine, has acquired these pearls separately. You know, no, I'm not. You know, we're not here doing some kind of show. Mm -hmm. I've spoken to L about this necklace, and L spoke to Tom, yep. your husband, and you bought it. And, and you I didn't and we stop talking about, about it. Well, you haven't stopped show. talking about it even even now. Yeah. The last time I saw you, yeah, we were talking about. Going to Italy yeah. and trying to secure some 18 karat gold clasps for you guys yeah. for opportunities like this. Yeah, because absolutely. both me and Al, I'll be really honest, are really annoyed, aren't we? Yeah. That we don't yeah. offer 18 karat gold clasps. 
Because we think, and I'll be honest, I think it cheapens it. So do I. To bring you a silver clasp. I, I, you know, usually I'm quite disparaging about, you know, look, we bring stuff with tassels or on this one you've got, what do you call that string through it? Here? Uh, well, it, it, it's, like it, a, it's just on a thread, but you would put sil silk. Yeah, okay. You would use silk. But, but what I'm saying is, I'd prefer to bring it like that than to cheapen it by committing to putting a silver clasp on it. Me too, 100%. And I'm going to say to every single one of you, we will work on getting some 18 karat gold clasps, whether it is from Italy or Germany or indeed from you know, uh, Bangkok. We're going to get some 18 karat gold clasps to do in the future because we think that should be part of our offering here. But right now, I want to start with this necklace. Tom, uh, is there 10? Can we just be clear so we can manage expectations? There are... 10, yeah. Okay, there's only 10 of these. There's 10 of these. And, and sometimes we say, you're going to save more than you're spending. Today, quite possibly, you're going to save over £20,000 <laughs> if you want to go against the market value of this material currently in London today. It is sublime. Uh, already, at the price on your screen, we're saving you 20 grand. Do you know, Dave, they are, and I've said this so many times since I've, you first introduced me to this strand, mm -hmm. Hands down, and I've been, I'm 43 now, and I've been in the business for 23 years. I have never seen Sorry. pearls. It's all right. You, um, you just put that on the back of your hand. Sure. I just want everyone to see the size of these. Cardiff, I've never seen pearls of this quality. Never. I mean, these are rounds as well. They're perfect, aren't they? We pay they? a huge premium for these. We're only taking confirmations on this, and what that means, look at this on the back of our hand. It's oh, it's insane. It is, they are, and I know we should always be cautious to say this about an organic gem. Maria, they congratulations. Are flawless. Yeah, they are. Flawless pearls. These are cultured. And Elle said something that was really pertinent earlier, you know, before we came live. I was talking to Elle just candidly. And she said, do you know what? When you see pearls this good, they look fake. Yeah. And they do. They look, and that's what happens with, with the, the best of the best. You know, if you've ever seen a D flawless, you know, a uh, diamond. Yeah. It looks like glass. It looks fake. Mm -hmm. I saw Imperial Jade at JCK. It looks like resin. Yeah. It's that good yeah. that they look fake. And, th and that is what these pearls have achieved right now. I'm going to do a minute clock, guys. Um, we're already saving you thousands, like tens of thousands, which is crazy. It's madness. I want you to go and get these valued. Elle's doing exactly the same. Yeah, thing. I'll do that, yeah. I will absolutely do that, and it's going to be on 18 karat gold. We'll, we'll, you, you know, we'll make a 10-minute documentary, especially for social media. Yeah. Right, I'll come with you. We'll go and get an 18 karat gold class. We'll yep. go down to London. Yep. Um, and we'll go around different... I'll get some appointments booked in, and we'll go to some of the most notable jewellery houses with Charlie Barron. Yep. And we'll see yep. how these are valued. We'll see how these are valued. And uh, uh, the reason I'm going with it is because I'm going to make sure she doesn't sell it. Because I'm telling you now... If you're going to be quoted some crazy prices, mm -hmm. you wait five years, ten years. I know. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. And the temptation, I probably would need you to hold me back from selling. Yeah, but they, no, are, they are the best yeah. I've ten ever seconds, seen. These are out of here. Ten seconds, these are out of here. I'm doing one price on these. One price. We're, uh, there's, there's a lot of people wanting them. We can see right, you on ready? the baskets, oh. but... To all of our collectors now knows better oh than Oh my deal. goodness, yeah. To every single one of our collectors want to say thank you. The other thing I'm going to say before I even call this final price, pay to get these individually strung. Individually mm. strung, individually hand knotted between each and every pearl because of the value is such in each pearl. You saw it yourself. They, they should be sold singularly. Yep. £799. Pounds. It's incredible. Under a grand, it's well under a grand. It's absolutely Cardiff, Surrey, incredible. County Down, Cambridgeshire, Anonymous Maker, Anonymous Maker, Cumbria, West Midlands, and uh, Cardiff, congratulations. Absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it. I mean, you've heard me whittering on about this. It's this opportunity where I've been saying... £159.80 on Split Bay. Split Bay allows us to access material like this. You know, by the way that we do business, which is... you know. But, you can see it across the room. Look at that. Look at that. You've seen pearl necklaces before. You've seen them in movies. You've seen them uh, um, Nothing you know, like at that. the red carpet. What you're looking at here is the one in a million. It is. Only, only stepped onto the world stage for a fleeting, brief moment in 2019. Then we had an unprecedented global pandemic, and they've disappeared. Because as with the pandemic, right, at some point or another, every single nation went into some form of lockdown, right? Mm -hmm. Italy, China, Hong Kong, North America, different state by state 
Australia. Everyone went into lockdown at some point, okay? Now, if you're a gemstone miner, so if you're in Australia and you've got the sapphire mine on the, on the East Coast, that's fine. You're not going to work, but the, the sapphires stay in the ground, okay? If you're an opal miner in Kubapedi, say, in Australia, the opals stay in the ground like they have done for millions of years. And the same with if you're mining tanzanite in Tanzania. Problem with pearls is, the reason they call uh, the, the pearl farms nurseries is because they are cared for, yeah. right? So they tend to them. They have to feed them every 10 days. They have to scrub the barnacles off them. They have to move them into different waters for optimum uh, feeding conditions. And if you can't get there, then the pearls die. Wow. And so th when we say it's compromised, I don't think that word does it justice. It's not been compromised, it's decimated. The pearls are done. And so it takes three to four years to cultivate something this large, something this perfect, something this spherical, something this uh, uh, unparalleled. I, 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 I genuinely, We've I will remember, I will think of these pearls yep. to my dying day. They are yep. that beautiful. You'll never forget them. And I'll no. tell you one thing, uh, this weekend just gone next door again, I'll point to the war. Um, at Gems TV, we had uh, uh, one of our favourite guests and one of yours as well, Charlie Barron. Yeah. Um, as you guys know him as a, a Bond Street, you know, fifth generation pearl dealer with the most incredible connections, an enviable phone list of connections mm -hmm. with the world of high jewellery, you know, Cartier and such. Um, and you know, We dined with Harry Winston's great nephew with him while he was in JCK. But this gentleman um, sold next door a £50,000 pearl necklace. This weekend, just gone. Wow. Right? It's only Tuesday. So, you know, 48 hours ago or so. This is rare. Yeah. That, that's, the, that's the craziest, most unlikely tale, isn't it? Uh, there's literally two chances left, um, and there are so many of you um, in the I'm going to do. I'm going to what I'm going to do. There's about 30 of you on the phone lines. If one of these, if the last one stays, I'm going to buy it. Yeah, you should. I'm going to buy it, and me and Elle will go to London. That's it. We, I, can only give, I can only give you the opportunity. I can only give you the opportunity, but yep. we are going to get uh, cameraman Connor, me and Al, trained Do down to time. London, uh, and we're going we, we, you know, to... We'll get two, and we'll sell one. We'll, we'll get two, and we'll sell one. Yeah, let's Just do it. show that. Yeah. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do it. This but, is why, I've, like I said, we, we, these are conversations that we've had, by the way. Because um, we're like you. We, we're the same as you. So we're passionate. Yes. This isn't, we don't just talk about it on screen. No. I can't shut up. I can't shut L up in the <laughs> office. Because you know, that's the thing we have in common. That's the thing that bonds us. We're passionate about things like this. This is what gets us excited. You know, when we walk in and go, you want to see the pearls we've got, we've just acquired. You know, I tell L this about this seven months ago yeah. or something. You know, I'll be like, show her a WhatsApp. And I'll be like, these are coming in. And then Elle will be like, we have to do this show. We have to talk. Yeah. And, and these things happen. And it takes a long time. And you know, the moment we brought them to your screens, Elle bought one. And like I said, if there is one left, I'll be taking that. So congratulations. Yeah, unbelievable. Hold on the phone lines. It was £160 or something on split pay. Which There's one left. Right, it's mine. If you don't. You've got, uh, like, yeah. you've got over half, just over half an hour to, to get that. And then I'm going to take it. You won't see it on these screens again. You yeah, won't. it's, too, it, it's well too good an opportunity to miss that one. Yeah. The I've I mean, never the, seen pearls like that. Remember, it. these are more valuable. More, I don't want to talk so, about value. They're more expensive in the market right now, this size, than Tahitian or South Sea. I and yet, a Tahitian strand next door is over a thousand pounds. Yeah. We did that for seven, nine, nine. I know. It's crazy. Because of the deal we got, we didn't know the COVID pandemic was coming. We didn't know these were going to disappear from the market. We didn't know these would be the largest of the initial harvest and, as such, the largest in the world. Mm -mm. Crazy. Well done. I said earlier on um, that back in my, well, the first jewelers that I worked at, which had the, Bulgari, the Cartiers, the Rolex, all of those big brands. One of my, well I'm going to say, sort of career highlights was uh, selling a pearl necklace to a certain footballer okay. that can bend it. Oh, wow. So five figures, that's better. Yeah, I know, because <laughs> it's I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll be strictly, completely upfront and honest with you guys right now. I worked in uh, you know, this incredible jewellery uh, house, right? Mm -hmm. um, and you know, essentially, they order their stock like from a catalogue, okay? Yeah. But once that pearl strand's gone, they'll order another one in, mm -hmm. okay? And that's how they exist. I can't order another one of those in. I cannot order another one of those in. It's gone. Amazing. Now, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. There Amazing. is an opportunity right now to acquire the drop shapes. <sighs> Same pearl farms, absolutely mesmerizing size, huge size. For the 35 of you or so that just missed out on that previous piece, this is the, the one. Oh, they're beautiful. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm saying this now, Tom. I'm actually going to do an even better deal on this one. 
Right, even though price. they're drops. In terms of price right now, I'm going to do a better deal because of how many of you missed out. How many of these ones do we have, Tom? 25. 25, yeah. Okay. I want to bring in the graphics immediately. I want to bring in the graphics immediately. Now, these are extremely difficult to produce, that drop shape. It's what the world wants. They lend themselves so well. You know, you guys are jewelry makers. I look at it as just a strand, but you guys might look at it and go, earrings, mm. and, and they lend themselves so well to that. So well to Well, that. especially as you just said, they're, they're, you know, it's, it's all about singles at the moment. Absolutely. Because purely, they're so valuable. Purely for, exactly, purely from a financial point of view. Mm -hmm. It makes more sense, way more sense. Yeah. You know, you've got something that the world can't own. And can you do us a favor, Al? I yeah. know this is really annoying probably for you, but can you count the pearls? Of course I, I can. Um, congratulations, Cambridgeshire. You were first one on the finals. There's only 25. And when you see the deal on this, you're going to have split pay. It's going to be an incredible opportunity. 18, 19, 20, 26, 29. 29. So, you know, if you have 29 of the pearls that no one else can get, then you might as well bring 29 opportunities rather than 10 grand to start pricing this. Nowhere near, obviously. They're unreal, aren't they? They are unreal. And I'm just looking at the colours that we're getting here. These there's an ombre of colours. I, lo you you I love... It, it is that purple, that pink, that gold, that pistachio. Uh, Tom, can I, oh, sorry, guys. Can I have a minute clock, please? OK. And Tom, I'm going to call a price, and it's not even going to be our final price. Okay. I was trying to give you guys the confidence. You want to own the finest pearls in the world right now. You want, you want to own the largest as well. That's what mm -hmm. these are. 10 grand. Do you want to know how we've come to that number? I would not be able to replace these pearls for 10 grand. Yeah, that's not just literally plucked out of thin air. No, if I did that, I'd do it at 100 grand. Yeah, yeah. I'd do a million pounds. Or something. It's a bit more yeah. dramatic. It's yeah. lots more room. I'm just saying to you, these pearls, we cannot get for 10,000 pounds today. They just do not exist. No. In, in the Far East, they don't leave now. Because they come from Hunan and Hubei, uh -huh. or did. They debuted in Hong Kong. It's always been in the Far East. Okay, so they don't, they don't debut in Tucson. You might see a couple in Tucson, as we yep. did. Mm -hmm. And you see the kind of prices. Yeah. These yeah. Have, these, it's, not, it's not outrageous to say that these have shocked the world. And anyone who is holding this, this material right now, right, and I'm talking about like vendors, I'm talking about... All right, match the price of the one we just did. And then give me another minute clock. Wow. I'm serious. Okay. You guys know me. I don't take off 5, 10, 20 pounds. I don't do that. Congratulations, Card. If you've just got in, you were in on the previous piece as well. Well done. What uh, an enviable collection of oh, pearls and, you now have. And honestly, they're amazing. I'm going again. I'm going again in a big way. You know, again, using that 0% split pay, um, I, I don't know any other pearl, pearl specialist that will allow you to take pearls of this grade home? I mean, truly, you shouldn't even be able to get close to these. No, no, no. I mean, I used to, um, I, it was always white gloves, glass yeah, cabinet, it should be, it should taken be. to the room at the back if you wanted to look have at something Have a glass of champagne. Like exactly. You know, let's have a conversation. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah. There's so much to talk about here. There's so much to talk about. The fact that, remember, these don't all come from one oyster. No. And one of these is found and they've got to find another 28. Yeah. Of the same size. So that's, that, that makes sense then for the yeah. five figures. You get, the, you get the necklace box in these auctions as well, but I mean, no, which is a given. I mean, you're dealing with some of the, the rarest and most valuable. Right, I'm going to 499. Under 500? Under 500 pounds. Now, you can't get single pearls of this no. size for 500 pounds in the current market, and we've seen that. You know, the rings, two, two and a half thousand pounds. You know, earrings, eight grand. Yeah. And you've got 29 opportunities right now. Elizabeth, uh, anonymous maker, Cambridgeshire, Lincolnshire, Patricia, Claire. Good luck to, to every single, 124 pounds 75 on, on four interest-free split payments. Um, we've had a question asking about the size. Um, so on our specifications, so they start from 10 and a half up to 14 millimeter. Which is gigantic. I mean, that's like I said, like the from, there's only been one harvest. These yeah. are the largest pearls from that harvest. The largest. You know, you're not getting you know, these huge 20 mil pearls that exist elsewhere from this harvest. It's the first harvest. Um, it's the only harvest mm -hmm. that has existed of these pearls. And you've got the largest pearls of that generation. Gosh, £124.75. Again, going back to 
If there's any of these, I'm getting them. Yeah, no, don't get, we do, how often do we see drops? Exactly, and, and, and like I said, drops are one of those incredible kind of organic shapes, you know, if yeah. you think about Baroques. Drop shapes are one of the most in-demand drops. Now, they can't be cut, they can't be faceted, you can't no. put them to order. You've just got to be lucky, you've got to find them. And to find 29 is very difficult indeed. Um, guys, I'm just going to say, you're going to miss out on this opportunity if you're not quick. Yeah, it is absolutely. Half the stock is already gone. Single figure opportunities remaining. Um, don't wait, please don't wait. There's a reason why suppliers are just saying, yeah, we can get them, but seven, it's going to cost you. It are you going to be one of the seven you. or are you going to be caller number eight who misses Oh that? my goodness. There's a lot of you on the phone lines. We, we, in these auctions, in these, these kind of really limited but special auctions, we only take confirmations. Yes. Usually, with the amount of people on the line, we'll just leave it and say, okay, enough of you are there. We're only taking confirmations on these incredible pearls. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? You yeah. charge more than what's on your screens for just one on a gold chain. 100%, and you guys will be aware of that. Um, there will be multi-buyers, I'm sure, of the trade. This is a special moment for yeah. you guys as collectors that changes your collection. Down to the final four opportunities. Don't leave it to chance. So all we can say, I guess, is good luck to yeah. um, so every... Angela, yeah. uh, maker in Birmingham, anonymous maker, Claire in Cambridgeshire. Good luck. Best of luck to every single one of you that wants to own one of these last four chances. 20 have already gone out the door. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. I guess let's... Should we leave the last four chances yeah. there? Leave them you have them. until the top of the hour yeah. because... Again, well, the, you saw the last strand sell out. If they don't, then I'm all over now, it. Now, We're going down to London, so we might as well make yeah, it worthwhile. Now coming up on my favourite pills. These are these insane. are seriously. How many are these, Tom? Not many at all. Two. Oh, and they're for good reason. These are these are the rarest pills on the table. They're insane. Yeah. Oh my goodness me, Dave. This oh. is just out of this world. Two chances of these. The fact that these are, uh, you know, naturally coloured. Well, they're huge as well, aren't they? They're massive. Five grand. I mean, we should just sell these for five grand. You yeah. You won't get anything like this again. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take them out of the box. But, I mean, look at yeah. the scale of these. Yes. There's more people on the phone lines than there is of these available. There's only two available. So, yeah. we are just taking confirmations. It's nice to have your presence on the phone lines. I am going to do you an incredible deal. Can I, can I hold it a minute, Al? Yeah, I'll pass Stevie, it to you. Stevie, would you be able to thank you, mate? I can, oh my goodness me. I've never seen them of this size before. No. I mean, these are the largest those colors, colors I've seen too. Thank you. Here we go. All of these incredible colors. Now, uh, yeah, is, can we get through here? Yes, Stephen, you can get it. Thank you, mate. So I just want to highlight a few of the notable pearls here. As, as I'm going to move this, and the lights are probably terrible up here, and I apologize. But as I move this around, you see this kind of metallic sheen, which is oh. absolutely incredible. But I want to single out some of these pearls, like for instance this one. Can you see how the top of it is purple? And this is, you know, this golden colour. This is a fireball pearl, okay? It looks like a fireball, doesn't it? Now what's incredible is, this is a complete chance that this has happened. You, you know, there's a few of these in this incredible strand as well. What I mean is, the lip of this particular oyster is purple, the body of the internal part of the oyster is gold, and the pearl has slipped from its sack, and as for four years, uh, straddled those two colours and absorbed those two colours, and that's how you get the bicolour. Don't place it like that. That's why some of these won't have them and some of them will. And then, yeah, again, look at that. Look at the, the, the way that the light is able to cascade off these pearls. This here is just the most bright. Oh my goodness, pink, that one. Incredible pearl. I knew I hadn't seen these before. One um, chance left, oh. 499. And we should just leave, stop it here and just sell it here, but I'm going to hand Again, it back to you out. But in terms of measurements... Oh, yeah, these, sorry, you should do that. They're, they're, they're absolutely... Have I got a gauge? We've got the uh, staff on the phone lines. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. But there are only two. Um, oh, there's only one. Oh, there's only one. There was two. You're right, but there is only one. Um, OK, let me just give the... It's going to be approximate, I obviously they're need gone. to say. Well, they've sold out. Well done. Oh my, they're like 25 millimetres plus. They're ridiculous, I love those. By, by 25. Some, oh. Separate them and, 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 and create like a multitude of different things because they're so big. They come in the box as well, of yeah. course, but just the unbelievable. Most the most sensational opportunity. 
I don't even know why I called that price. Well done to all of you. Yeah, it was I did much and, uh, lower. Stupid. We were Thomas just saying that in my ear. I was like, right, just one price, give it to you, four nine nine. Well done. I don't know if we've lost money on those. Now we have uh, two matched, incredible round pearls coming up. They are the natural papaya cup. Oh, beautiful. Which again launched to the world in 2019. The same pearl forms were you know, brought to the world to new, to new natural colors. The one is that of the kind of mellow, mellow pearl, which is what you're about to see, this kind of papaya color, which is, again, never been seen. It is the most expensive color in a natural pearl in the world. Nothing comes close. Look at those. Now, Again. I'm going to let you know a secret, Elle. Yeah. I've got nearly 250 of these. Have you? Yeah, so we acquired nearly 500 pearls because they're in pairs. Amazing. So to you guys at home, can you imagine the deal that I'm about to do for you? I've got 200, and, I'll be honest, we've got 243 exactly. Okay. Pairs. 243. So I'm going to do the most ridiculous price you're going to see. These are going to oh sell look at where you're out, as you can imagine. So yeah. you've just said, hang on, the rarest of colours. The rarest of colours. In fact, can you bring up my, um, the, the thing that I sent you, Tom, about the papaya pearls? Bring up, yeah. Um, perfectly colour matched. It's yeah. not like you can bleach these and then to merge them in a dye to no. match perfectly. No. Mother, you know, the, the mother nature has yeah. to colour match them. Yeah. And even, surely that's your start, your, your finished price. No. Right. Do you want my first price? My first price. Just because I want all 243 gone. Okay. All 243 gone. First price, Tom, 99 quid. Okay. That's where I'm starting. Okay. I get this 329 pounds. I want to see a hundred of you on the phone lines right now. Okay. A hundred of you need to be on the phone lines right now. We are going Wait. to a hundred pounds. Wait, what? Am I? Do they come with something? Oh. Oh, so there's the finished earring if you want to put them in silver. Oh, that changes a lot. I, I only bought the pearls. The team of actually giving you <laughs> something. To, I mean, these are a pair of earrings. By the way, can I just let you know, now I see it in finished jewellery, which is how we are going to bring them to you. Next door, when we take papaya pearl earrings, this size, perfect rounds, they are always triple figures. We're already in double figures. I'm nowhere near done. I'm not even going to touch the price until there's half the stock gone, which I need 120, 21 of you on the phone lines. So you didn't know that there was the, the actual settings within? No, I didn't. They're gorgeous, aren't oh, they? Oh, beautiful. So high-end, so designer. Look at the quality of and those We're just pearls. giving you that material for free because I've only priced the pearls. So I'm just going to do an incredible deal. But I don't know what, what kind of price in silver that we're, we're putting there. I think it's with Topaz as well, I can see. Yeah. I need a hundred of you on the phone lines, guys. Yeah. A hundred of you on the phone lines. I'm going to talk to you about why this colour was so important when it hit the market. So they are very reminiscent of Mellow Mellow Pearls. And, and for those of you that don't know, uh, when you talk about Mellow Mellow Pearls, they are the rarest and most expensive pearls in the world, so much so that they're never drilled, ever. They're never defiled like that. They are left, you know, completely intact. And they're so rare, they're measured by the carat weight, not by the mill size, because they're a non nacreous pearl, okay? They are, they are created by a calcareous concretion. And they say a mellow pearl with orange color and silky flames that dance across its surface, surface has a unique look that will get you noticed. As you go through it, they say these rare pearls, I'll have a minute clock, guys, while we're talking about this. Um, these rare pearls are once a sign of royalty in Eastern cultures, even when they were unknown to the rest of the world. So the rest of the world never knew about these pearls because when they were discovered in the Far East, China, mm -hmm. and Vietnam, mm -hmm. they were kept under lock and key, under lock and key. And, and, and they talk about the colour and the flame structure. And, and the one on the far right there, they say they're 50 carat, remember they're measured in carat weight. Mellow pearl shows an astonishing flame structure. And this is another one. Again, undrilled, will not, they will not drill them. Very large mellow pearl sold for $60,000. Single pearl. The present pearl is a very large size, exhibits a desirable spherical shape, which is what you have, um, and a classic rich papaya colour. It is, of course, undrilled, as all mellows are, which shows off its excellent flame pattern and a fine polish to a great advantage. Now, they have never been able to get this, this colour in pearls, natural colour pearls, unless they dyed them, until 2019, when these pearls appeared on the market. This is your opportunity. I've got two more crashes coming your way. Do you know... Next crash, 
and then I'm going again. Wow. Then I'm going again. For a match pair, which drives the price up significantly, you pay a huge premium for that. And for, the, um, for everything else we've thrown in here, which is... Well, Patricia, congratulations, you've bought three. Um, oh, my goodness. For round pearls? Yes. Perfectly flawless nacre. I mean, just... The rarest colour. Yes. This is and you've got some good. silver there thrown in for free. Yeah. Right, I have a minute clock, guys. Let's do a minute clock. Let's do one crazy price. This okay. is my final price. It will pay to be on the finance early. We have 243 of these, or had, um, and that's why I'm going so low. Now, I've only priced it on the pearls and the deal that we were able to get on the pearls. Remember, I said we bought almost 500 of these pearls. The team here at JM have decided to throw in <laughs> this incredible silver work, all, all, the, all the, what you would need to create a pair of earrings that, that are extremely designer. Like I said, a pair of finished papaya pearl earrings next door would be three figures. Oh, absolutely. I would multiply if you can, 25 seconds before the final price comes in, and then you're gonna be in a queue. If you can use the web or the app, I would absolutely recommend it. Um, Lincolnshire, you've got three. Nottinghamshire, you've got two. You're not the only ones, a lot of you multiplying. Goes off my screen. There's uh, 11 seconds now. And Dave, in terms of construction, to make these earrings, I need nothing other than a right. little bit, a little bit of the specialist glue, which yep. we supply quite frequently. It is literally a case of Tom, fifty quid. Oh 99. my goodness, forty nine ninety nine, and I would multiply if you can, if you've within your budget to do that, because the deal is just ridiculous. I can't believe that we've walked to less than fifteen feet from the studio <laughs> yeah. next door, and a f finished pair. I never thought these would be a finished pair, so I priced them so low. I thought it'd be just the, the pearls. But the JM team have decided to give you all this. Like I said, everything you need to create a really designer pair of And rooms. anybody could do that. Yeah. Anybody, Dave. It's literally a case of a little tiny touch yeah. of, uh, of glue, not the glue that's super, using sort of what, what we call how cement, literally dabbing it onto the peg which is in the mouth and leaving it overnight. Look at the end result. I mean... You, again, you literally walk along mm -hmm. Bond Street, Hatton Garden, Rodeo yeah. Drive. This is where you're seeing these pearls. Like I said, when we talk about Yoko of London, yep. these freshwater pearls are mixing it with the most expensive and luxurious saltwater pearls now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like the Tahitians, like the Golden South Sea. They're very new to the market, and you can't get this colour anywhere else. They're absolutely perfect, aren't they? Yeah. I love that colour. Absolutely adore it. Everything that you see on your screens comes complete. Perfect, spherical, naturally coloured. Would you say it's worthwhile, Dave, getting the certificate with these? Because oh, my God, yeah. What is it? I think it's 25p here, isn't it? Yeah, 25p. Yeah, 100%. It, it, it's, it's a no-brainer, I'll be really honest. Um, it is something that you, you should be adding to every acquisition you mm -hmm. make, especially with things like this when we're talking about you want yeah. to prove that this colour is natural. Um, and I always encourage it. It's certainly with any of the shows that, that I bring you here. Some, you know, some of the items, maybe it's not as important, but certainly with the things that we bring you, I'd recommend absolutely always uh, going again. Again, I, I, I take guess. a minute clock, guys. What we we'll go again? Wait, We're going to go again. There's a lot of you on the phone lines. I apologise for the queue, but we are going to go again on this okay. incredible pair of earrings. Um, I'll ask a question that I think I think we all know the answer. Go on. Can you get any more? No, we can't get these. Um, like, like I said. We will be able to get them in due course, like when, when the harvest come back 2005, uh, 2026, they think. Um, remember Hong Kong Gem Show, which is where these are acquired, has still not resumed since you know, COVID. Of course, they're still in... Um... Yeah, so JCK is back on, Tucson is back on, yeah. but Hong Kong, they're still in quarantine. You know, yeah. With one of my suppliers when I was in JCK, who is originally, well, she's based in Hong Kong, which has been in North America for a little while now. Uh, and she was saying she's trying to keep traveling because if she goes back, she has to quarantine for two weeks. Uh huh. I and see. She's, she's from Hong Kong. And, and and I guess this is probably one of the only ways, or rather, you are one of the only ways that we can actually they can actually make money, generate well, money. Yeah, because I because there is no gem shows, um, it is very difficult. Like ninety percent of their revenue comes mm -hmm. from those gem shows. Uh, go thirty nine ninety nine. Just as an apology for the queues on the phone lines, we're going to take a, an extra ten pounds off. Uh, and put that back in your pocket. And that goes to everyone who's already got it, who's already multi-bought. 
if, 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 if you wanted to, you know, we were saying earlier on about how, um, yeah, Dave and I have had the conversation with the jewelry maker team and how about the fact we should definitely, definitely be supplying things like 18 karat gold. It's this quality which makes us both think that because, you know, you swap out. I mean, they're beautiful, the silver, don't get me wrong. But if you can imagine those with 18 karat gold, then you can imagine the Yoko of London price tags that go alongside it. The quality of the pearl, that's up to you, of course. Um, the quality of the pearls are literally off the chart. I'm going to ask a question that not very few people in any jewellery and gemstone establishment will ever ask. Can you find a floor? Because I literally can't. I'm looking at the surface of those pearls and they are literally, literally flawless. No nicks, no indentations. Okay, how many have gone? So half, nearly half the stock mm -hmm. has gone. Can I have a minute clock? I said we're going to sell out of these today. I said the reason we're going to go to an incredible deal is because we've got 243 opportunities. I'll tell you right now, 49.99 is an incredible deal. That's the yeah. deal I'm talking about. But we're live here. We are live and we're reactive, aren't we? So it's not some like infomercial that's been filmed in a warehouse no. three months ago. No. And going on at two in the morning on another channel. This is live, we are here, we're in our contact center taking your calls, the whole team are here, and we're gonna to respond to this. I want them all gone. We can bring these back another day. What's the point? Let's go again and bring this incredible deal. Patricia, you've got four. Wiltshire, you've got two. Christine, you've got three. At this point, I would just call up and multi buy. Yeah, that's definitely one of what's There's running no, through my mind. Uh, Mary Lee in Arizona, uh, I was there in February, as was Elle yeah. in Arizona. Absolutely love it. Um, it's really good to see your name on the screen. Sally, you've just bought two. Lincolnshire, you've just bought four. Eight seconds. Twenty nine ninety nine. Tom, just get that price in. Let's get these gone. No, no. $29.99. Oh, no, no, no. And like I said, pearl earrings like this next door, and you guys will know, I can see many of you who join me next door uh, uh, for, for, for the shows. It will be triple figures. It will one, two, yeah. nine, sometimes one, four, yeah. nine. Uh, yeah, match pair of papaya pearls like this in you know, sterling silver, in a drop pair of articulated earrings that move like this, that dance. And I love the fact that those vines of silver that encase those pearls, are almost like kind of like starfish. They do, the don't top. they? Oh but yes, they're, they're, that's the perfect description. But they are parve set with these glittering marron biotopes, so they catch the oh. light. And that's why you want the movement. You get two different distinct uh, um, light play varieties. You, Mary Lee, you've just come back in from Arizona and got another pair. Yeah. You get the the, the, the brilliance and the, uh, the dispersion from, from the topaz along the surface on the top, but then you also get this wonderful shilla, this, this orient, and, and the, the pearl orient that we're seeing here, the luster, from, which is a very delicate and different way that it behaves with the light from the pearl. Do you know what, Dave? I can't believe we've done this, but um, I mean, fantastic. Because yeah. right now, you're talk we're talking about the rarest of colors of pearls. Yeah, I'm not having a single pair of these left in our vault. These are gone. Today. Sign me up for some of these because they're beautiful. It's, it's, it's one of those deals where maybe you weren't looking to, to get involved with it. Maybe you're just looking to tune in and not looking to shop. Well, I apologize because how can we walk away from a deal like this? It's just, it is too good, isn't it? It's, it's one of those deals where, like I said, we, we're live, we're reactive. We have 243 pairs. We know there's more, more than 243 of you watching and we want to get you on the phone lines. We want to get you with these in your collection. You and I were saying about, uh, you know, uh, not just today, but we were talking about the other day, like if we popped over to uh, um, to Vegas. Yes. I'm going to hold you to that, Dave, because that's yes. be quite good. No, yeah. um, you know, if we sat, had our own little booth of these. Uh, it, it makes sense. It makes business sense anyway. It makes yes. commercial sense. You know, to, you know the, the booth itself, I would think, would probably be between ten and $15,000, probably a waiting list. But if you got that booth and you stocked it with this incredible material, you, you, and you just went half the price of the competition, yeah. one, the booth would be sold out in a day. Yeah. Uh, and two, you'd be getting these huge uh, profit margins because the market value for this material has changed so drastically mm -hmm. right now that with us honoring the prices we paid makes zero sense, commercial sense, like I said, but that's not what we're about. And we still have, we still have uh, sort of companies that will, uh, will quite that's openly right. actually say, why are you still doing this when everything uh, has, has changed so dramatically in the market? It's what we've always it's done. It's our ethos, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's what we've it's always done. We did it with Brazilian Paraiba. Uh, we did it with the Ural Alexandrites. We've done it time and time again. We continue to do it. That's why we have, you know, hundreds of thousands of, of viewers around the world. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Right please, please recognize the scale of that opportunity. I think you do. Well, oh, wow. 
Now there is a matching pendant. With the papaya? Yes. Let's do it. Let's bring you this incredible deal. How many of these do we have, Tom? Um, oh, it's actually coming the whole... It's the whole... Uh, so it, it would become the whole collection. It's the same, so you get you know, that kind of starfish or the vines along the surface, as I can oh, see from here. Goodness me, look at that. Look at the pearl. And this has oh, a beautiful looks, orange I mean, colour. Well, again, it's that papaya colour, and when you compare it with that, that, that um, what a single stone that was at Christie's for $60,000. Look at that. That's what natural in colour. That's the most yeah. orange mm -hmm. papaya, strong, intense papaya colour I think I've seen. Yeah, rich papaya colour as they would describe it. Not dyed. No dyed, no, no coating, no heating, no treatment in the slightest. Uh, one single pearl. How many chances? What did he say? I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, Wayne's on the phone. Wayne, okay. Okay, I don't know. I'm a guessing, single I'm, pearl. I'm guessing we've got a similar quantity, right? Sorry, we're about 150. Oh, so I do know half that. the quantity, pretty much. Right, straight away, I want you to go to 99.99. Okay. And then give me a minute clock. We've got a minute to get rid of all 150, and I'm going to give you a crazy deal. So we're going to get a 99.99. And then we're going to come in with a minute clock. So straight away, you said earlier on about our sister channel that that, that those earrings one two nine one four nine possibly. Straight away, you could get the the suite. Yes, one hundred percent for that the price, price tag. One uh, piece of jewelry next to Amazing. Got Fifty two seconds right now to make this a reality. Uh the clock's ticking away. Oh, use this time wisely. Use this time wisely to sort of position yourself um, within. Uh, within uh, to make sure what sorry what you're looking for so you make sure that you don't miss out on this opportunity um, they're so simple to make and you're making them the, the ultimate luxury that Absolutely. beautiful color yeah and what is this uh, larger than the the earrings in, in the mill size of this pearl or is it match identically I'm gonna say they're identical well, yeah they are okay. we're gonna do an incredible deal on this as you can imagine Amazing. Ten seconds, guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Seven seconds, six seconds. Don't miss out, because straight away, the fact that you can get an entire suite of natural papaya pills. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. We're going to match the earrings. There's half the quantity essentially of these. You saw how quick the earrings went. You're going to get the chance to to add both of these to your order now. Um, and in total, it's sixty pounds. Sixty pounds. A pair of earrings pounds. and a pendant with the topaz, with yep. the sterling silver. With the these. three, with the three natural papaya pearls. Oh my goodness! I love the description that you've just uh, you've just mentioned there. Um, the fact that it, it is literally like the the, the yeah, starfish. Like yeah, something. It's it's got that organic, beautiful structure, doesn't it? And literally, you can see the peg. In fact, you can see it on the recording, which obviously is not set properly. But there's a peg for you to actually secure your papaya pearl on. It's perfectly spherical, Again, Dave. Gloucestershire, you've got three. Yeah, half a sheet, you've got two. You pay a premium for that. You pay a premium for perf uh, perf and those side you get two perfectly spherical pearls. You do. You absolutely do. Um, and it's just literally a case of gluing uh, your papaya per pearl, pa -pa 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 pearl uh, on the uh, on the precious metal. If you wanted to actually swap that out, which is what I would personally do, using uh, using your your high quality gold. Absolutely. That's why I think this is why I think we should be selling uh, eighteen karat golds here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, we need to. We absolutely need to. When you've got this this level of of uh, quality and rarity mm -hmm. in the offering that we're bringing, then we need to step up our game. We absolutely, absolutely need to step up our game for you know our incredible uh, precious metals. We've got the silvers, which is great, but we need to start bringing 18 karat gold Definitely. that we can work with this material in, in, in the way that it should be worked with. Uh, it's 29.99. Stay holding on the phone lines. A lot of you are multi buying. Yeah, it's a bit of a If you can use the app, then I would recommend doing that. If you can use the web, then I would also recommend doing that because there is a queue. As you can imagine, when you do deals like this, there's always going to be a queue. Yes. Um, and it's worth the time that you are investing. You've just got, even if it was the, the silver at that price tag, that would be amazing. But the rarest and one of the most sought after colours. Absolutely. 
um, in the business at the moment. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Check out your baskets and good luck to you all. Absolutely. Now Ooh. I have uh, another incredible opportunity for you all, which is the mixed colors. We talk, Thank you guys. We talked about the kind of bi colors, the ombres, the purples. Take a look at this that we have here. Um, this is a, a strand that is going to be a very limited opportunity. Oh, wow. Uh, again, remember what we talked about. You've got all of the colors here, the rich papayas, the purples, the goldens, almost some silver tones. And then you get this really, really, really sharp um, secondary tone, these pistachio greens that kind of come out in the Orient, which this is just out of this world. This one reminds me of that, that Hong Kong, the photograph yeah, of the Hong Kong where they that. first Remember, They say sky high premiums into the high thousands yeah. for a strand. Um, oh. What is the, uh, <gasps> oh my God. You see those, those incredible pistachio uh, orients coming through, that high metallic luster. How many um, of these do we have, Tom? Just so we can manage expectations on everyone. Um, oh, there's 24, I apologize. There's 24? Yeah. Right, give me a minute clock. I've got 24 people who want to own this. You're not, L, you're not going to believe the deal on this. In fact, I'm going to whisper the price to you mm -hmm. just because I think you might want to buy it. I and do. I'm just, right, so I'm going to step out of shot. Just letting L know the price, but well, that's just mean. Because no, 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 I can't no, no, no. Go anywhere. If there is one remaining at the end, then L will obviously have first refusal. But I'm letting you guys know at home it's going to be a deal. That it no. should be. This should be four-figure jewelry. Uh, Tom's asking cents. the question: right. um, Are you going to stop on the way, or are you no going way. straight no, to I'm it? No way. I'm going straight to the price. Okay. And, and I know what you guys are thinking. You've seen the strands that we bought you earlier, right? You, you, you're thinking those kind of prices. <gasps> nowhere near. I, I've, I've never, ever, ever been able to bring a strand at this price before. Look at the, look at that green. Yes. Wait a minute. That single pearl should be the price that you've just whispered. Yes. And and I don't think any of you, and I'm talking about you guys at home, are ready for them. No. To. They have to be some of the strongest colours. The say, strongest. I'm going to say it to every single one of you oh right my now. Good. A full strand. One four nine. That's madness. It's be the, and I apologise to the contact centre. I think a hundred people are going to call through, and we only have twenty three available. Well done to Greater London. I, I did say it, Tom. One hundred and forty nine pounds. That's madness. Yeah. I'm going to say something which probably will not be thanked by the powers that be. But you know what? I won't be too disappointed if these don't sell out. No, I'm with you. I mean, <laughs> it's just it's one of those deals where we want to give you something really special. Oh my goodness! Look if this any of you this have this joined thing. me uh, next door. You know what the single pearls go for. Here's a full strength. Can you count them for me, Al? Sure. Sorry about that. Look at the split pay. So they're 10 to 12 mil. So they're um, big pearls. Two, you know, four, they are big, six, significant pearls. They're, they're naturally coloured, but they're also, a lot of them are ombre. I mean, you can see the colours there. It's perfect representation. See how half are purple, half are papaya. Some of them are purple and papaya in the same incredible pearl. 32. 32 opportunities. Look at these colours. I mean, it's every single pearl is world class. Like I said, in terms of its orient, in terms of that metallic high sheen luster, in terms of the shape, uh. in terms of the, the, the perfection of the pearls, the form of these pearls, the symmetry. And this is the exact same size. strand as what we're looking at in the recording, just slightly different light conditions. Yeah. And if you go back to the, the, the um, presentation that I sent you at the start, Tom, there's uh -huh. a, a strand in there that debuted in 2019. Yeah. The purple pearls. Um, and... Uh, it's, I'll show you, it's this one. So they debuted at the Hong Kong jewelry shows in 2019. Mm -hmm. The initial harvests were priced at sky high premiums, especially for the perfect round pearls, well into the high thousands. Marion, Elizabeth, Birmingham, Kim, Maria, Gillian, Elaine, Greater London, uh, Belfast, Surrey, County Antrim, Hampshire, Derbyshire, Middlesex, Gloucestershire, anonymous makers. Look. Gillian's just bought two of them. I don't blame you, Gillian. I don't blame you at all. Um, but is there a harvest anymore? No. Oh. These aren't being harvested right now. Um, they are attempting to harvest them. But like I said, it takes three and a half to four years for these pearls to, to form. So it's going to be 2026 at the earliest, really, is when these pearls appear back on the market. That's the size of them. Yeah. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. Uh, Caroline from the Channel Islands has said, Good morning, Ellen Dave. I took my strand to show our prestigious local jeweler. They offered me 1,500 pounds, one pound above my strand for the largest pearl. Wow. For one single pearl in her strand, if I'm reading that right, 
They offered her fifteen hundred pounds. One. Yeah. And so now, Caroline. Caroline, we know how enviable Caroline's pearl collection are because we so see your necklace. Caroline, name. sell that pearl, and the <laughs> necklace is free. You know, just readjust it. Honestly, I mean, it just makes yeah, sense. Then you've got that for nothing. You've got this incredible oh. necklace for nothing. Uh, Greater London, you've multi-bought. Surrey, you've multi-bought. A lot of you are multi-buying. I mean, when you hear stories like that from our collectors, and do you even need to ask us why we do what we do? We do it for that reason. Yeah. So we do it because it, what a community that is. That's you know, amazing. You know, we, we make a tiny profit, but we, we, we could make a huge profit. Mm -hmm. we, make a tiny, we choose to take a tiny profit, buy in volume, bring you guys these incredible deals, and then hear those incredible stories uh, being told to us and relayed to us. It's, it's it. amazing to hear. Thank you for sharing that with us, Caroline. It's amazing to hear that. And, and you know, amazing to your, uh, your prestigious, as in your words, local jeweler, who you know, was offering you fair market value for just a single pearl. Yeah, absolutely. You know, fair play to the guy. He was just like, look, I want that huge pearl. Um, he's, I'll he's, give you £1,500 for it, which is £1 more. And Caroline actually paid for a whole strand. Amazing. Well absolutely amazing, Caroline. Um, make sure you check out on these. Now, if you've just tuned in to Jewellery Maker for the very first time, you might be thinking, what on earth? How do I get involved with these opportunities? They are unmissable. It is super, super, super simple to get involved. Um, everybody, everybody has the chance to own luxury at these incredible prices. If you've never shopped with us before, it's as easy as this. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. So congratulations, there is uh, just two remaining. There's a lot of you on the phone lines, I'm gonna leave it with you. If, you. if you're fortunate enough to get it, congratulations. You had a lot of multibars on that previous auction. We are bringing you another strand right now. An incredible uh, uh, strand. You know, I think this is something, again, when we talk about these colors, when we talk about this quality, it's something we're not really gonna see again. It is the, the one next to you uh, yeah. that we wanna share with everyone. Um, I think, how many of these ones do we have, Tom? There are 
30. Yeah, so these are like a natural orange colour, which is just... When you say papaya, yeah. a strand shouldn't come afterwards. Well, there, I don't believe... In terms of mellow, 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 which is essentially the only other naturally uh, wow. coloured occurring pearl, there is never a strand that's ever existed. They are sold single pearls. For, and I've seen them sell for over a million dollars for a single pearl that's sold by the caraway. Take a look at this saturation of colour. Take a look at your naturally coloured orange oh. pearls. Do you know, uh, uh, controversial, I think they absolutely... I love your South Seas, I love your Akoyas, I love your Tahitians, but it's all about the colours I mean, But it's a really today. soft... Orange sounds quite harsh. Yes. It's a very soft colour, right? It's like a pastel in a yeah. way. Yeah. Um, it's like a gold Papaya is orange. the perfect yeah, description, yeah. Well, isn't this it? Is what, this is the, the, the colour that we're talking about. And this is what you have on offer here. And I love these kind of egg shapes that we yeah. see in these pearls, like the golden eggs. Um, it's 899 right now. How many do we have? Sorry, Tom. There are 30. Okay. Which is amazing. Take a minute clock. There's 30 of these. And, and you know, for, for something like this, that's a huge quantity. It is. But there's 15 of you multi-buy on this. Yeah. Then that's your deal. I mean, and, yeah. And, and we saw a lot of you multi-buying on the previous piece. This is going to be on and gone. And then we only have two last strands to bring your way. This is, this is, again, I'm looking at this thinking, 18 karat gold. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe a multi-layered necklace. How incredible would that be? And something you should absolutely be getting insured. Sorry. Uh, two bidders. The first few people on the phone are both from Surrey, Maria and Angela. Oh, nice. Maker in Greater London. Congratulations. Yeah. Again, all of you guys are probably going to come in and get another one right now. Because yeah. that, the, the price on your screen, that's not the market value. That should be the deal. I've got no idea what you're taking these two. Uh, well, you wait, Al. You wait. This is going to be a very special deal. You know, eight to nine mil. Um, it's a 38 centimetre strand. But what, what really catches me is, think about that's all natural colours and they're all matched exquisitely, like perfectly. Oh. 199 pounds. 199 pounds for all of our collectors. We've seen a lot of you on the phone lines today. A lot of you are, are, are you know, notable collectors when it comes to the world of naturally coloured pearls. Um, this, which again is something that um, is, has been here for about a year, two years, bringing you these incredible collections. But we're at the tail end. Yeah, at that definitely. Moment. Definitely. Fifty pounds on split pay. Split pay has facilitated That's us. Madness. Give so Heather, Maria, Angela, Greater London, County Down. Good luck. Well done. Uh, and multi buy if you can. Like I said, use the interest free split payments without a shadow of a doubt. Use them. And you, we were we were saying, and we will do this, Dave. I am. I, I am. We'll do it. Like I said, let's film like a eight to ten sure. minute documentary down to London. Yeah. You know, and, and if if that's something that you like, you want to consume that kind of content. You know, across both of our social mm -hmm. medias, across Jewel Maker social media. If that's something you like. We'll make more of them. Maybe yeah. we'll Make like a little series. With, uh, you know, of the notable showcases, I think we should be doing more of that because we talk about the bubble that we exist in here at Jewelry Maker. And it's unique. I, I often talk about the bubble that we're in at yeah. Gemporia as well. And I think sometimes it pays just to go out into the real world. You know, because, for instance, Caroline from the Channel Islands of Messaging, she went to the real world. Yeah, it's exactly. Someone, a jeweler, like a, a notable local jeweler in her area in the Channel Islands, offered a £1,500 for a single pearl. Oh, and she paid less than that for the whole pearl. strand. Do you know she didn't sell it? No, well, okay, Caroline, I, I get it. You know, if, if it is the largest pearl on that strand, it's a special pearl. But it just it's nice to have that kind of validation, I think. Yeah, and, totally. Um, if we can do something about, you know, making some entertaining kind of uh, documentary uh, like that, then we will. It's, you know, you've got to re I hope we're all appreciating here the fact that, you know, you can, you, can, you can buy pearls, you can buy simulated pearls, you can buy dyed pearls, but this, the rarity comes into the fact that this is certified completely and utterly natural. Yeah, so natural coloured Wow. Uh, there's no treatment at all gone into that. These are cultured over, like I said, a, a period of three to five years. Uh, they come out of the, 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 the oyster, the clam, the mussel in fresh waters, and they have no idea, you know, what's going to be inside. Can I just... Just place them all on the back yes, of the hand. Yes, please do. Because... So these are those kind of Baroque shapes now. Imagine these three, and I know, I know it's decadent, but can you imagine these three in one necklace? I mean... Like a casual I mean, decadent. twist in yeah, the centre. Yeah, it's like the Baroda carpet pearl necklace. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah. 
Yeah. And what are we doing now, Tom? The, the broth? We're going to do the rice oh, okay. shape. One of my favorite shapes of pearls, actually. So elegant. Well, that seems to be the most saturated on the back of the hand, if you yeah. compare the colors. It seems to be the, the, those, the, the rice shape. Oh, look at that. This is something we do quite a lot of jewelry making. Again, this is one I, why I'm championing high-end clasps. But imagine. Oh, my God. You always do that, and I just think, can you imagine? That. Yeah. How many thousands in a jewelry <laughs> store? Yeah. How many thousands? You know, because I know if you saw a piece like this in Hong Kong, now there is the last 40 chances of this. The last 40 chances. And I'm going to do a price because, because I love the, the fact the way that that one looks, Al. I'm going to do a price that means that people, some people might be able to afford all three. But I'm going to take a minute clock. There's 40 of these, and that's why I'm going to justify okay. uh, an even lower price, which is hard to This imagine. has got a real peach, a yes. real yeah. peach color. Absolutely. We, and when you saw all three of the, the pearl strands on the back of the hand, you could see how these popped. Oh, they're beautiful. They're incredible. The color, mm -hmm. like you said, it pops, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Again, orange, I think, is not is not the right description. No, the, the, the papaya is the right term, I think. Yeah. The papaya color that we're dealing with in, in the world of naturally colored pearls is special. Wait, we're starting at 799. Are these individually knotted? No. It looks like they are. They do, don't they? Yeah. OK. I would, again, opt for you to go and get these knotted. I mean, I think you guys can actually do it yourself. Yeah, you know, yeah. JM, you, you've done, like, those workshops for all matches. Yeah, we do tutorials do on it quite uh, quite frequently. We, even, we can even provide the luxury silk. Uh, are we meant to be starting under a £1,000? No. I mean, that, again, next door, that would be a deal, I think. Here, I'm going to go again. I think it would be amazing to be able to create all three looks together. £149. £149. This is my penultimate deal in the world of these naturally colored pearls. And at 149 pounds, there are 40 chances I'd be as fast as you can. Yeah, totally. After uh, this, we bring you the Brocks, and s some of you, some of you collectors, some of you fortunate or fast ones, may have created the whole look with the three different strands uh, interwoven together, yeah. which I think is, uh, would be remarkable. 37 pounds, 37 pound 49 on the interest-free split payment. And you, and you might as well, hadn't you? You might yeah. as well make the most of that split pay. Yeah, I mean, it, th th these are the realms of red carpet, mm -hmm. royalty. You know, we are talking about th the finest culture pills Absolutely. that exist out there at the moment. Yeah. And that's why the likes of Sally Hewer, you were saying, the likes of Bernard as yep. well have said, look, it's not impossible, but... Yeah, they're, they're still out there, but... They're, they're very expensive. You have to pay, you can't protect you anymore. You have to pay that market value because no one else can replace these because they're not being harvested. No one's doing strands. It's, it's, it's more, far more lucrative to sell the pearl singularly or in mm -hmm. match pairs, even just for earrings. Like a drop pair of earrings in this shape is, would be world class. Well, you'd but, easily make your money back, wouldn't you, straight away with a pair, absolutely. with a pair of earrings. Right. I'll take a minute clock. <gasps> Half the stock is gone. Um, this is my you know, penultimate deal. I've got one yep. more after this. I could do one big, big, big deal for you, right? Okay. 57 seconds. If you want to own it, you can be one of the final uh, 20, of pe 20 or so people that can get this. But if not, you're going to let this one sail on by because I'm going again on the price. I've just had the most, I've just had the most amazing idea. Go on. How about breaking from the tradition and putting this with black jade out? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, 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 again, black jade out would be amazing. Any, uh, I think would work, but any even strong color. Yeah. You know, putting it with like something like a garnet oh, would yeah. be special. Letting those colors pop, letting them jump. Uh, Gail, you've multi-bought, congratulations. Yeah, I, I would multi-buy. I mean, we shouldn't be going anywhere from this price point. Uh, hello, Hazel. My jeweler friend is going to help me set my papaya pearl in gold for my uh, niece. And he has said it's worth four times what I've Not paid. wrong, Hazel. 99.99. Good luck. Double oh figures. my goodness. Yep. Well Did done. you just casually yeah, say yeah, 99 we're doing it. We're doing it. I guess it's my penultimate deal. We have the Barocks coming up. But for, for any of you right now that, that want to own this, that maybe thought you were maybe priced out. Greater London, you've multi-bought. West Midlands, you've multi-bought. Cambridgeshire, another bidder in the West Midlands. Sorry, you're on the phone lines. Yeah, um, it's, that's, that's... 
OK, can we just put into perspective here uh, that you're not trying to clear these from the vault? No, I'm not trying to clear these from the vault. I'm just... Because you can't replace them. No, but, I've, you know, we've heard from so many of you this morning. There's a lot of our loyal collectors tuning in. It's great to be able to spend the morning with you. And if we can do even a little bit better than we will on price for you. Uh, I'm thinking, right, at that, a little bit, we've gone under £100. Yes. £25 on split pay. I mean, pay. we shouldn't have split pay, let's be honest, but it, thank God we do, because it just means maybe if you're going to buy one, you're buying two, and a lot of you are doing just that. At this price point, if you can, this is what I'm thinking, buy three, knot them together and create that a ultimate, rope. That ultimate oh. elegance. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Can you imagine? Amazing. What is the length on this? 38 centimetres. Yeah. So 360, you'd have like a metre strand. Yeah, how yeah. amazing would that be? It's a close out. I know we haven't said it, and we probably will never ever say these words, but that's a close out yeah. deal on one of the rarest colours. There's no getting away from it. We have to say it. You guys are seeing it for yourselves. It is a close out. Absolutely is a close out. By its very definition, we're in double figures for something that should, quite rightly should be in four figures. Yeah, totally. Please know that this is no reflection of the true value of How many people do you want to hear it from? You know, we've heard it from Hazel, Caroline in the Caroline. Channel Islands. We've heard it from Hazel. Both of them aren't just, uh, you know, remarking on, on whatever. They're, they're talking about people in the jewellery industry mm -hmm. saying that. You know, Hazel had a jeweller who's a friend who said, look, it's worth four times what you paid for it. We had a collector in the Channel Islands, um, Caroline, who took it to a notable jeweller in the area who tried to buy just the single pearl from the Strand for 1500 Fabulous. Pounds, which was more than she even paid for the strand itself. And that's why I've bought up, I've been saying about buying the pearls Absolutely. as well. If, 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 I, if I can bear to part with them, if I can, that's uh, going to be They're going to twist your arm, I can tell you that. They are going to twist your arm. I know. You're going to be tempted. I'm going to be adding uh, these to the portfolio. Oh, why not? If there's any remaining, I think uh, there's a lot of staff here that have the same mindset. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Make sure you do check out those baskets. We have literally one finale this is the opportunity. This is the Brox, and this is going to be the best deal you've seen. I'm just saying it right now to get it out there. How many of these do we have, guys? There are 10. Ah. Oh. One big deal on this. Let's imagine that. Sort of asymmetric. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like a five figure piece of jewelry when you see it like that. So the brocks are the, the ones that come over the front of the other two here, as yeah. you can see it. Just twisted like, oh, I love the brocks. They add that texture, don't they? Absolutely. But the most limited. Yeah, 10 of these. Oh, wow. I love those organic shapes. I love the way the light dapples on them because it's not just one smooth surface. Well, it's undeniable, isn't it? Yeah. It's undeniable Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dave, they are beautiful. They are. Oh, the pinks that come through. Because of the uneven surface. And this is what people want at the moment. It's, it, it's all about the fireball, the baroques, the buttons. I'm going to do a minute clock on this. There are 10 of these in existence. They're stunning. With a metallic luster. I heard a statistic um, some time ago, and it was... From a harvest of pearls, a harvest of 10,000 pearls, less than 10 will have a natural metallic luster. Well, you've got a strand of way more than that. So, I, I, you know, I thought that was fascinating. It's always stuck in my mind. A harvest of 10,000 pearls, mm -hmm. never mind the natural colour, but harvest of 10 cultured pearls, 10,000, less than 10 will be naturally metallic in luster. Yeah, uh, and you've got a whole strand. A whole strand. I can't even do the percentage or the maths there, but I mean, no. whatever that is in how many thousand is in one strand here. That's why we've only got 10. That's why we've only got one, 10. What is it, one in a million, if you were looking yeah. at it? Yeah. 74.99. 74.99. Oh. <laughs> You should hear the ranting I've got I, I can in my kind ear of now. Hear the, Can you the hear remnants them? of it? Yeah. I'm I, heard, I'm 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 I heard something like no one else. There's in nobody the world. else yeah. in the world. That, yeah, that's you. Did, yeah, you heard 24 that. Twenty-four ninety-nine on uh, split pay, zero percent interest. Just do it. Just make the most out of it. There are two of these left. Oh, They've gone okay, that quickly. Go. I'm not surprised at seventy-four ninety-nine. That's that's well. 
ludicrously low, but amazing. I absolutely I love it. Sent literally producer Tom into a bit of a tirade. Uh, make sure a oh, one left, literally one of these left. A massive congratulations to those of you that have been successful. We, I did say at the beginning of the show that it's an apps. It's sold out. Right. An absolute. I got one beast. collector who bought three, and the collector who bought two. Apologise. That is uh, my final deal for oh. every single one of you today. Um, it's been absolutely amazing to see so many familiar faces and names uh, and to also get to bring you those incredible deals and to see you out. That was a nice surprise. I know, yes. As, as I've been spoiled with, yeah. by uh, having you with me. I know, but we have an incredible showcase on Friday, isn't it? Is Carol. It Friday, oh, with You're Carol. with Carol. I'm getting confused. We have a, another showcase coming your way on Friday. So, so join us for that. It's going to be an incredible, incredible moment. Never before seen uh, a variety of gemstone. Uh, and that will be on Friday at 10. Yeah, that's extra special. Thank you so thank much, you, Dave, uh, as thank always. You guys. Um, a real pleasure to have you thank in you. the Jewelry Maker studio. Well done, each and every single one of you. You know the best bit? You know the best bit? When they land on your doorstep and you see them in person, they yeah. are. You're going to be blown away. Oh, uh, I, I, it's, it's always the part of the the journey that I wish we got to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? We get to see that moment. Because me and Elle get to see the jewellery and we talk about it. But, you know, our vocabulary can only go so far. When you see them, you're going to be blown away. So, yeah. yeah, enjoy that moment. Love, love, love that. Do not go anywhere, though, because the gorgeous Claire McDonald is going to be stepping back into the studio for, hands down, the biggest Tanzanites that I have ever seen. And remember, last in stock opportunities on your gallery wire in your masterclass. Plus, we've got so much more. The beautiful uh, Morganite, natural Morganite, we've got to bring you. The wonderful turquoise. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. 
Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. What an amazing showcase that was. Oh, the pearls, just unreal, literally unreal. I'd, I'd go as far as saying, you know what? Pearls, I, I know it changes for us all on a regular basis, but for me, pearls are my number one favorite gemstone at this present moment in time because of that, those kind of opportunities, just how beautiful they are. Now, Shall we introduce a few more of your favourites, um, including beautiful members of the Beryl family in their natural form? Now, you've had some really beautiful papayas, some soft pinks, uber feminine. How about introducing then, almost like a twist on the Marquise, in natural Morganite? Now, we don't see this gemstone very often, particularly not in large sizes so i'm going to put this one out there i think this might be some of the largest faceted morganite that we uh that we have on a strand as a member of the beryl family morganite um well i saw the change the shift in price of this gemstone 2014 seemed to hit and it literally went eight, uh, increased by a staggering 800 percent. it has maintained those level of prices ever since then um, it is a member, as I said, of the Beryl family, and it is basically the presence of manganese that trans transforms basically pure, colourless beryl into this wonderful feminine gemstone. Now, in terms of, of, of legacy and in terms of the story of this gemstone, I, I, I can't I can't talk um, about dates like lapis lazuli or jade because it quite literally wasn't I uh, wasn't discovered at that time, but since since that discovery, since Tiffany's & Co, which is really the brand that you want to launch your gemstone to the world, since they found uh, Morganite and launched it with, of course, with, uh, with, with the finest of qualities of diamonds, it has maintained that popularity. It's a stunning strand. Imagine this, there's 50 of these available. Can I just throw this one out there? You know, we spoke about that long, elegant rope of pearls. Can you imagine these in amongst? It doesn't have to be your papaya. It doesn't have to be your natural purple and pinks. Imagine with your ivory white pearls, the pearls that you might have more of in your stash. Imagine these in long line necklaces. How beautiful that would be. And I wouldn't necessarily have, the because I'm well aware there's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, they would be sporadically placed in that piece of jewellery. These are flying out the door. And we have literally 50. Let me ask a question, a question I kind of know the answer to. Tom, can I do a Morganite showcase? Oh, <laughs> he, this is exactly how he answered. No. <laughs> With that kind of little, that kind of like, Titter in it. No, don't be so silly, Al. <laughs> don't be so ridiculous. No, we don't have uh, this. And the reason for that is we do not have large quantities of morganite uh, within our Gemporia vault, sadly, especially, particularly 100% around this size. Nothing actually of this cut. 
and nothing of the quantity. Yeah, you've got rondelles. Yes, you've got some cabochons. You have, but by the way, if we look at the website, you've got faceted calibrated stones. But they're ones and twos. There is nothing on the website with the quantity like these and nothing like a rice bead. I want to call it borderline marquee shape. Now, we're going to put a 30 second clock onto your screen. I want to see you on the phone lines. Who doesn't love Morganite? It's got, it exudes so much femininity. It is a gemstone, which is actually a relative baby to the gemstone world. You know, we could talk literally for thousands of years, the likes of, um, uh, the likes of lapis lazuli, type A jadeite, nephrite, pearls even. We can talk about thousands of years of history. Morganite was only discovered in the early 1900s and comparatively speaking, that very short period of time, it has absolutely erupted in popularity. A what? Starting at twenty nine ninety nine. Oh, three crash. I wondered what you said. Three crash auction. So that means it was only 50, though, Tom. Hang on a sec. Stay where you are. Michael, yeah, can please. I borrow you a sec? You sure can. Can you hold this for me, lovely? Yeah. yeah. Just for one second. Okay. Awesome. Because I need to do something. Yeah. I need to do something. I'll hold the fort. Now. You hold the fort, Michael. Because this... Two on two. Hello, here we go. There's Mr. Wolf, by the way, everybody. This is the kind. There it is. This is the kind. Here it is. Just lay it over there. Lay it over there, baby. Oh, my goodness. This is the kind of strand, sorry, Michael, that absolutely, I think, would perfectly, perfectly complement. Uh, your beautiful pearls. And these are pearls that I've literally just picked up from the studio. How amazing would these be just to break up those gorgeous shapes? You have three price droppers, uh, droppers, droppers, three price drops uh, within this auction. But I want to see you on those phone lines. I want to see you there. There's 50 of these available. There is not a single other Morganite strand in our vault, which has this wonderful, elegant rice bead shape. Do you see what I'm com where I'm coming from? Imagine that wonderful multi-layered or long line necklace uh, with your pearls and then a few of your Morganites literally sporadically placed within. Yes, Michael, taking it up a, a notch. Look how beautiful that is. Because sometimes you need that injection of different gemstones, don't you? 1999, well, that's crash two. Are you ready for the bad boy crash, says uh, Tom in my ear. Okay, 60 seconds, let's get it rocking. Oh, that's low, isn't it, from Organite, though, isn't it? Oh. Should we do it? Should we break a barrier? Shall we? There are, there are queues f building on the phone lines. London, Christine, Patricia, Gabrielle, Karen, SJ, Lynn, Pauline, Wendy. Well done. Those of you that have already checked out, confirmed, knowing that we don't get this cut, no, we don't really see this gemstone and we should, certainly shouldn't be taking it under 20 pounds. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your trust. I don't want to separate these. They look beautiful with the pearls, don't they? Oh, we're going to break a milestone price point. Should we? Quite possibly not, no. What are you doing? You're undecided yourself, Neary No. Oh, he said I was going to go $17.99, but YOLO and all that. Uh, broken that price barrier. Oh, that, that's what you were talking about. 25 of these remain. Imagine it was something like black spinel and pearls. Oh, yeah. 
That would be amazing, wouldn't it? Let's simplify this, shall we? Bear with, let's simplify it. Let me just take some of these gorgeous pearls off the back of my hand for one moment. And I'm gonna put them alongside something like, I don't know, like a, oh my goodness, these pearls are amazing too. As if we just got them dotted around our studio, willy nilly. Um, good job we got security, isn't it? Bear with. Here we go. Imagine this. And imagine black spinel dotted in there. Could that be any more Chanel as a combination? How beautiful that is. Oh, I actually prefer it simplified to using it alongside your pure white ivory pearls. Birmingham, you've done it. London, well done to you. Snapply, uh, snapping up four. Uh, Lincolnshire, Karen, Diane, Janet, Teresa, Pat, Karen, Julianne, Christine, Patricia, Gabrielle, Pauline, Lynn, Surrey, Wendy. There's so many of you on the phone lines that and just 11 chances remain. Now, I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to tease you. How about the sibling? Ten chances of your Morganite. We're going to be bringing you the aquamarine immediately after. Immediately after. Hilary, Sheila, well done to you. London, you've just got four as well. Congratulations. There was 50. And we've literally got a single figure quantity. I tell you what, I'll leave those final seven. And let's step into the aquamarine. Oh, have we got quantity? Do it. Do it. Should we be naughty? Are you, uh, are you up for being naughty? Okay. Because Tom is being... Tom is brave. He, we've got 200 of these. And producer Tom is like, he's feeling brave. He even did one of these in my ear. No, you didn't. No, it didn't. No, 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 no. As if to say, right, get myself all warmed up, ready for this opportunity. Yeah. Stop limbering up. He's doing his lunges in the gallery right now. I don't know. He might be, he might not be. We've got over 100 of these available. Beautiful aquamarine, and there is something about aquamarine in this shape. Now you can get, thank you for your trust, London. Thank you for your trust, East Sussex. You know, don't you? Do you know? If you don't know, I'm going to ask something from one gemstone uh, um, lover to another. Be on the website. Have it in your baskets. Pick up the phone lines, even if you don't press your option one as of yet, for the quality of aquamarine with a rarity of this shape. Think of it almost as a marquise. I know it's not precisely a marquise, but to actually have those, that graduated, that tapering size. Do you know what? Shall we just announce it? And then we'll do a 60 second clock afterwards. So everybody knows, everybody knows what's going to happen, uh, what's going to happen. And you can get yourself over to your phone, use that 60 seconds. You can maybe log, log yourself in on the app or whichever you wish. So I'm going to just announce it. I can't separate these. I think they look beautiful with the pearls. Shall we take this under £10? You have 60 seconds to join us. It's gorgeous. And again, I would absolutely um, be putting, wait, I've just spotted a really gorgeous necklace here um, because that's got a bit of blues. What do we think of that? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Use, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I might just casually put some of these in there as well just because, just because we can, because we are the most, uh, we're offering the best possible deals that I can even imagine. Would you still throw your Morganite in there? Oh, yeah. They look unbelievable together, don't they? Oh, we're promising the aquamarine so low, though. So low. Is there enough people? Angela's just got four. Berkshire's got two. Lancashire, no, not enough people. Not enough people. We will go. We will go to under £10. 
providing, and by the way, the clear courts is also coming up within this little, sh little showcase, providing there's enough of you on those phone lines. 26 seconds ticking away. This is Burmese Aquamarine, and I should point out as well, prior to any of the uh, sort of current political situations that are happening within that country, so you don't have to worry, all your Burmese stones will be ethically sourced when you're actually purchasing from us here at Jewelry Maker. Are we good to go? Do it. I can bring you Aquamarine. It's Chris Tarrant time. What do you mean? Fastest fingers first. Ah. Nine ninety-nine for genuine aquamarine. Yeah, I did, yeah. I met Chris Tarrant, you know. Yeah, he was literally in uh, you know the white swan in Henley. He was in the in there. He was in there, sat in the White Swan in Henley, and I was in there with my, uh, my, my uh, well, Jake's wife. Jake, I was in there with, uh, with Jake's wife having a few drinks and her dog, and next thing, Chris Tarrant struts on in, so we go over, not to ask for you know, a photograph of Chris Tarrant, we're like, can we, can, can, can we put our dog, have a photo with you, Chris? <laughs> There's a big photograph on my phone of Hannah and Jake's dog sat next to Chris Tarrant. Amazing. He was a very nice chap too, very, very nice. 9.99, we've done it. We've melted. We've melted the phone lines and also the web. Thank you so much. People upping their quantities. Well done. London getting six. Aberdeenshire getting two. Maria, uh, Karen, you've got four. Merseyside's got two. Angela's got four. Sarah, well done. Gabrielle, Heather, Kim, Sheila, Pat, Barbara, Wendy, Powers. Nice to see you. Um, just to give you a little bit of a sneaky peek. Oh. Oh, no, they don't come as a set. Oh, sorry, I used to work with Chris Tarrant at Capital Radio. Cool. I bet he's a nice chap. He was very friendly. He was very, very friendly, you know, and very accommodating. Well, yeah, he just sat there with his, uh, his arm around Hannah's dog. Happy, more than happy. He was probably happier to have his photograph taken with the dog than us, actually. Now, there are literally just 15 of those left. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now... Where do I go with this? Oh, I love this. These. Would you mix in something like this? And this? Look at that. As this is how you take your pearls and step them up a notch. The difference between quartz as a mineral and quartz as a gemstone is huge. Huge. Quartz as a mineral is not rare. It looks like compact snow. It's actually the second most abundant mineral on the planet. Quartz on a, 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 of a gemstone quality like this is astonishingly rare. It can show you fire. It can show you dispersion like a diamond. Those are those spectrum colors you can literally see um, in the recording. Can you see that? Look at the back, particularly at the back of this recording. Look at the back of the screen. If you see the flashes of greens, yellows, blues, that's fire. That's what you aspire, your diamonds, your zircons, your sapphires, your quartz, obviously, to have. This is real rarity. Now, if you wanted to make this piece, and maybe you wanted a little pop of luster in your precious metal, then we have the Stardust beads to bring you straight after this auction. Imagine that, just on a really long, not an endless strand where you can literally loop it over and loop it over and loop it over. How beautiful would that be? But then with those pops of stardust luster dotted in between. I'm going to make a promise. We've got a hundred of these. Did you like how we did the last auction? Because it makes it fair for everybody, doesn't it? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you where we're going to take them. 
And then we'll give you 60 seconds until we bring the price onto your screen. So everybody's, everybody's starting at that same point. I'm going to take gem quality, eye clean, clear quartz to under £10 again. The clock is rocking. Oh, I've just had another idea. Just had another idea. Imagine just taking these three strands and going, let me just hide the tassels for a sec, and going clear quartz, morganite, aquamarine, clear quartz, morganite, aquamarine. Maybe separating it, even if you put little sections in between your white pearls. How beautifully feminine would that be? How feminine, I, or, or literally just sporadically dotting them around uh, within your ultra pearl necklace. I don't know why I'm saying pearl, you might have a completely different idea. You're the jewelry makers, you've got the talent, more, far more so than I do. Um, but I'm also working out numbers here. Does that mean, Neri, that I can get all three of these marquee strands? For twenty-five pounds. Sorry, what did I say? Twenty-five pounds. No. Yeah, you're doing maths terribly. <laughs> Fourteen ninety-nine. Sorry, it's me doing terrible maths. I'm missing out this one here. I can get all three strands for 35 pounds today. Morganite, aquamarine, and pure ice white, clear quartz, single figure price tag. Um, that's unbelievable. Neary, I've been, I've been saying this and championing it for a while, and um, I really want to do, and I've sowed the seed to, the, uh, to, to our MD, I've sowed the seed to, uh, to uh, Wayne, of course. I'm like, is there any chance we could do a showcase, an hour of pure colourless gemstones? Can you imagine how amazingly busy that would be? So your topaz, top, uh, your, your quartz of this grade, your zircons, your diamonds, can you imagine how beautiful that hour would be? It's simply not possible, though. We don't have the quantity um within our within our vault 9.99 for the elegance that tapering effect of your marquise rice bead janice you've got two lynn you've got three i'm surprised i'm really surprised because we absolutely should have sold out of these i was expecting i'll be i'll be honest those to be the fastest selling still over half the stock available can't, we cannot go a single penny lower. It's already a giveaway deal. Amazing, amazing, amazing. But what I can bring you is a star buy. Four different designs, 100 different, uh, sorry, four different designs, 25 in each of those designs, totaling 100. They're all four mil in their size precious metal, an ideal opportunity for you to stock up on your essential space of beads. I love this. I absolutely love Space of beads, and yeah, they might sound. <laughs> I'm just thinking about something my brother said to me. Oh, I tuned in, and you're getting really excited about a knee, uh, about a pin. <laughs> it's very my brother that is. It's very mo yeah, literally you're getting really excited about a pin. I was like, it's a head pin. It's what the head pin can do. Same applies when it comes to a space of bead. A, a space of bead does so much more than just spaces, gemstones. It creates punctuation. It uh, sort of gravitates our, our, you know, uh, the direction of our, um, of our glance. It can frame beautiful colours. It can create patterning. It can also be quite practical and functional. So, for example, if you wanted to hide a knot or uh, maybe like me, sometimes you have you, you make mistakes um, and you have a little bit of looseness maybe on your threading material, you can use it there. But let's not forget, they're not just functional. 
They are absolutely beautiful and they are 925 sterling silver. So as an example, purely because I've got this piece next to me and granted this is actually in, um, in yellow gold. But look, the spacer bead are what actually made the design. It's what actually creates that trio. If I'd have, if we didn't, well, not me personally, but if we hadn't have put that, then look, nothing wrong with this design, of course. It's all down to what you're looking for. But without those spaces, it would literally just be a strand. It would literally just be a strand threaded back on to a different threading material and a clasp at the end. The spacer beads create the interest. So what are you getting? I think you're going to love these designs. So you've almost got like a fleur-de-lis pattern. Can you see that? Like a really beautiful fleur-de-lis pattern. And then these are my personal favourites. You have these wonderful angles. They create so much luster. Um, yeah, yeah, it's all about the luster with those. They bounce light, almost like a wall of mirrors. Then over here, you've got your classic four millimetre uh, plain spacer bead. I don't think you can go wrong with those. You know, they're, they're, they are the trusty spacer bead, a little bit like your curb chains, if you like. And then just here, you have your three mils. So uh, they're your three mil sterling silver, not base metal, 925 pressure sterling. Over, no, it's more than that. I would say, I'd be very surprised if it's that gram weight. Anyway. Do you remember when we used to? What were we taking these to? Okay. Do you remember when we used to bring you 30 spacer beads? Uh, three or four, I think they'd be three mil. Three mil spacer beads and they were £14.95. Do you remember that? I do. Do you remember that, Claire? She wasn't listening. Do you remember when we used to do a pack of 30... Spacer yeah. beads, three mil, fourteen pounds ninety-five. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I remember it like yesterday because I used to buy so many of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't believe the deal that we're about to bring you on these sterling silver spacer beads. You're not getting thirty; you're getting one hundred, a hundred nine two five. Let's get that clock rocking on your screens, everybody. The perfect edition as well, alongside Claire's Masterclass, which is coming up in just a few moments' time. Um, you haven't got to buy these separately in individual bundles, and if you did, then you'd probably end up paying um, much more than the deal we're about to bring you in this star buy. Okay, a hundred pieces. How often do you use a spacer bead? For me, it's every single piece of jewellery, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, all, all the time, isn't it? Yeah. All yeah. the time. They're a necessity. They're an absolute necessity. Yeah, that's a really good point, Neary. Neary's saying it's a great way of actually stretching out the carrot weights in your gemstones. You know, for example... What thing? Twenty-four ninety-nine. Oh, do you mean that the Yoko of London? Yeah. Oh, here we go. So there was. If you didn't have the spaces, then that would have had, probably had to have double the quantity of pearls, wouldn't it? And who knows what the price would have been? I'm not making the, the, the comparison to the eighteen carat rose gold, different precious metal. But also, without the spacer beads, we wouldn't be able to appreciate just how beautifully spherical each and every single one of those pearls are. You know, creating that that that, that, that sort of that dimension um, showcases the pearls, and it will do the same for all your other gemstones. There, all those designs, four different designs across uh, two different sizes so you've got your three mils 25 of those you've got your four mil planes 25 of those you've got that really beautiful almost like disco ball wall of mirror style 25 of them and then you've got the lovely uh stardust with a fleur-de-lis pattern 
25 of those. Make sure you do check out your basket. Um, do not go anywhere because I'm going to be joined by the absolute goddess that is Claire McDonald for another amazing masterclass. Now, this masterclass, though, it is last in stock opportunities and we are going to be bringing it to you at clearance deals. Um, wonderful pieces of jewellery and, of course, demonstrations after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. It's so wonderful to be with you this afternoon now. Gosh, where did that go? Oh, it is, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> so after 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 midday, do you know what I never know? What's what is it PM or it's not AM, is it's it? It's PM. PM, yeah. I know now. AM AM's night time. 
AM is night time. So, so mid midnight is AM. Yeah. Oh, there we are then. There you go. It, it is confusing though, isn't yeah. it? It is confusing. Yeah. Claire, your masterclass. Oh my goodness me. When oh, I saw these, these on, on, on Facebook, they're huge. I, I know. I know. They, they are absolutely. And I tried to get them. I thought um, a couple of them were a bit like, you know, like um, uh, buried treasure. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. So that they're a bit like um like a buried treasure type vibe. But yeah, I mean they are the, the cabochons are huge. Oh my goodness huge. me. Just yeah, absolutely stunning. And the, and yeah, some of the colours in, in the some of the kits are incredible. Now a couple of things. Yeah. That is a tanzanite. Yeah, shall I get shall I take actually it's I think to scale, shall I show you what yeah, it's like it, um on the hand. Yeah. That's so that you enormous. Can actually, actually see. That that's how big you you're talking. Yeah, it's a it's pretty big. I've never seen a tanzanite of that no, size. No, it's it's incredible, isn't it? Genuinely, never. Yeah, it's yeah, wonderful. Unbelievable. It was an absolute privilege to to work with. It was. You are a lucky girl. I am a very lucky girl. Yeah. And uh, second second thing, I understand we're doing close out deals on your masterclass. Are kits. we? That sounds very good. Mm. That's, uh... I have no idea why. No idea, because it's not something when, oh my goodness, I mean, trying that's, uh... to sell out. I mean, that's huge as well, isn't it? Yes. Um, can you imagine a hand of, gra a hand of tanzanite? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. You, could, you could do that, yeah. Oh my goodness. And look, yes. There are inclusions within, but, and I've said it before, have a look on First Dibs. First Dibs sell tanzanite in cabochon form um, with gold, and they'll, they'll, they'll sell it at four, th uh, you know, th four figures all day long, thousands of pounds. Now, I love these. This is absolutely oh, I mean, beautiful. I, I think if you, if you, um, you know, if you, if you look at um, different, cuts at the moment the these this so style it's, like, of it's like the rose cut isn't oh it? yeah rose cut cabs are they are beautiful and everywhere they're so mm. popular just think you really see the gemstone yeah. um off beautifully there and just you know lots and lots of different shapes which is really lovely to work with when you're working with your gallery wire look beautiful. at how amazing oh my goodness me they're ginormous i can't i mean uh, sorry i can't quite see the carrot weight, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you in a second. 35 carrots for the pack of five. Now, obviously you'll get slight variations. I'll open them up as well. Slight variations. In the rose cut, well, what that basically means, uh, Jennifer Anderson had a rose cut engagement ring. Um, and basically it's, it, the, the, the carrot weight is on the top as opposed to on the bottom. Mm. So it makes sense. Yeah, because you get that lovely big surface area, don't you? So it means you can do these like these statement, what well, pendants, I mean, there'd be statement pendants as well. Oh yeah, they'd be great mm. pendants. Particularly this whopper. Yeah. Oh, have you ever seen a tanzer like that big? <laughs> Normally I can actually hold them against I know. sort of my ring and the setting, but yeah, there's no that's way. That's an amazing colour, isn't it? But just looking at yours as well, so my and this is the second sample. So I think that's a standard so you know shape. that that yeah, but that is the, of having those oh, the lovely colour. large stones as well. Um you can see so I don't know if you can you see mine there? Yeah. In those ones as well. Now, I know where these kits are going to, and for the stones, for the tanzanites alone, it seems, it, 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 it's incredible. Um, I'm just going to have a little, little look at the sheets that lovely Neary gave me, because, just jog my memory, yeah, that's the price of the tanzanite, isn't it? I mean, look at that, so that, you know, that's, that's my, that's, that's the second sample as well, so, you know, you're talking, they are big sizes, aren't they? You're not just getting that though, Claire, because we've also got the crown yes, gallery yeah, wire, yeah, yeah. which is silver. Yeah. So can you? Would you mind? Everything single gallery wire comes with in, uh, detailed instructions, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, so, so so with this one, this is um, uh, and there are lots. We've done lots and lots of demos on um, on gallery wire, and I'll be working with I'll be working with this one now as well. So it's, I can watch that back on YouTube, yeah, can't yeah, I? Yeah, you can. And there are, um, I think if you go on to, if you look on um, the Jewelry Maker website as well and you search Gallery Wire, I think I've, I've done demos on there as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it, 
gallery wire is I would say if, if you've done any wire work maybe and you think how long it takes you to um, make prongs or, mm. or net or something like that so this is it's, it's machine made so it's beautiful uniform so so neat and it just you know it holds that that um, those big cabochons really really securely and you can soft. see how neat that is yeah, yeah. yeah. At perfectly, yeah. perfectly soft. Now, you yeah. get a length here of, what is it, six inches? Um, but obviously, you're not going to use it all in one piece. I will give no. that a measure for you, actually. Don't guess, Al. Okay. They've got, we've got a ruler right next to you. Let's have a little look. Uh, inches, inches. Typically, it's not in inches. I hope everybody's good at converting because I'm rubbish at the metric system. Uh, 20 centimetres, that is six inches, isn't it? Oh, I beg your pardon, it's 7.87. Beg your pardon. There we go. That's a lot then. It is. It is. So you, yeah, you, yeah. It is. I mean, it all depends on, on what, what you're going around. And, but the great thing with, um, so I haven't done it with that, uh, that, um, that design, but I've, I've used the other one. There's nothing to stop you from, uh, you know, making ring shanks with these. You, you know, cut them up, choose to use uh, all of the prongs that are there or just some of the prongs. You know, again, there's lots and lots you can, um, you can do with the, with the gallery wire. Okay, now we've got how many? 100. Do you know what this is going to? I'm not sure. And with something like this, when you've got tons, I'll, I'll see. Okay, well, let's just let's just start with a double figure price tag. Ninety nine pounds and ninety nine pence, and that's the start for the Tanzanite alone. Ninety nine, ninety nine, and thirty five carats. They're huge. Mm. I've presented here at Jewelry Maker, I've presented on Gems, I've worked with uh, 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 other high-end jewellers. That's the biggest Tanzanite I've seen. Yeah, yeah. They're stunning, aren't they? Stunning stones. But there were two words in the sentence that we said earlier on, wasn't there? A little promise that we made. Yeah. Look at that for a hand, Claire. Oh my goodness me. I just think it's, uh, when you see them like that, that is, yeah. it is huge, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know, that's, the, that's, that's, it's not the most beautiful of description, but you know what? It's perfect. You have, you've got a slab of tanzanite there. <laughs> Which is, oh, that's got to be good, hasn't it? Close out deal, Claire. <gasps> Close out deal. And you've got split payments. Now, wait a sec, because if you love this and you get involved in the close out deal, you've also got enough probably to actually make along with the Ethiopian opal, which mm. we're doing as our finale, which is literally breathtaking. Imagine Tanzanite and Ethiopian opal oh. together. Oh. I'm ready, are you ready, Claire? I am. So I'm gonna put them all on. Let's rock the clock. Now. Let's do it. Going even lower than what is already an absolutely amazing deal. Gloucestershire, you've done it. Margaret, Gloss another Gloucestershire, maker in London, Caroline, Gordon, Vivian, Hello to you, Kent, Susan, North Yorkshire, and still lots of you waiting with a phone in your hand in 41 seconds. Oh, yes, Claire. <laughs> I, think, I think my hand might be weighed down so much I can't, I'm not gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> Aren't they lovely? Look at, look at that carrot weight. But it is, look at this one, look at that. Just, it just, that is just incredible, isn't it? That stone. Mm. Are you ready? I, ho I hope you are quick with the checkout. Oh. That's that, isn't it? Is uh, it, that's the price for this? I've got rose gold gallery wire coming up, and it's how much? Seventy nine ninety nine. Yeah, and, and that's amazing. Forty nine ninety nine. And what, can I just borrow that for a second? Yes. Literally. So I'm going to use about that much. Yeah. Of your gallery wire, so it will, it will last, won't it? 
you know, I'm, I'm yes, probably... it will last, but I, I, it will last. But I think once you once you start using Gallery Wire, you know, I've done workshops with Gallery Wire and, and talked to people who've used it. You know, it, it's an, it's such an incredible product. Um, yeah, it's, it's addictive. It is addictive because I think you get super, super um, neat results with it. Yeah, because I wouldn't be able to weave that. No way. No. No, you wouldn't, and you wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to produce that because it's obviously it's like so it's the machine that produces that that strip, and then so like I have, so I've taken some of the prongs off. You can use some of the prongs. I'm going to show you how to um, uh, almost like elevate the stone in it. So you think about the pearls that you've had. It's nothing to stop you um, from working with this with your pearls too. Um, so many uses. Absolutely. Can you see the like the buried treasure though? That type yes. of thing. It's like a that was my. That was my inspiration. Amazing. It should not be anywhere near that price tag for the size, the sheer size of those tanzanites. I think we can all appreciate $49.99 is an absolutely incredible deal. Um, and it's on your split pay. Let me just for a second. Units, ounces, carrots. Let me just make sure grams there we go let me just tell you how much how many grams you're getting within it's 4.22 grams of gallery wire so it's a lot of silver yeah yeah amazing and 35 carats of genuine tanzanite the biggest that i've ever brought to wear mm. okay let's do the next kit because we want to dive into your demonstration okay the next one being which includes, sorry, it's... So yes, I think you've got your mix of oh. your, your... Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, so that was, that was mine. So you're gonna get you different, used... different colors. So yeah, so can you see with that one? So if I take that off and pass that one, can you see, can you see how, <gasps> that's what I was saying. So if you use your gallery wire and you, um, you put it um, Back to back. Like back to back. So that's, yeah, lovely, lovely ring shank. So, I mean, you could, you could just, if you didn't want to do any um, setting of the, of the stones, it works beautifully as, as a... That's a lovely idea. Um, ...decorative wire. But then, obviously, you've got those, those stones there, which are, you know, again, incredible. The colours in them and to have, to have them that, um, the tourmaline in, in the sizes that, that you get them in. Amazing. Absolutely Amazing. And again, lovely, any questions that you have about how you use your gallery, well, we're going to be doing a masterclass on it. Um, no question about this. It should absolutely be 99.99. That's the price that we, you know, we expect for gallery wire. I think that was certainly what we launched it at. Um, but start adding in the rarities of colors that you have in your natural tourmaline again rose cut which means that the oh, carrot lovely. weight is at the top um i love this because you've actually Gosh, got your chrome well, tourmaline yeah, yeah yeah did you lovely. not get sent this kit uh yes so, so this was mine this was my one so it's just nice to see because you'll get you know you don't know what you're going to get do you and they're no. you know especially with tourmaline it's lovely oh. colors yeah so these were these were my two um and then i, I think i had a, a a pinky one should we do close out deals again now, pardon? One strip of sterling silver gallery wire. We've got it in the show at $39.99. That's amazing. When we launched gallery wire, mm -hmm. it was you that did it, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. They were yeah. $99.99. Yeah, yeah. So that means, by the way, you got those Tanzanites for a tenner. And they are the Ooh. biggest Tanzanites that I've ever brought to air, not just here at Jewelry Maker, across, well, my entire career. So you can buy a single strip of gallery wire for $39.99 today. Or if you get this kit, you can pay less than that strip of gallery wire and get the tourmalines. I know it doesn't make any sense. How brilliant. Never said that we do all the time. Six, uh, 30 seconds. Oh, you're under pressure, says that. Uh, well, you're feeling the pressure. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. So you can buy gallery wire. This gallery wire, literally for £39.99. 
Or you can buy the kit and you'll get the gallery wire plus the tourmalines for free. In six seconds, though, you watch the quantity that we have absolutely fly out the door, which is how many? 88. Oh, my gosh. What an ideal opportunity to give gallery wire a go. Wow. If you've never done gallery wire before, and I get it, it's quite, it has been more of a considered kit, hasn't it? Yes. Because yeah. of the work, yeah. because yeah. of the ground yeah. weight. Yeah. What an opportunity for you to get involved. That's amazing, isn't it? Is this any harder? Because it's slightly different patterning to the last kit, but is it any harder or easier than the previous? So I, I would say you're looking at, um, you're looking at, at different, um, different things with your gallery wire. Um, I always look at look at the design um, and in a way don't be put off if, it, if, it look, if it's really really intricate because if it's really really intricate that means you've got lots of spaces that say for example so you didn't want to do any soldering which mm. I have for this if you've just worked cold and with your wire work there's lots of spaces then for you to then get maybe your uh, uh, 0.25 put 0.4 and you can weave into it. So have a look at those. If you've got like the, the prongs that are there, they're all going to be really, really even. So you can fold them, fold them down, support underneath the stone. Oh yes, it's not just top. Yeah, so absolutely. So something like that. So you can see you've got. It looks like you've got the small heart, you know, on the um, on the top edge. There's nothing to stop you from going in and folding those little bits over. Yeah. Um, you know, only using some of the um, what what would actually be almost like the, the prong bit at the, at the the bottom of the of the. Wow. Heart. So. Yeah, it's. Um, I would say have a go with it. Definitely have a go with it. Um, well, half the stock's gone. Check them out. You'll never get an opportunity for... Well, I shouldn't say never. Never say never. But um, 29 99 for gallery wire. Now, heads up, we have the most insane Ethiopian opals launching um, at the tail end of the show. They are completely and utterly natural. All rose cut again. This is a, 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 a Wayne Del Paso, as we uh, as we call him. Um, oh purchase if gosh. ever we saw one. The play of color is bonkers. Um, it's coming up at the top of the show. But any ah. questions that you have, look at that. The play of color is absolutely amazing. So this is literally Neary oh. outside showing that natural light. Look at the colors. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So beautiful. We have got your rose gold gallery wire coming up as well. Rose gold plated gallery wire. So you can actually secure those two. Look at that. This recording is amazing. It's the same parcel, just different lighting conditions, basically. Um, but it's important that we do that because sometimes, um, yeah, you don't see that play of color. Uh, just on the TV screens. Um, yeah, so the rose gold uh, plated gallery wire is coming up. You can actually grab hold of that. You can pre order on your Ethiopian Opal, but Claire McDonald. Shall we go? Okay, Let's have a look. Right, okay, so if I talk, specs if on. I show you, oh, yeah, specs on so I can see anything. Um, I'm going to talk you through, sh show the stages, and then, and then show you how we make them. So what we're um, ideally going to end up with um so again i've done rings i think you know I, I do a lot i think this is a really nice um uh cut of a stone to have for a ring because you've got that it, it, you know it's it's nice and flat not you know the profile of it isn't isn't too high um but you've got it, it you've got that impression of that it's a really really big huge rock but it's it's actually wearable as well but nice pendants too so all of these, you could do uh, ring shanks or you could add your, your bail on. So if we look at the stages, and, I'll, and so um, I've, I've prepped the stage, so then you'll be able to see as, as we go through. So again, you would, um, you would have made yourself, uh, if you want to do a ring, so just a, a, plain, um, a plain band, you can add um, some texture on there if you want to. Um, so you would have made that uh, if you want to make a, a ring. So you can see, so I've just got, I've got, um, the ring shanks there so you can see the difference so this is the plain one here and then um that's the one that i've got some texture on there so it's entirely up to you however you want to do that so i've got my ring shank so i'm going to pop that to the side so then i've got my um i've got the the stone that i'm going to be working with i've also um if you've got some 0 0.8 or some one mil uh wire we're going to use that as well so that the the um what you might find with the um, 
with this cut. So as I was saying, for a ring, they're perfect because you can see the depth isn't, it's not that high. So what we want to do with this is, it's entirely up to us, there's two different ways of working with this gallery wire. Because so if you have a look at it, so if you can see it from the front, so if we have a look at, um, can you see this one where it's sort of, so it's sat, so you can see where that would sort of sit. So this gallery wire would be absolutely ideal as well for, um, cabochon stones that um, are, are quite high but what we're going to do we're going to pop a little ledge in so you can see if I hold it like that and that's where that that um, wire comes in so you can use it in two different ways you can either have it so that um, it's going to sort of like sit midway in the in the setting or you could have it so that it um, sits flat and so it would sit on top like this and then um, you can maybe get rid of some of the um, some of the little prongs almost like the the fleur-de-lis that um, like I have on the large, the large stone. So I'm going to show you um, how to pop that little ledge in if that's what you want to do. So the first thing that we want to do is, so if I just move these out of the way, we'll be taking our stone. So if we have this here. So what I'm going to start to do is, is looking at, at, at making the, um, the, the gallery wire and getting the, the, the best fit around here. So I'm going to start and what I want to look at is I'm going to go on one of the longer edges so I could either choose here or here. So I'm just going to go on this side. I'm going to start, just move all these out of the way for the moment. Okay, let's start and bring this round. Okay, so I'm going to work all the way around so you can see I'm going following round and so bring this in and I'm just taking my time so you've got to think all the time that you would save with you know with your wire work make doing the prongs yourself just take your time so that you get a good snug fit so I'm really sorry about my nail varnish gosh look it's um I didn't do I think till it was about five minutes before we came on there and then typically I smudged it so I'm going to go all the way around so if we see here I'm about let's have a look so if we look at if, if I hold it like that we can see so we're looking at this area here okay so that's where it's going to overlap I mean if you look I mean look at that stone I mean that, you know that's second sample that's amazing so I'm going to bring this down now so now it's a balance of what we what we want to do. We don't want to have it so that it's too snug because then obviously we will have wasted this, um, and we also we don't want to cut so it's too loose. So I am holding it on like this, and we can just see where that little uh, lip is is coming out there. So I'm going to take my marker, and I'm going to go. So I'm looking all the way around. I have got a little bit of space. If you can see. If I just sort of try and point it out, uh, we've got, I've got a little bit of a gap here. So I'm going to steal a couple of millimetres there. Um, let me just have a look and a little bit here. So if I just go, I'm going to go and just draw that there. Okay, so that's, let's have a look. Let's have a look there. Okay, make that so you can see okay so we've got something like that so now what i want to do i'm just going to double check before i cut anything um i'm sorry i'm going to just stick my head over that's it right there we are thank you right so i'm going to take that off so now i'm going to turn it round. i've got my flush cutters and i'm just going to have a look at what is on that side so i know i've got a full a full one there Okay, so when I come here, let me just do last check before I cut it. And I'm just going to go, and I'm actually going to go half, so slightly past where I've put the, the line. And pop that back on. So now I'm going to work, and you can either, you can use your, um, you know, if you've got the, the D-shaped pliers, or you can use your... Um, your chain nose flies. I don't want to overwork the, the gallery wire, but I'm just going to straighten that up a little bit. Pop that on. So you can see I'm really, I'm spending the time, taking the time to get a good 
fit on this because like I say, it's a, it, you've got to think about where you're saving time with this. Gallery wire is going to save you an awful lot of time in the setting and making the prongs. So I can actually get rid of that little bit there. So let's just take that and snip that there. Again, flush side and let's bring this in. Okay, so now what we're looking to do is, let's bring this in. So now what we want to do is we're gonna push it together in the same way as if we were gonna work with um, uh, maybe a jump ring or something like that. You, I'm just pushing it a little bit further so that when it springs back, we're looking so that that I've got a good fit here. Because remember what we're thinking about, if we're gonna solder this, it's all about that jigsaw. So we want a really, really good. So if, we, if I hold it there, can you see? So what we're looking at is we want a good join in this section here. So I'm looking at a couple of things now. There's a tiny, tiny, maybe oh, not even a millimeters difference of the gap. Uh, let me just see, this gap here compared to this gap here. This, this gap here is the one that's obviously got them as machine finished. We know, and then this is the gap that we've created by joining the two. Okay, so we can see all the way around that. And that's going to go like that. So that's a, that's a, that I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good, that's a good fit. So now what we want to do when we've got this section is we pop it back on and let's have a look that that's going to, that's going to sit okay. Yeah, we've got, still got a little bit of, a, of give in there. If you were, so a bit of um, uh, little tips now, if you were doing something where, um, say for example, you've got the Larimar from earlier and you've got some rounds of, of, of Larimar and you'd, you'd done it and you'd soldered it um, and it's a little bit too tight, what you can do is then you can get, um, you can uh, pop your ring mandrel or uh, something in there and just roll it out and that will just stretch it ever so slightly. Small, um, small little movements don't don't go sort of too enthusiastic that's then going to stretch it and then you're going to pop it um you know it's going to be it's not going to be snug enough you do want a snug a snug fit in there um okay. Claire, we've got a question yeah. for you from heather uh, can i use gallery wire without soldering without yeah so you, you definitely can um there are and if uh, especially with some of the gallery wire coming up and it gives you uh, really comprehensive instructions about how to work with um uh D different wires, so like half hard wires and, mm -hmm. and finer gauge wires that to create bales. Um, yeah, so you can. It, uh, the thing, Heather, I would look at the design. So when I was saying about what you're looking at is little gaps where you can um, feed finer wire in. So if you look at something, so if we look at something like that, which is that crown one, mm -hmm. if you look at the different gaps that you've got. Yeah. We've actually got, we've got lots of gaps here that you could go in in and out so if you created something like so if I just if I just bring that in a little bit like that and if you did like netting technique so with a finer wire you could almost create a shelf for that to sit in almost so you'd be doing like the reverse of netting a cabochon but using those holes there and then create your shelf underneath so the stone would then sit on the netting rather than it being uh, above the cabochon and then you put your prongs in so there's lots and lots of different ways. Those instructions that um, that Elle's got are absolutely superb for, yeah. for giving you ideas if you don't want to do soldering. Yeah, because, it, well, the rose gold one that we're actually going to be bringing you, which is rose gold filled, has that wire that yeah. uh, Claire was just talking yeah. about. So you don't have to. You don't have to solder. No, you don't. You don't. Great question. Um, okay. So so we've now got, we've got our nice uh, snug fit there. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to show you, I'm going to pop that on here and then I'm going to show you the other bit before, before, we, um, uh, before we solder it. So what we want to think about here is we've got, we've got quite a bit of depth to that gallery wire and I want to bring it, I really want to bring it up a lot higher 
so that it's not overtake, so that the gallery wire doesn't completely take over the stone. If you don't want to add the ledge that I'm going to do now, what I would say is see what you feel. You might really like to have the, the, the gallery wire is, is the main um, focus of it. But what you can do is nothing to stop you from snipping off some of those prongs so that you're not seeing as many when, it, when it's folded over. So that's your other option there. Or you can create the ledge that I'm going to show you now. So if I just pop that in there. So to do the little ledge, what we're going to do is going to follow the shape of the stone. Again, a Almost little like bit Almost like a smaller. template. Yeah, yeah. And this, will, this, will, um, this, this, the size of this will um, alter slightly. Um, I might actually, I'm going to do another straight edge. So I've got, if I look at where my, I want to try and avoid having them in the same place. So I want to have my straight edge on here. So I've got the, the soldered side on this side. So I'm going to have it going on that side there. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. So that's going to go in and bring that round. So I'm going to bring that in. So you're going to follow the shape. As if, for example, you were doing, like I say, you're netted or something like that. You're going to do a wire work framework. And again, bring this round. I'm going to just take that and just snip that off a little bit. Let's have a look. So again, let's pinch that in. So I'm going to hold here. Keep bringing that round. Let's hold that on. So I'm doing this just with my hands. You can absolutely use your, if you feel more comfortable, you know, every stage, use your pliers. So let's have a look. Let's bring that in. And let's see how that's going to go there. So something like that. Okay. So that, you can see, so I'm going to have to make that a little bit bigger so that, that sits in there. So let's solder this bit first. And let's, so ideally what we're going to end up with is something that looks like this, where we've got that snug fit. Because remember, that's what we're looking for with all the soldering pieces. We want that snug fit of that going in there. So I can already see that although I've followed the stone around, that's going to be a little bit small. So I'm not going to solder that yet. So if I am, um, I'm just going to move this over. So I'll just move that out there, move all my bits on here. Let's have a look. Um, if I move that in. Right, so I'm just going to move my this out of the way and have my soldering there. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to try and do it like that so that hopefully you'll, you'll be able to be able to see. Okay, so let's have a let's have a look here. <laughs> okay, so mm -hmm. again, let's make sure that I haven't when I've moved it that I haven't moved it too much. Right. Yep. So I'm going to bring that in and a little bit like that. Let's have a look. I'm going to pop that down there. So we want to be looking, ideally, and see what I've done with the uh, my solder. So if we take a little bit. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so loud. That's so that's, 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 Michael, you're so funny. He's so dry, isn't, isn't he? he? Boss Claire's wandering around. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I'm trying not to wander around. That, that's definitely my age. <laughs> right, let's have a look. So if we can see, I've actually, I've placed it at the bottom here. Now I'm going to be doing this. You know how I love to give excuses for um, uh, issues with demos. But so what, what ideally you would have this. So uh, if you look at, uh, if you look now you would be i would be soldering that seam and that seam would be on this side oh yeah it'd be facing yeah? you it'd yeah. be facing me not, not the, the other way so please um bear that in mind if, it, if this looks very complicated or it goes horribly wrong now 
Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm going to... Um, I'm glad you said that. Do you know I have never thought of that? You're actually always working from the opposite yes, side. Yes, which is... It is uh, so it's a bit of an ego thing, because obviously you don't want to look like you're rubbish, but also uh, you don't want things to look like they're complicated, you know, more complicated than they are. Um, you know, because, you know, I wouldn't want to put anyone off soldering because, mm. you, you know, by watching this and thinking, because obviously I can't actually properly see um, when it goes. So I can tell you because I'm looking at it right now. Brilliant. OK, so I'm just going to try and get. Did you see Ooh, that start yay! to go there? Did you see it? <laughs> what happened then? Why are you laughing? It went. Oh, I did it. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was like perfect, perfect camera shot, that one. Oh, excellent. Literally, Michael zoomed in as, as the solder went. As it went. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, that's good. Right, I'm, well, now all I'm going to do is... And that is obviously down now. to your amazing skills as well. Uh, obviously, yes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Michael. Let's have a look. So let's see how this went. Yeah, here we go. I think this is actually all right. Let's have a look. So if we have a look all the way around, so we'd now go into the into the pickle with with that. So that's going to um, go in there. So so that is now um, that's secured. OK, so then you would work. So if I just move this out of the way, you would then go in and make that little framework. Let's just move that. So we would now have, you would then go in mm -hmm. and so you can see, so when I was saying this is a little bit small, so we'd, we'd make this a little bit larger okay. so that, that then sits as a framework in here. So almost like when we make a, a ring shank, but we're looking to follow so that that is going to sit in and nice and snugly in there. When you're happy with the, um, the shape, so you can see, I can, if I just start to like ease that out, that's going to sit in. When you feel happy in the same way when I, with, the, with the gallery wire, so you maybe make a little mark if you wanted to with your, um, with your Sharpie, something like that with your permanent marker. Go in and cut that. Get it nice, nice join, and that will then give and solder that. That's then going to give you a complete, I mean, it won't be a ring shank, but a complete loop like that. You would then go, so if I pop that down now, I'm going to pick up this one. So if I talk, I haven't cleaned this up at all, so you can see, so you can see, so there is the, where I've soldered that inner ring. You're then going to push that inner ring down into the crown gallery wire and then I placed my little bits of solder in the same way so uh, sort of even sections going all the way around in that lip if you feel more comfortable you could turn it round and you can do it that way if you feel like it so you're going to just almost like sandwich it so that it's going all the way around here again heat it heat it again if you if you're good at directing your heat and you wanted to think about the solder so I had hard on the gallery wire hard on the um uh, on that little inner lip um, and then you could maybe work down to your um, to your medium as well but just have a have a go and, and, and make that that then gives me the ledge for the the stone to sit in if I was going to make it into a pendant I would have my make my bail um, have a bail sort of coming out here and you could use that as your easy solder and so you decide wherever that you wanted it but you've got lots of areas there if you want to have it as the ring so what you can do is I've got um, I've got the ring shank here, and then I've just gone in with my whether you've got your your Dremel or your needle file, you can just make little little bits here, and what that's going to do is that's going to sit in into that section there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's just going to give me good good contact. You're always thinking about good good contact and what what shapes that you are wanting to fit together. So when you've done all that and you've cleaned everything up, that's when you're going to pop your stone in. So now what, what actually happens is that stone, by adding that little lip, if you see all the way around, it's just rising, means that, it's, it's, it, that, that stone is, is risen in that, in that setting. So it's now, if I, we look at it from this angle, it's these ones here now that we're going to be pushing down so we can see how that's going to work. So you would clean everything up. And then, so if I pop that down, I'm going to pop it down on the, I'm just going to start 
and just push over. So I'm using my square pusher now. So I'm just getting a, I'm not going right to the stone at the moment. So I'm just going to push that over. So you can see how that's going. So I'm just going to push, keep pushing, pushing again, working my way. The narrower points, just make sure, just take care as you're pushing so they don't overlap. That could be, that could be when it might determine that if it gets a very narrow a point that you might want to cut some of them off and have, you know, maybe alternate prongs. And now I'm pushing my way around a little bit firmer this time. I'm pushing those, there we are. And you can see how this is gonna start to do. So you would just keep working your way around. You can see where these are um, coming round. Let's have a look. And let's keep pushing those. And keep going round. So before you got to that point, you would you would have buffed everything around and you keep going until you do, do your finger test. Obviously, I'd need to work a little bit more with those. But you can see it looks really white there. If we have a look now, I'm just going to give that a bit of a... You would have done all this before, but I just wanted to make sure that you could see how to set the stone. And you can see how this is going to really, really start to, to buff up. Buff up there. Okay, so we can start to see how that is then fixed in there so you can see that that would have that would have gone on there and there's your how gorgeous there's your ring looks good doesn't it oh my gosh amazing and obviously polish it all up and everything yeah yeah so you would polish you would polish everything up um before you set the setting the stone would be the last the last thing um but you know i just wanted you to see how easy it is once you put that time in um and, and get a really really snug fit you can see how quickly it is then when you set it and pushing those prongs over because they're all there for you. And so that bit is the really, really, you know, it's the quick bit. Amazing. It's great. I love, lovely, I love watching kits. you literally, literally folding the gallery yeah, wire over yeah, there. Yeah, it's Amazing. very, very satisfying. Beautiful, lovely well, kits. You know, uh, you said earlier on, actually, that when you start working with gallery wire, yeah. the, the, you know... It's addictive. It's addictive. Yeah. So... Um, you might need some perfect stones. Yes, please. The beauty of, the, uh, of, of gallery wire, I mean, it works with your calibrator sizes as well, but really works with the rose cut, doesn't it's it? It's because they, it's all different shapes and thinking about pearls as well. Don't just think about flat. If you're working with gallery wire, it's following any, any shape you can think of because you can just, you take your time and you follow it round. No. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you, actually, I'm not going to tease you with it yet. Be prepared for the most mind-boggling Ethiopian opal that you can imagine. Do you know how restrained, I just want to snatch them off you and run, run off, go home, get in my car. I mean, I don't mind. We've got a recording. It's all good. And for oh you. Oh my gosh. Oh my they're gosh. Amazing, oh my aren't gosh. They? Oh. They're utterly amazing. <gasps> so, with Opal, oh. it is not about the four C's, it is about play of colour. Play of colour, play of colour, play of colour. Regardless of the type of Opal, play of colour is the number one priority. You want play of colour, you say? Check this parcel out. Honestly, take a little look. Oh. Check this parcel out. They are brand new and they are premiering today. I think most people know what Opal is. Known as the Queen of Gemstones, William Shakespeare wrote about it and, you know, Aurora Borealis play of colour. But let's discuss what this gemstone is. Firstly, it differs from many others because it's made up of silica, so it hasn't got a crystal structure. Um, but... Many people would regard this as one of the biggest gemstones that exists, and I'm going to come back to that in a few moments. But the new Opal Heavyweight. 
Australia has been the dominant force in the opal market for over 100 years. During that time, as, such, uh, as much as 95% of the worldwide opal production has been mined in Australia. Today, however, Ethiopian opal is on its way to becoming the second heavyweight in the opal market. Now, this is an old article, and I'm just going to draw a line through that sentence and tell you it's not the second anymore. In fact, Levion, Eddie Levion, spoke about this being the gemstone of the year. They didn't mention Australian opal, they mentioned Ethiopian opal. Discovered, comparatively speaking, relatively recently in 1994, Ethiopia, uh, uh, Ethiopia was put on the world wide map. This was followed by very important discoveries in 2008 and more recently in 2013, which is, by the way, where this parcel's from, um, producing what we call wellow opal. But look, these are now producing beautiful, precious opals, fire opals, black opals, with spectacular play of colour in a variety of patterns. Ethi Ethiopian opals are not only beautiful, but they are... No, do you know what? Never mind that. Because that's old, old news. It's talking about the fact that Ethiopian opals were quite inexpensive. It's not the case anymore. I was at Tucson and I showed you a video of those strands that were $1,500 at trade. But this is what we want. You are looking for flashes of uh, of play of color in this case it's dominated by the greens and reds if you can get play of color which has reds greens yellows blues oranges all of those colors then believe me you have something exceptional and i just want to describe uh, give you one sentence before we show you your parcel again gemologists will say that an ethiopian opal that displays over 80% play of colour is regarded as exceptional. Yours are exceptional. These are exceed exceptional then, don't they? These are amazing. Yeah. Okay, well, I tell you what, let's make a comparison. Never mind the gold, never mind the diamonds. We have found another shopping channels. Look, Quad A Ethiopian Opal. That's what they've graded their Ethiopian Opal at. It's lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the design. It's stunning. And it looks like it's sold really well as well. There's one left. Quadruple A opal. Look at your play of colour. This is the parcel you're getting. Like I said, different lighting conditions. Reds, greens, blues, yellows, oranges. Are you ready for a finale deal? Eddie Levion, who is really, who is really the pillar. He, you know, when we, when um, you've just heard Jake and, and you'll learn some more about this tomorrow. But when you heard Jake and Dave, they've just come back from Vegas, the JCK. They had dinner with, uh, I think, a descendant of Eddie Levion. Anyway, it's Eddie Levion who really tells you this is the gemstone of the year. This is the color of the year. This is the design of the year. This is the jewelry brand of the year. It's him, really, that sets that gold standard. What gemstone did he label as the uh, 2022 gem of the year? Ethiopian opal, precisely. So what's going to happen to the value, uh, the price rather, and value um, of Ethiopian opal? Now, I'm going to ask, there's loads of you there. And you don't just get the one, you're, tra you're literally transfixed. I, do you know what? I've, I love opal and it's, it's both my daughter's birthstones and I've seen a lot. These are amazing, right? These are, yeah, just mind blowing. Look at that, yes. Look at that recording, my goodness me. This is the parcel that you have here in the studio. How many of these are available then, Neary? 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Got but one, you yeah. might, you might get more, you might get less. We guarantee, oh, there we go, 8 to 12 pieces, and we guarantee that carrot weight. 
If we were to stop here, that would be incredible. 100 is not a huge quantity. Not when it's opal. Not when it's the gemstone of the year. Not when they literally are of that exceptional yeah. grade that gemologists describe. These are. We're running out of time, Claire. Do you know where they're going to? No. Mm, you might be shocked. Just beautiful, beautiful. And they would absolutely work alongside... They'd work alongside yes, your gallery would, wire, yeah, wouldn't they? Yeah, treat them in exactly the same way and use, you know, the demo that... Yeah, Look at that. That's wow. literally off of mobile phone. That's not light trickery. That's literally producer Tom recording them on his phone. Take them out into natural light. Here in the studio, you've got to remember, we've said, it, we've said it countless times. We haven't got just one light source here in the studio. We've got literally hundreds. And they aren't, they're, listen, they're not like the posh, the, the posh jewelers where you've got spotlights, you know, so that we look lovely. It's not, they're literally floodlights. Floodlights. So it's, it doesn't do this gemstone any favours whatsoever. We've halved that price for you this morning, jewellery makers, for natural Ethiopian opal. Not just one, an entire parcel. An entire parcel. The perfect addition alongside mm. your gallery wire. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. But at the same time, I can wire wrap these. Yeah. I can yeah. buy them literally as a collection of loose stones and... Uh, 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 and uh, you've got any of the lockets yesterday. Oh. I mean, put, put one of those, you know, put them in there. They're, you know, incredible. They are magical, aren't they? Magical. Magical, magical, magical. Now, you need to start checking out your baskets. Gloucestershire, you've done it. Brenda, you've done it. Mary, you've done it. Beatrice, you've done it. Margaret, you've done it. They are so oh, good word, Margot. Stonking. They are stonking pieces. <laughs> Fab demo, Claire. Thank That's you. Lovely, Margot. Thank you. We're going lower on these. That was that was not ever your star by price. It should be. Mm. You're not just getting one; you get all of them. Yeah. Twelve. I have and all. look, it's in all of them, isn't it? So yeah. It's amazing. Look at those colours. <gasps> Six seconds. We are going to go oh. to your final, final price. I think you saw quad A grade wow. earlier on. I think this is better than that grade. £34.99 pa uh, pence only. That is madness. Claire, Cheryl, Lucy, Noreen, Warwickshire. Hello to you, Ronald. Hello to you, Margaret, Gloucestershire, Brenda, uh, Mary, Beatrice. I've also got Maureen, Jay, Matty. Hello to you, Angus, Mona, new customer, Dorset, Elspeth, Elaine. Hello to you, Andrea, Jane and Steve. You've got to start checking out those baskets, though. A hundred is not oh, a gosh, massive yeah. quantity. Multi-buyers. Especially look. at that wow. price. Yeah. Literally, Levion, Eddie Levion announced to the jewellery world a couple of weeks ago the gemstone of 2022 is Ethiopian opal. Ethiopian opal, and you've just got it today. Oh, at well done, everyone. Basically, old beautiful. news prices, if that makes yeah. sense. Oh, my goodness, my goodness me. Make sure you do check out. Claire, I've loved today. It's been absolutely oh, thank amazing. You. Thank you so much. Oh, a lovely time. Um, and any questions that you might have for Claire with regards to things like your, your you know, your soldering? And yeah, your... yeah. And have a look on the, have a look on the, the Jewelry Maker site because I think there are There's a few loads of demos, demos on yes, there, there as are, well, yeah. isn't and there? And the YouTube channel. And yeah. what a deal. What close out deals. Beautiful gemstones. Are you going to be grabbing some of those? I am, yes. Are you going to be doing those? I am, yes. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Um, now, you have about a minute to check out your baskets. So, don't, in fact, if they don't even sell out. So, Stella, Cheryl, Jamati, Cheshire, Maureen, Lynn, Claire, Noreen, Elspeth, Valerie, Vivian. They're absolutely flying. Why? Look, look. Uh, not just to blow your trumpet, but you recognise top quality stones when you see it, mm. and that's and you recognise an amazing deal when you see it. $34.99. Gorgeous Claire McDonald, when are you back? Not for a bit now. I'm on holiday. Are you? Yeah, only for oh, about a week. We shall miss you. Have a wonderful afternoon. Well done, you. We'll see you soon.